Happy 13th birthday, Jeremy. Let the party begin. 13 days of banging deals coming your way. Shitting. Happy birthday, jewellery maker. We hope you love all of the products that we've been developing for you over the last year. Happy 13th birthday, jewellery maker. Good morning. Firstly, can I say amazing, well done you. Oh, thank you. It's like you've done a day's work already. I have. <laughs> <laughs> bless you, bless you. It's gorgeous, Monica, everybody, as you probably already know. You've probably been watching, haven't you, already? Yeah. With your beautiful make along. Yeah. That necklace was incredible. That was from the birthday. Oh, look. So if you tuned in bright and early, you'd have been able to watch our lovely Monica show you how to create the green on that necklace. Oh, can you see it back? Yeah. Reminds me of a certain gemstone that just so happens to be coming up within this hour. Well, same you, luminescence, same glow. You could absolutely add some gemstones into this necklace. You could. Something like uh, maybe natural Australian chrysoprase. Oh, maybe. How does that sound? Absolutely, yeah. Um, it's coming up within this hour. You've got, you can probably see it. There you go, peeking on the side of the screen. Wow. The most incredible chrysoprase strand. Oh with translucency was just amazing now look i mean just look at this display because you have chrysoprase you have honey jadeite in its natural form natural santa maria mm -hmm. so so far natural 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 all coming up in the eight o'clock hour and i also need to mention this is this is a first for jewelry maker that we have ever done a meter long length of your faceted rounds in your birthstones now these are coming up a little bit later on in the show so just make sure you're with me for this opportunity um, you haven't just got 12 birthstones to here you've actually got multiples of birthstones in there as well you know some months have got extras um, so i mean look at how amazing that wow. beautiful strand is yeah well you could incorporate this couldn't you, you? Could, you could switch out the crystals and just make all gemstones don't so you could have genuine gemstones yeah. as an alternative um, my goodness me and then at 10 o'clock today now this is another first for jewelry maker as you would expect as part of our birthday celebrations which are still well and truly underway we are launching brand new master carvings of your type a jaded uh, jadeite sorry and they are double-sided but not the same picture on each side oh, so you've got wow. different different carvings and for the first time ever we actually have um and i'm just going to reach across you monica one second we have for the first time let me grab my tweezers come on l get organized um we have a, a, you know, a pendant basically for you to secure or interchange your master carvings with oh. so how incredible is that and it spins wow. so they actually oscillate within this pendant mount how beautiful in sterling silver and encrusted with gemstones i feel some shopping coming on uh 100 <laughs> i mean yes it has definitely been an occasion for shopping i think the birthday yes. celebration I've, I've shopped just about every day same here <laughs> yeah same here it's been it's been pretty mega like i said the birthday celebrations absolutely do continue i hope you've had a wonderful bank holiday it's bank holiday monday today of course hope you enjoyed the celebrations did everybody tune in yeah. Did everyone watch? I did, yes. And me. I had a little, little teary eye moment I mean, when... It, uh, it, it's like, even if you're not a fan of the royals, you, it's part of history. It's historic, it's absolutely. Like this is what I kept saying to my husband. Because I'll be honest, my husband wasn't interested. I sat and watched it, but he wasn't interested. Um, and I was like, look, it's a moment of history, regardless of what your thoughts are. Absolutely. You know, yeah. where did I get emotional? Um, so after, it wasn't actually during um, pr uh, King Charles, no, not Prince Charles, King Charles's coronation. It was actually when Cam uh, Camilla kind of walked out with with the crown and you could just see his little look on his face yeah and it was just it was all quite yeah just all quite touching you know when he saw her and i was like oh bless that's lovely but yes um yeah true british style and of course it rained of course it rained of course. yeah well, rained all day but apparently historically every coronation has rained really apparently oh, interesting. certainly the la uh, apparently yeah mm. queen elizabeth's reigned and her father's reigned 
There we go. Um, that is a theme. There's a definite <laughs> British theme there. And the concert, I didn't get to watch the concert last night, no, but uh, apparently, apparently it was good. Um, there was Lionel Richie, Katy Perry, take that. Yeah. Who else? It's got to be Tom Jones in there. There was, I'm sure there was Tom Jones, wasn't there? You'd expect Tom Jones to be on it. Well, let us know. Who did you like? Uh, Lionel Richie saying, all night long. <laughs> <laughs> All night long. Yeah. Um, anyway, right then, it's going to be a fantastic bank holiday Monday. As I said, you've got a show that is completely laced full of beautiful, beautiful goodies. Um, and of course, we start every, every show with your wonderful talents and your inspiration in the Wall of Fame. It also wouldn't be the beginning of the show if it wasn't me saying, Dad, it's so hot in here. <laughs> it is warm, isn't it? Oh, I thought it was me for a second there. Sorry, Dan. Um, no, you don't need to pat. <laughs> What's he suggesting? Are you saying I'm a diva? It is hot. <laughs> even no, even no, Adam no. is saying it's hot. I know. It's like, it's See? He's going to be take, whipping his T-shirt off in a minute. You know, it's oh, far know. too early oh, in the morning for that. <laughs> uh, starting us off, oh, look at this vision of colour, Janet. Hello to you. You're number 368. And Janet says, hi, Team JM. Here is my waffering this week. A box full of bright coloured rainbow key rings. The first batch for a charity shop at work. Currently working on the next batch. All of the beautiful uh, bicones and wire is from you lovely people. The split rings are recycled from some uh, work with an old name of the hospital rather than let them be thrown away oh genius oh, so you're nice. upcycling as well yeah. um thank you for everything uh, you do and being wonderful people keep doing what you do and doing it well together uh, we will weather the storm oh bless yeah. bless you <laughs> um all best wishes and a wonderful birthday and joy for all the jewelry maker family oh lots of love to you janet that's absolutely beautiful love those doing your bit for charity oh. bless you um, and that's what King Charles wanted, didn't he? Yes. Yes, today. Is it today? He wants us all to be very charitable, oh. so reach out to our, our, our neighbours, etc., and do, do a good deed today. I think it's brilliant, the charity work that they all do. He, he, yeah. it, him in particular, yeah. you know, the amount of work that he actually does for charity. Um, number 369 is from Margaret. Good morning, Margaret. Well, that's absolutely beautiful. Um, this week's entry is a lapis lazuli chip shell pearl barrel and packet of head pins with some four millimeter jump rings uh, for the necklace plus a uh, lapis lazuli cabochon, some delicas and some 15 OC beads um, for this pendant. It's great seeing some of the well loved faces back from the past um, on the birthday celebration and as usual good luck to all the fellow whoppers. Amazing oh, Margaret. Beautiful. I thought that like during the coronation it was lovely to see and I've forgotten her name now it's gone off Oh, um, she used to, wasn't she on one of the children's programs back in the 80s? Sorry? Fluella. Fluella. She made a huge part, didn't she? And um, um, didn't she carry something in? Oh, look, I sound, I should, I should. What was this? Was it, was it, did she carry in like the scepter? What, with the colour and diamond? Was it her that carried in that one with the colour and diamond? See, how amazing is that? Um, yes, it was lovely. And it was lovely to see, you know, uh, um, you know, just how diverse it all was. Yes. And sort of, it was a real break. Whilst, of course, it was historic and very traditional, it was a real break from the it tradition was, as well. Yeah. Um, so very exciting. Yes, so text in, text in. Tell us what you love the most about it. Um, OK, shall we get cracking? Now, I need to mention these early birds are coming up as well. We will be doing uh, this colour in the nine o'clock hour these two colors top of the nine i beg your pardon um but you can shop ahead you are getting let me just say this right you are getting as many as i think i um there is ten no there's ten no 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 no, no. ross there definitely says ten, ten here ten pieces times five styles <gasps> see what you did there he's fluffed it already adam i mean seriously <laughs> Already, producer, <laughs> producer Ross is fluffing things up. Don't call it a day, please. We need you here. We do need you. No, there's 10 necklaces, and I see wait, what, why you're thinking, well, I've priced it to five. Um, now, you get five different designs, two of each, 
in your beautiful base metal chains and you know the trend that is of course layering um, well they're launching today they are brand new you can shop ahead on each of the colorways get yourselves well stocked with your essential chains and they are essential absolutely. Monica aren't absolutely. they absolutely yes yes I mean uh, everybody needs a chain you yeah know? or whatever whatever kind of jewelry you make you will use a chain absolutely you probably like myself have got pendants in your jewelry box absolutely. that absolutely. need chains as we speak <laughs> absolutely i yeah. certainly do and i'm always interchanging them and um, well shop ahead on those they are yeah i get i agree i think they're actually priced more like you're getting five as opposed to ten but you are definitely getting all ten of those we've got lots of lovely sterling silver components as well we've got some absolutely beautiful fluorite um just a multitude of gemstones your kits monica are pretty special today as oh, well i love the kits today i had lots of freedom with the kits I mean, I, I did I did clock whilst you were doing your um, early morning yes. demo. I did clock that amazing seed bead ring. Goodness me, <laughs> how on earth do? Well, I'll show you in a second. But it's absolutely mind blowing. We've had a message in. Hello from Julie. Morning, girlies and crew. Absolutely fabulous demo, Monica. What a great start to a bank holiday Monday. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, it totally threw me this morning because I did know. They did tell me, but of course I've slept since then. Um, and came into the studio and I'm like, I'm morning. And I'm so shh. Sorry about that. Um, I was like, oh, yes, Monica. Monica's doing her demonstration. I've taken over. I can see your beautiful, <laughs> elegant hands. And I just thought it was on a pre-record. I've totally forgot that, no, you were doing the live demonstration this morning. So apologies about that. Just Sorry. shouted down your ear. Um, lots of messages coming through. Um, and there's a problem with the stream on the website. Now, if you're watching on the website, you probably won't hear this, but... Um, you can still buy. We are trying to rectify the stream. So if you can, if you can watch it on your TV, um, and we'll, we'll 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 get that sorted. Yeah. So we are in the middle of of, of trying to fix it. And if anybody, um, loads of you are messaging in as we speak right now. We are we're on it. We are on it. We know we are. We're aware there's an issue there, and we'll get it sorted. Bank holiday, isn't it? Bank holiday, typical. Um, we've got another, another message coming through to the studio, and you can send us a message too. We'd love to hear from you. Um, hello to you, Amanda in Yorkshire, saying morning, Baroness. No, uh, how do you pronounce it? Fier Fiorella, Fiorella, Fiorella. Uh, Benjamin, that's right. Uh, Fruella, sorry. Um, though, uh, sorry, through the round window. I remember her. I do remember as a child. Um, I, I love the feeling of family and that we all got to yeah. share. Yeah, I totally agree. I thought it was a really beautiful and just just historic. Even my little two-year-old was yeah. like fascinated. It's almost like watching a fairy tale, isn't it? It is. Because it's hard to imagine that this kind of thing still happens in the real world. Yeah, I know. Uh, I think it's, it's amazing. Oh, and didn't um, Prince, the Princess of Wales look absolutely oh, stunningly absolutely. beautiful? I'm intrigued by a headdress. You need and to do a version of that. Oh, yes. That could be... Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Because I was trying to, trying to establish what it was made of. Because it didn't look like diamonds. Well, I read afterwards that uh, none of the royal ladies wore tiaras. No, I knew they weren't wearing... It's not technically a tiara. It's no, it's a, a headdress. Some sort of a head... But w I wonder what it was. I don't know, but it was, it was speci specially made, and and, the, and Princess Charlotte had the, the matching one. So, more about it. so oh. beautiful. Oh, keep those messages coming through. Yeah, um, um, we're just trying to fix the, the. So we'll just chat amongst ourselves, shall we, for the time being? While we're trying to fix the feed. Um, hello, Lisa in County Durham. Uh, morning, all. I only caught the end of Monica's demo. Um, is it being shown again after the show? It's going to be uploaded to YouTube. So um, if you go on to YouTube, search Jewelry Maker, uh, um, and obviously today's date, you'll probably find Monica's demonstration on there. So yes, we will upload it. So um, yeah, you can always watch that back at your leisure, Lisa. So that's all good. Keep those messages coming through as well because we're just trying to rectify the feed. Um, if you are watching on the web, it's going to, it's going to be a bit delayed. So if you're seeing this now, then you're about, we're about two minutes ahead of where we actually are live. But keep refreshing, maybe. Keep refreshing your, 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 uh, your stream. Um, and, yeah, we are on it. We, will, we are trying to sort it for you anyway, because it's going to be a pretty amazing show. You don't want to be delayed in anything, really. Um, so I would keep pressing that refresh button to see if we can. But, yeah, we're aware of it anyway. Um, yeah, well, so what did everybody do over the bank holiday? We, I had, had a lovely day yesterday because um, my family is 
fairly scattered around the UK. Right. So I've got, uh, um, obviously, my immediate family are in Wales. Mm -hmm. And then I've got cousins in Tewkesbury. My uncle, and, uh, my aunt and uncle are in Tewkesbury. I've got another cousin who lives in Yorkshire, and I've got another cousin who lives in Scotland. Oh, wow. um, yeah, so we're fairly scattered around. You didn't visit everybody in the same. Yeah, way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, didn't do a road trip. But they, we're kind of in the middle, so um, everybody kind of came to us. Oh, nice. So it was very nice, yes, oh. and and the weather was kind. So we lit the barbecue for the first time. Oh, fabulous! Of the yes, year, it was and lovely, wasn't it? Yeah, exactly. Had a few glasses of prosecco and. You know, as you do. Um, oh no, Ross, you can't be bringing us bad news. What do you mean, really bad news? Ah oh, no, Mr. Trough is poorly. Mm -hmm. Never. Good news and bad news. Dave can't make it to today's show, but the good news is, I will. Mm -hmm. There you go. I hope that's good news anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah, so, yeah, sadly, Dave can't be with us. He's poorly. But it does also mean that we've got free reign on the pricing. So, you know, great news for you, in actual fact. Bank holiday, nobody's in here, in the building. And, and Wayne's just, not here. Do we just Scott's hope that Dave's not, not here. watching? <laughs> uh, Dave, let, I'm just going to say, Dave, if you're poorly, go to sleep. Go to sleep because you don't want to be watching at 10 o'clock because we're going to do, we're probably going to obliterate your prices. Um, look at these pieces. Now, they are wow. carvings and designs that we have never, ever, ever done before. They're absolutely beautiful. Wow. I know there's lots of meaning behind all of these carvings, which I will do my best to, to sort of uh, uh, to, to read upon. Um, so, yeah, you've got goddesses of mercies. You've got the beautiful lotus flowers. You've got the symbolism. That one's upside down. <laughs> I'll spin it around in a second. Oh, wow. Um, there she is. There's Guan Ying, the goddess of mercy. Um, you have her there. These are all hand carved, absolutely amazing masterpieces. And the wonderful thing is that you're looking on the one side, but then when you turn it around, you've got a completely different wow. visual. Um, this one's, of course, the, 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 the rabbit. So with the money coins. So incredibly auspicious incredibly auspicious and you can see brings fortune and wealth i think that's fairly obvious there in the meaning behind that one um i've seen a buddha in there i've seen the lotus flower and the birds which is symbolic of young love you've also got your multicolored jadeite and you've got some of your type a jet black jadeites too wow. um and they're huge sizes for black jadeite as we know um regular viewers we always uh, we always talk about the fact that black jadeite forms in much smaller sizes than um any other color and of course takes three times longer to form than any that's millions upon millions of years um, to transform to migrate if you like through all the different color wheels um, that uh, that jadeite can occur in plus you've got i'm really excited about this plus you've got for the first time ever um the pendant that all you you don't need to be a jewelry maker with this really you just pop your carving on and it will oscillate beautifully inside oh, that's, cool. um, that's happening at 10 o'clock just so you know fyi we've got a hundred of those oh. um, of the actual pendant itself many, it? no it's not so um, especially considering all of the the fabulous carvings that we've got so that's at 10 o'clock today so make sure you're with me for that one um, beautiful kits amazing deals you've got your chain uh, your chain deals coming up that you can shop ahead and pre-order right now like I said there is a little bit of a delay on the website but we're on it we're trying to fix it we've got we is it back Oh. Yes, we've had a thumbs up from Director Adam. Fabulous. So hang on a minute. Let's test this theory. Wait a minute, because if I, if I wave at you here before long, <laughs> before long, I should see myself waving. One second. This is very strange, isn't it? <laughs> Ooh. Hiya. Is it happening? Oh, there it is. Yay! <laughs> we have the power. <sighs> You're right, Ad. That's what everyone wants first thing on a bank holiday Monday. <laughs> just, just, just have a few technical issues. Here's the man with the power. Don't worry, you fixed it. 
You fixed it. Right then, should we get cracking? Shall we? Have a little look on the website, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. And if you click watch live, you'll be able to see us live now. Um, and scroll down just a little bit, you'll see all the items that are available because this is lounge hour. So what that basically means, these items will be available until nine o'clock um, and then they will disappear like magic. Um, but the reason why we do this is so that we can bring the prices at an even lower price point. So it is definitely um, in your favor if you'd like to check out. Remember that you'd never pay more than one post and packaging per day, um, regardless of how many times you make your confirmation. So nothing is debited from your account until your order is ready to be shipped and it's tallied on a daily basis. So um, amazing. So do shop ahead, have a little look at the website. Can we do that? We can, yeah, so let's scroll Let's scroll down. I can show you all of these amazing deals. There's some of your gold-plated base metal chains. You've got um, Kate Middleton inspired sterling silver components. There's your Australian chrysoprase. There's your jadeite. There's your Santa Maria. Uh, Blue John fluorite. Well, I didn't know that. Um, you've got some of your essential class. You've got some mystic topaz, pink tourmaline. Um, and you know this, regular viewers know this, that items sell out very, very, very quickly within, uh, within this hour. Ooh, that strand of uh, your type A jadeite and the Alhambra clovers was the first one ever. Um, there's uh, only two of them left. Some of your beautiful essential bead caps, you've got those, Rajasthan garnet, you've got aquamarine, red jasper, a uh, bit of rutile, which is beautiful. Oh, the Ethiopian opal closeout deal, that's absolutely amazing. Uh, Nilamani, my goodness me. And you've got the Chrysoprase in the Alhambra four-leaf clover, which is absolutely amazing. So again, look, sellouts, there we go, all ready. Um, are you surprised? No, not at all surprised. It was Canadian Jade. You've got some of your essential black wildfire. Amazing. Oh, I love that Chalcedony strand. So again, do shop ahead, check out your basket, and of course, keep interactive. Drop us a message if you're watching right now. You can do that on the website as well, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. Just next to us, you can, it says, uh, send a message to the studio. Remember, you can only get the rose and the yellow this hour. The silver will be in the next hour. Um, but don't you worry, we've got quantity of them. And I can confirm the deal is for 10, not for five you do get 10 of those. Um, so I think we should get cracking, Roscoe, don't you? As it's almost, almost half past the hour. <laughs> it's almost half past the hour. Um, I'm gonna start with some of your essentials, some beautiful, can you see that here, Adam? Yeah? No. I think I'm gonna have to scoot some of these beautiful carvings, aren't I? Don't mind me a minute. Ah, oh, Dan's gonna be rolling his eyes at me. I know it's any minute now, Okay, right, hang on a minute. Let's shift them all over this way. Right, let's put them back then. Let's put them back. We've got to scooch them in order. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. Gorgeous, Dan. Why don't you just step in? Because I, yeah, yeah. He could, I can see. The, I can see the panic in his faces. Here he is. There he is. Just don't mix them up, Al. There we go. How's that? That's perfect. There we go. Thank you, lovely. There we are. Um, okay. Right. <laughs> Let's start with some of your essentials. <clears throat> Excuse me, your lobster claw clasps. Again, these are the larger lobster claw clasps as well. So um, if you struggle with the little small fiddly ones, then you won't with these. Um, these are precious metals. So you've got your gold plated 925 sterling silver, 14 millimeters in their size, and you do get all three of them. I mean, you know, the, the, your, your demonstration this morning, perfect. Absolutely, yes. And as you were saying, these are a little bit easier to hold on to when you're opening and closing it than, yeah. uh, than your standard lobster clasp. So these are really... Sometimes they can be just a little bit fiddly, can't they? Yeah. Um, disappear under your nail, whereas these definitely won't. Even at £17.99, we are not stopping there. We're going to be bringing it to you as your early bird price tag as well. Um, you do get all three of them. Here's some uh, illustrations of how you use your lobster claw. Um, and you can get d different versions of your class, of course. You can get your bolt ring class, which are much more spherical. You can get your lobster claw, which are look like lobster claws. Um, but it's about that continuity within your design, I suppose. Eight pounds and 99 pence. Um, I'm just gonna ask the team if we can switch the call screen, because um, I think we're still on Hobby Maker. I think so, anyway. Um, and yeah, how many, how many do we have, Roscoe? 
We've got a hundred available. So even though these um, are in your early bird, um, early your early hour, doesn't necessarily mean that every item is very limited in their quantity, um, which is good when they are as essential as these. We need our lobster claw clasps, um, and as Monica said, they are that bit. They they are that much bigger, so less fiddly. Should we go lower? Just because we've had quite a few mishaps already, haven't we? I think we should. I mean, that's already three pound per class, which is pretty amazing. But it's stunning silver class, absolutely. Of size and of weight, yeah. seven pounds ninety nine. Oh. And and they, I mean, I have these at home, and they're they're really good size because they're small enough to go on a bracelet, but they're also substantial enough to use for a necklace. And although I love toggle clasps, but the the lobster style clasps are the ones that I use most often because. I was explaining earlier in my in my demo that I always make my necklaces with a with an extender chain. Yeah. Uh, so obviously these kind of clasps work really well with an extender chain because yeah. then you never know what sort of a top you're going to be wearing true. your necklace, whether you might That's want true. it to be a bit lower or higher. So give yourself that versatility. Um, we're not stopping here, says Ross. We're going to go even lower. We've got a hundred of them. They are essentials. Even if you think you're well stocked on your findings, it's always worthwhile when you see deals like this, just snaffling them because you're going to use them at some point, aren't you? Let's be honest. £6.99. Now, I challenge anybody to pop into a local jeweller's and say, I need, uh, I don't know, I need a clasp fixed, because we've all got broken jewellery, haven't we? Um, I need that clasp fixed. Do you think they're going to charge you £6.99 for just one clasp? No. I very, very, very much doubt that. You don't just get the one, though. You are getting all three. Are you happy at £6.99, Monica? What do you think? I mean, it's birthday celebration, so... I, I am happy at 6 99 but obviously I would be happier if it was even lower. Yes, <laughs> I, I, I think so too. Come on then, Ross. Monica has set, you know, she's set the, set the scene. She'd be happier even lower. 5 99 wow. that's £2 per gold-plated sterling silver. And what size was it? 14 millimetre lobster claw class. Wow. So they're big sizes. They're not insignificant in their and gram if, weight. If you think about it, um, like my husband, for example, has a, a chain that he got for his christening when he was a little boy. Yeah. A gold, a plain gold chain. And he came to me and he said, the clasp was broken. Can I, can I fix it or can I do something with it? And normally what you would do is you take it to a jeweler, yeah. as you say, and have them change it or whatever. And I said, oh, no, I have some... I can do that. Here, I can fix it for about has, three, three minutes. <laughs> Monica has that ability. There you go. Um, lots of you there. Good morning, everybody. Essex, hello to you, Linda, Dorothy, Amanda, Nancy, Charmaine. Hello to you, Lorna, Maker, and new customers getting involved. Um, we have got quantity, but there's a lot of multi-buyers getting involved on this as well. Um, so I would definitely make sure you check out your basket sooner rather later. I don't know if you know, but we're still very much in the midst of, uh, um, of the 13th birthday celebrations. Hooray! Um, so yeah we've got lots of deals still to bring you and I don't know 5 99 just doesn't sit comfortably with us even though that is a fantastic price and none of us are going to argue that are we but Ross says L I think I think just because today the day how we've started already half an hour into the show and we've had every mishap possible um, but I'm going to squeeze it under five pounds for everybody just to thank you for your patience um, as always um, happy birthday jewelry maker Happy, happy birthday. Oh, love it. Absolutely love it. 13 years of broadcasting, 13 wonderful years. Um, very much looking forward to the next 13 as well. We are squeezing this under five pounds. We had a hundred of them, but believe me when I say the call screens have lit up. They've previously closed at 6 99 which is a fantastic deal. Fantastic. But we can do better. It's the birthday. Pack of three, gold-plated, 925, sterling silver, essential clasps, wow. 4 99 for you today. And that does get you all three of them as well. How amazing. Look at the call screens, Monica. They've lit up. I think there's a little bit of a queue on the, uh, on the telephone lines, but minimal. Um, you are, uh, our call centre are UK-based. In fact, they're a stone throw away from Monica and I as we speak. Good morning to them. Um, I hope they realise just how busy it is going to be this morning. Yeah, I mean, I think you'd probably be hard pressed to find one of those clasps somewhere else for four ninety nine. Precisely, very good deals here at Jewelry Gold Maker. Gold plated, sterling silver, precious metal on precious metal. Fourteen millimeter clasp. Yeah, two point three grams. Wow. Yeah, exactly. They will be a sellout though, because I can see twos, threes, fours, fives. Um, and above, well done, Natalie, Kevin, hello to you, Debbie, Liz, Lynn, hello to you, Caroline, Dave and Devon, Vanessa, hello to you, 
uh, Lynn in West Yorkshire, Susan, hello to you, Conway, hello to you, Essex, Caroline, uh, Manchester, nice to see you this morning. I'm actually really struggling to keep up with the volume of the names. Um, you do disappear off the bottom of the call screen as well. So if you can see, if you're thinking, hang on, you haven't called my name out. It's probably because you're at the bottom of the screen at the moment, but you'll soon jump round. Don't worry. Um, we had 100 available opportunities. I've got 30 of them left. So again, a little bit of a queue on the phone lines. Um, please do bear with our call centre. And if you have them in your basket on the web or the app, then you do need to check them out. We are not like ASOS. We are not like uh, um, you know most retailers where we'll give you a little reminder. Ooh, do you forget something? Ooh. We don't do that here, <laughs> unfortunately. Especially in this hour, it just disappears. So, um, yeah, that's why you're getting such amazing deals. Make sure you do check them out. Um, did you like that? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. It'd be quite good though, wouldn't it? Can you imagine if you if you left something in your basket and then all of a sudden you had Monica, go, Monica, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll be whichever going. <laughs> I think we need to make that happen. I think that would be really funny. Um, but then you'd have to put up with me all the more. Uh, Debbie, well done. Claire, well done. Congratulations. We are, how many do we have left? 19 left. So good luck. Good luck. Good luck. And remember, these deals will disappear in 29 minutes. Lots of you shopping ahead on your Christ praise. Lots of you shopping ahead. Um, on your type A honey jadeite too, amazing. Keep checking out those baskets. Um, fabulous, well done to you all. Shall we? I tell you what, because I have to pick up the pace, aren't I? Um, shall we do? Did you say a closeout deal? Yes. Now there's thirty available. This is South Sea. Wow. South Sea Akoya Pearls, Tahitian Pearls are widely regarded as the best in the world. Um, as you can imagine, these are, these are actually harvested just off the coast of Australia in amongst some quite treacherous waters, shall we say. Um, but um, in amongst those dangers, though, these beautiful little mollusks are nurtured, cared for, quite frankly, pampered. Um, the barnacles are chipped off the mollusk shell. Um, the water temperatures and uh, um, waters are actually uh, filtered um, so that you've got happy mollusks feeding. Um, but when they are cared for so beautifully um, and through this culturing process, the end result is in hope, in the dream of having a South Sea pearl like this. Now, they are renowned for having the most beautiful golden colour. For example, yes, you know, when we were watching the coronation, not yesterday, day before, was it? Yeah, yeah. day before. Um, sorry, so confused with the, the bank holidays and everything. Um, there was definitely South Sea pearls in that, in, oh, yeah. in, in the Abbey. You could see some absolutely beautiful pearls draped around decolletages and, and, and in the ears of um, many uh, sort of well, royalty and uh, members of hierarchy, whichever, I don't know, but they were wearing this beautiful pearl. Um, but like I said, they are renowned for producing some of the best in the world. They have the most impeccable luster. They have this absolutely beautiful gold and uh, um, iridescence to them. They come from the golden lip oyster, which that in itself, even prior to the culturing process, takes about two, three years to mature before they wow. can even initiate um, culturing. Now, we did say we're going to do a closeout deal for this level of luxury for South Sea pearls. Nothing wrong with freshwater pearls. And in actual fact, freshwater pearls are very much sort of raising the bar these days. Um, but in terms of historically, it's Akoya, it's Tahitian and it's South Sea pearls that are widely regarded as, as the best. Even here at £49.99, absolutely unbelievable, but a closeout deal on this level of luxury. I haven't even mentioned the fact that this is actually in a slider, um, but it could be a slider uh, necklace, not just bracelet. So if you would prefer, um, I'm saying that because you've got 24 centimetres in its length. So this would be really nice alongside your kits, Monica. I would absolutely use it as a necklace because I'd want to see those pearls. Yes. Yeah. I wouldn't necessarily want them to be sort of, uh, sort of knocking around around the wrist. Yeah. It would be the kind of, uh, it's the level of luxury that, yes, you'd have draped around the decolletage. That's our opinion anyway. Um, 49 99 already an absolutely unbelievable deal. I think we'd all agree. We are going to take it to a brand new low. We need the space within the vault, says... Is, yeah, it is. It's, it's bursting at the seams, our vault, which is a fabulous problem to have, to be honest. 
because that means lots of beautiful goodies for you all. Perfect with Monica's kits that are coming up in the in the nine and the twelve o'clock hour as well. We've never taken South Sea pearls in the slider bracelet to anywhere near what's on your screens before. Twenty nine pounds and ninety nine pence only. It's one of the easiest pieces of jewellery that you'll actually create because if you can imagine, sorry, I'll have to sit up ever so slightly. Um, if you can imagine, maybe some pearls going around the back of the decolletage, oh, yes. that would be beautiful. And actually having this at the front, oh, and you, it's actually interchangeable then, isn't it? Because you could have it at the back as well. Yep. Close out deal for you all. How many did we have then, Roscoe? We had 30 available, um, lowest ever price for South Sea Pearls. You know, our expectation, certainly my expectation of South Sea Pearl, when I've, I've worked in, um, in, in jewellery businesses um, for the best part of half my life, um, and South Sea Pearls were always four figures. Yeah. always four figures so to see be able to get hold of it at under 30 quid is just amazing and that's one of the many reasons why i'm proud to be uh, part of the jewelry maker family well then dawn good morning emma hello to you debbie hello to you maker lorraine natalie lorna hello to you, anonymous maker wanting four you know what to do there's only 30 and that is uh lowest ever price point close out deal for you all keep those lovely messages coming into the studio as well we'd love to hear from you this morning um how you're celebrating your your bank holiday weekend um it's a bit rainy today isn't it so feet up in front of the tv watching jewelry maker lovely monica that's all you need that's all i need anyway um okay the clover the green jadeite clovers has sold out so if you have a little look at the website you can shop ahead on all these deals even if i haven't yet brought them to, to air um australian chrysoprase type a honey jadeite santa maria aquamarine these are some of your big promos in this hour we're going to do something extra special with those um we're actually going to do the aquamarine next you've got your blue john fluorite look you've got there's the south sea pearls that i've just brought you pink tourmaline again you can shop ahead on these lots of items are already selling out um, and also, if you, oh, look, Herkimer Courts, love it. Um, if you have got, um, if you want me to bring a strand to air, then feel free to drop us a message into the studio and we'll do our very best to do that. Also, don't forget that you can shop ahead on your base metal chain bundles. So we are bringing you in this hour, the gold plated and the rose gold plated. Yes, you do get all 10 of them. And then the silver color is actually coming up in the next hour. So you can't shop ahead on that one as of yet, uh, but we can definitely bring you this one. Shall we bring you the beauty that is Santa Maria? Now, let me explain. Uh, Aquamarine, member of the Beryl family forms in lots of different places around the world. But there was one location within Brazil, Santa Maria, um, that some time ago <coughs> produced uh, the most idyllic color of this, uh, of this gemstone. Often with aquamarine, you have to make a sacrifice. You have to make a sacrifice of color um, for clarity or clarity for color, if that makes sense. But this location in the world um, produced the perfect balance of both. So you have that clarity and you have that perfect intensity of like a summer's day sky blue. Um, that's the ideal. Now, these days, we use the terminology, much like we use the terminology Pareba for tour in tourmaline, it's not about the location as such, it's about the level of the quality that you're actually getting. So this, I, I don't know, it might not be from the Santa Maria mine, in fact, that's all but mined out, but it's a, it's, it's a level, an indication, if you like, of the quality that you're getting, much like you would use D to describe a, 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 an amazing diamond. Now, the these are extremely, extremely limited. You're getting your four millimeter. Look, you can see the color from there, can't you? You can see how perfect this strand is. Extremely limited. And if you are an aquamarine baby, I would definitely dial in nice and early. Um, in your four millimeter rounds, I mean, Monica, so many of us all say that the four mil has become almost the most popular size of round that we actually Absolutely. offer. Absolutely, especially if you're a seed beater. Yes. But even if you're not, I mean, it, it's, it's such a beautiful size, I think, because it's, it's, it's delicate, but it's not um, invisible, if you know what you no, mean. No, I agree. Um, I agree. I really like long line necklaces in your four yes. mils. And I think, again, Monica, they'd look absolutely beautiful with your kits. 
These are limited in their opportunity. Again, Santa Maria has that perfect, it, it is uh, like saying, okay, well, this is a quad A tan tonight, if that makes sense. Um, I'm not making comparisons here. I'm obviously using the analogy of the quad A. It's an indication of the best grade. Santa Maria is that indication in the wonderful world um, of aquamarine. Again, widely regarded around the world. Really, in my opinion, it is one of those gemstones that sits within the you know within the top gemstones yeah. in the world's popularity alongside your sapphires your rubies your emeralds your diamonds etc um, it's right up there and it's steeped of course in amazing history but if ever you hear the term santa maria um, then yes it is referencing the quality and the saturation and clarity that you are getting within this gemstone very limited in their opportunities your auction is about to open in three two one um, this has been requested numerous times, but sadly, I only actually have six available opportunities. Um, absolutely beautiful quality, idyllic quality. Um, it doesn't get any better than this. That's the thing you can get. I remember us bringing Santa Maria to uh, San Santa Maria Aquamarine to where um, it was Mark, I think, that actually launched it um, some time ago. And that was a strand that was £350. I remember it because it was a certain price point that you hadn't really done before at Jewelry yeah. Maker. I, re I remember that because I was at his workshop and he brought it in. To really, show to all, show yeah. everybody. Um, yeah, and now, you know, we're, the fact that we are bringing it to you on quite a few different occasions, again, tells you, um, you know, the quality and the grades of the gemstones that we actually offer you. Even here, let's be honest, 40 carats of Santa Maria Aquamarine for nine. £199 is not unrealistic. Now I'm going to show you. There was, yeah, the phone lines have lit up. I've only got six. Maybe you know, maybe you recall what we took this to on launch, thought you missed out, and here is your second chance. Yeah, it is ridiculous. I remember, Ross, I remember what we took this to. Just check. I, look, if you if you've got your heart set on owning this strand of Santa Maria Aquamarine, I would check out now. There are six available in the world. That's it. That's all we've got left. That's it. And this is no way near your price point. Good luck, everybody. What more can I say? Good luck. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I remember this, Ross, because we were talking about Pragnils, weren't we? Um, Pragnil, which is like oh, one of the most luxurious jewellery houses and um, uh, iconic name in the jewellery world. High quality, original Santa Maria Aquamarine tended to be cut and polished into large step cut gems. Um, all the better to showcase their colour, clarity and unmistakable beauty. Whether set into uh, a majestic cocktail ring or mounted among diamonds with an art deco pendant, the allure of Santa Maria Aquamarine is uh, unsurprising past and they are sought over uh, sorry sought after by connoisseurs and collectors alike in 1963 the government of brazil gave first lady eleanor roosevelt a dark blue rectangular step cut aquamarine that weighed 1300 carats um, it was the larger of two stones faceted from a piece of aquamarine rough sourced in the minas Gerais region of brazil um, it is claimed to be the largest faceted aquamarine in the world elizabeth ii was also gifted uh, brazilian aquamarine in 1953 as a gift from the people of Brazil. Uh, the collection of aquamarines has evolved. It's actually the only piece, I'm just going to interrupt this article, the aquamarine that we've seen uh, um, Elizabeth II wear, wear, Queen Elizabeth II wear, um, she, it's the only piece of jewellery that she's de personally developed. Um, she loved it that much. It's the only necklace, t she actually had a, a, a tiara created out of it as well. Only aquamarine she has actually done this with. Now we're, we're o doubly over allocated if that does make sense. We're gonna take this to a price point that you are not paying today. Natural Santa Maria aquamarine from Brazil. We, yeah, we don't see this quality of, uh, of Santa Maria. Um, very often, yeah. Do you know, even on our sister channel, we rarely see Santa Maria Aquamarine. That's the reality of it. Um, in fact, Dave showed that, didn't he? He said he, he launched a Santa Maria Aquamarine cut stone um, during this presentation. There, that one. No, that one. 
Um, and this was the lab report of the, of the Santa Maria Aquamarine. Obviously, it was set into jewellery. But you look at the difference in the colour. It's beautiful, don't get me wrong. And he said this was, I can't remember the price he said. But, um, but look at the difference in the colour that you're seeing within that one individual stone to what you're actually getting here. It's far, far, far more intense um, in, terms of it, in terms of its saturation. Again, we don't see it very often here at Jewellery Maker. Um, we're going to take it to a price point that you haven't, uh, that you, we're not closing. I'm going to tell you we are going lower than 99.99. Remember the first Santa Maria Aquamarine that we launched here at Jewelry Maker um, was 350 pounds, I think. Mark launched, yeah, 350 pounds. Mark launched it. Um, I, I, maybe it was Carol. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I, I, I remember Mark because, of course, it was his favourite gemstone yes. at the time, and he was absolutely raving about this strand. At that time, it was 350 pounds some years ago. You know, this isn't any lesser quality. Quite the opposite. You've got flawless clarity. There's no hiding spaces with, the, with play, plain rounds. The wonderful thing about a facet is it can hide a flaw in a gemstone, um, whereas these, because there isn't a single facet, there's no hiding spaces whatsoever. We are not stopping at 99.99. We are super over allocated, though. Um, well done to Amanda, who shopped ahead and said, I'll have two. Thank you very much, jewelry maker. I know that's an amazing deal, even if we were to stay there, which we definitely are not. We are going lower. Good luck, Anne-Marie. Good luck, Kent. Good luck, Elvina. Good luck, George. Good luck, Maker. Good luck, Sandy. Good luck, Leicestershire. Good luck, London. And that's just a handful of names I can see. Everybody pays that final low price tag. £69.99 pence for... Sa it doesn't get any better than Santa Maria. That's the thing. Santa Maria Aquamarine is the best that it can possibly be. And it's so lovely to have it in the, in the four millimetre rounds as well, because uh, as that article was saying, most of the time Santa Maria Aquamarine would be cut stones. Cut stones in, um, in gold or platinum. You have to have a certain amount of experience making jewellery to be able to use. Yes. Uh, but with the, with the four millimetre rounds, you can't go wrong. If you've never made a piece of jewellery before, you can turn this into a piece of jewellery. And beaded jewellery is all the rage at the moment. Cartier are working with beaded jewellery. It's not just your calibrated stones. £34.99 on your split payments. But again, you do need to make sure you check out your baskets. Um, yeah, it's laboratory certified. I can tell you that. You can see that certificate just here. That's the one for this very, very strand. Um, yeah, you can see uh, the quality of it. Um, you can see that wonderful colour. Remember also that in 12 minutes, everything will disappear. We apologise for the hiccups that we had at the beginning of the show. Remember, you can shop ahead on your base metal chains. Um, you can shop ahead on your beautiful Chrysoprase and also your Type A Honey Jade Eye. Oh, imagine either of those alongside your Santa Maria. Just so you know, there are two left of these. That's it. Samantha, you've done it. Debbie, you've done it. Amanda, you've done it. Sandy, you've done it. Um, telephone call or if you press your option one you can jump ahead of the queue basically it's allocated on the first come first serve basis we can't say any fairer than that um yeah and and then this, the gemstone that i'm going to bring you on the back of this um is i think the perfect combination um type a grade there's about 30 second wait on the phone lines which isn't too bad is it um speak to our wonderful call center and uh, hopefully they'll get that in your basket um amazing well done now Type A, type B, type C. What that basically means, type B and type C are either uh, polymer impregnated or dyed. Um, type A is completely and utterly natural. In the world of jade, type A is what you want, really. It's what will is, is considered valuable and what, that w what will appreciate in time. Um, anyway, but... And I'm just going to kind of speak to you about this very briefly, um, assuming that not everybody knows what jade is, what jade eye is, what nephrite is. Um, so jade, this is the simplest way. And like I said, I've, I'm thinking about my family that were with me yesterday, If you because they were asking some questions about gemstones. But um, if you imagine jade being the surname, and then you've got the two siblings, you've got jade eye and you've got nephrite. Chemically, they are very, very different, um, but they come under that umbrella. umbrella. Now, jade eye is the rarer of the two. Um, and this 
this strand in particular because the Burmese mine, which is what has produced the world's majority of jadeite over thousands of thousands of years, has now closed. And it's a very recent event. It closed um, only sort of uh, um, within the last year or so. Um, but there's different colours. And on the other day, if you were tuned in, we, you saw that we brought a strand, the colours of jade. Um, if you go on to Mason and Kay, um, they show a colour wheel. You can get your imperial greens, which is probably the most recognised. You can get your lavenders, you can get your reds, you can get your pure whites, you can get black jadeites, and you can get honey yellow. Now, honey yellow sits under the red umbrella. Um, and the reason why these colours are so rare is because if you can imagine a boulder, the majority of that boulder will actually hopefully have a have a color uh, first um, if it does have color it will probably be green it's only the skin of the boulder where it has actually oxidized that you get colors like this Wow. and you will be we're very fortunate here because I don't want people to, to assume that this is normal to get that intensity of yellow we might get a moment of yellow. We might get, I don't know, a, a proportion, a small proportion of yellow within a bead or within a carving. These are entirely honey yellow saturations um, and they're completely and utterly natural. But there are four available. Uh, you know, let's not be blasé about this. If you go to Sotheby's or Christie's or Bonham's, you'll have one you'll yeah. have one opportunity. Yeah. Um, and that's where we would probably have to go to actually source honey yellow jadeite. So, oh my goodness me. I mean, 299 pounds. Sorry, I've just had that one of those, one of those moments of realization where I kind of think, look, it's 299 pounds for one of the world's rarest gemstones. There's 6,000 mineral, minerals on this planet of which jadeite is in the top 10. Yeah. And then there's this color, I couldn't even put a, a number to that. You know, we are looking at one of the rarest commodities that exists on Mother Nature. And you will not have to work too hard to find prices of this in auction houses, on first dibs, in Sotheby's, in Bonhams, in Christie's for thousands of pounds. So even here, 299, amazing. But that's not a jury maker price point. We buy very differently, very, very, very differently to any other jeweler out there. We, and, and we've been very honest. We made, there was an opportunity during COVID, we purchased as much of the type A jade as we possibly could. Now the world is sort of out of COVID, if you like, the pandemic. Um, and everybody wants this, this, this gemstone once again. 120, well, they always did. But the reality is they couldn't open the gem yeah. fairs. Those retailers couldn't purchase this gemstone. Um, and we were sort of a first port of call. At £129 for something of this level of rarity, or £43 on your split payment. I don't know how many times I've said this on air, and how many times I say it to myself and my family as well. We should be buying these, and with your skills, knotting them, putting them on 18 karat gold class, and approaching first dibs. First dibs will sell it on your behalf, and you'll make significant profit we haven't had this strand on air it's under, been under lock and key since march wow and i've only got well six originally now i have three because confirmations are there um let me just say good luck to durham let me say good luck to valentina let me say good luck to marion anonymous maker mary and susan and karen in hampshire you can all do it but i have three three available it's down to who makes that confirmation first get it home use your 30-day money back guarantee you don't have to take my word for it trust me when i say oop um <laughs> trust me when i say um that it won't take you long to research type a burmese honey yellow jadeite at significant high price points roscoe have we got the slides in fact i can show some price comparisons okay um yeah there's like bracelets which i've shown you before it's 799 a, cab, a single cabochon at 3000 and um, there's one left with 10 of you in in, in in your basket so um yeah good luck to you um so if you are mary anna sharon uh karen valentina anonymous maker mary and susan um yeah you've oh you're fighting for that last one might have gone i'll leave it with you not sure well done well done well done well done okay wow. speaking of jade i Whenever I have, we have the weekend off and I always step back in on the Monday, I always feel like I've had 
It's been, it's long enough to, you know, it's a break. It's a definite break. But then I always think when I come back into the studio that it's like I'm seeing this for the first time again. You know, type A, green jade eye. Look at this quality. Look, look, look. Uh, okay. Assuming you are all very savvy on jade, you know how expensive it is, you know how rare it is, you know how valuable this gemstone is. Let's talk about the quality of the jade that we see before us. Jade is graded very differently to that of your diamond, sapphires, rubies, yada, yada. It is graded on its colour and its translucency. Mm -hmm. You have, and we often use the terminology jemmy. Jemmy, uh, jade art should look physically wet, like a melting ice cube. This strand is so jemmy, and that's down to its perfect translucency. That is apple green jade. It's unmistakably apple green, isn't it? And I'm gonna stick my head on the uh, uh, neck on the line here and say, that's one of the best green jades that we've had on air. Yeah. Do you agree? Do we all agree? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Not too dissimilar to the bean green, yeah. Um, this is some of the best jade, uh, green jade I've seen. Not just here either. I've got 10 available. I mean, the fact they're in rice bead shapes as well also goes in its favour because that's so elegant. I'm, I, I, I think if you've got that honey jade, you need this in your life. Absolutely. Just one as a single drop pendant. Beautiful. Oh, yes. Yellow jade sold out. Amazing. Oh, this with your spinning jadeite carvings that are coming up. But do we all agree? And it looks very different on my hand because we've got, we've got floodlights above us and it drowns everything out. There's a reason why I come caked in makeup because otherwise you look literally drown, drained in the studio. You do because the floodlights at the end of the day. Um, <laughs> it's floodlights. It's not delicate little spotlights that you would see in a fancy jeweler's or in an auction house. The quality of this jade, as on the recording, is impe impeccable. You've got that translucency. You've got that amazing apple green saturation and it's completely natural. There is a clock ticking on your screens which tells me we're not stopping at 99.99. We have 10. Look at the split payment. Look at that split payment is all I'm gonna say. Oh, that's, that's got to be one of the best jade Light deals we've done. Do we agree? Who launched this, Ross? Was it launched by us? I was away. I thought so. Because you know what, Ross? I would have said that's a ridiculous price point for a strand of this grade. In November, that genuinely... And if you disagree, then you know you can return it. I don't think you will, though. Is one of the best strands. Of course, it's sold out. Amazing. Well done, everybody. Congratulations. A a impeccable quality. And if you love your natural greens. Uh, good morning to you, Barry in Essex. Uh, managed to catch Monica's 7 a.m. masterclass today. Massive thumbs up from me. And this project is going to jump to the top of my to-do list, says Barry. Oh, super. I hope I can see it when it's done. <laughs> oh, yeah, you've got to upload it to the Wall of Fame or even on the Share Your Makes page because can, we can admire it there. Good luck, Barry. You've got this. That's yeah. exciting. If you need any help, just shout. Oh, very interactive. <laughs> Alison, hello, lovely. Uh, saying just tuned in. Wow. Well done to the team that planned this hour. Truly something delicious for everyone. Um, and every pocket, super gemstones. I totally agree. That's a lovely message, Alison. Um, you can still get hold of these deals that Alison is talking about um, right now on the website, but you've got to check out. Um, you've got to check out within this hour, otherwise the items do actually disappear. Um, we've got a couple more auctions, so I tell you what, I will just practice some really bad time management. It's all good. It's all good. Because um, you get extra time on the deals anyway. Nobody ever complains about us rolling over in the first hour. Now, if you want to talk about delicious natural greens, in my humble opinion, Chrysoprase surpasses Imperial Green. They said it. I've said it. I've said it. Imperial, Imperial Jadeite, which is amazing, does not glow like a Chrysoprase. It wants to glow like a Chrysoprase. 
Absolutely. Here is a gemstone that is written about in the jewellery editor, that is in countless different articles with the likes of Dior, with the likes of Piaget, with the likes of uh, um, Tiffany's and Co, all choosing to work with Chrysoprase as we speak. Why? Because it's stunningly beautiful and it's totally and utterly natural. Um, this is Australian, uh, Australian Chrysoprase, and they actually refer to it as Australian Jade. Um, but it's a gemstone that naturally forms quite similar to that of your um, um, your turquoise in that it kind of forms within sort of uh, uh, cracks uh, within the host rock. It's often actually cut within the host rock as well. So you can actually create, here we go, here's an article, uh, Couples Australian Jay Boulder, likely the world's biggest. Um, they did actually, this article goes on to say that they were considering actually sending it to the Far East, but because of the size of it, it yes. just financially wasn't, wasn't <laughs> viable. Um, I love how they put it at the end. On the surface, this 16.4 tonne freak of nature isn't much to look at. Uh, but veteran sapphire miners Jenny and Jim Elliott say the semi-precious, don't use that term anymore, gemstone is one uh, of, if not the world's biggest boulder of Australian jade. The Marlborough area is world famous for chrysoprase and the Elliott specimen uh, would have to be one of the best. Chrysoprase is usually found in thin bands, as I was just saying, um, or in bits and pieces. Um, the Elliots initially tried to sell the boulder in China, where it could have been carved and turned into jewellery, but the logistics of getting the mammoth rock overseas was just too great. And anyway, we've got to preserve these things for Australians. It's important, says Jim. I like that. I like it. I like, I like how he sort of turned that story around. He's like, no, yeah. I'm going to keep it here. Why not? Um, but it, yeah, of all your natural gemstones, particularly your green gemstones, so many of us in the jewellery maker family agree that Christ of Praise has to be up there, if not our, one of our favourites, if not the number one. Um, it's rare and it's expensive and within this within this article I'm just quickly going to show you um, Dior as I said wanting to work with this Piaget there's Dior Piaget there you go Tiffany's there it is in Tiffany's and here's a strand that we tried to do, uh, that Dave discussed in uh, over in Tucson, Arizona, at the beginning of the year, looking to purchase this. Look at the price on the calculator. That was three thousand and twenty dollars um, at wholesale. Wow! So that's a wholesale price. Like I said before, we buy very, very differently to any other jewellery establishment. We'll buy quantity. We are a partnership. Remember, we've got our sister channel, Gems TV, that will make amazing jewellery likewise. Um, and we don't work on massive margins. We work off minuscule margins. £29.99 wow. only. There is a big quantity of them. There's about 50 available. And today, we're going to go even lower. If this is your first time experience in the beauty that is Chrysoprase, I'm going to put, I'm going to put a bit of a bet. I'm going to say it's going to become one of your favourites because it, it glows and you'll notice it from distances away. Again, it's completely and utterly natural. There's no enhancement to this whatsoever. Can you imagine it contrasted with something like your black jade eye or black spinel or your pearls moniker? We so seldom see it. I mean, in my memory, I've only ever seen this strand and one other strand of chrysoprase. Yeah, we don't have a huge amount. So um, It forms... It, 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 that semi-precious... Um, the GIA don't said, right, not using that terminology anymore. They're all yeah. gemstones are precious. Obviously, yeah. some are rarer yeah. than others. Chrysoprase is a very rare gemstone. Yes. Um, it forms in very, very small sizes, especially of this quality. In four seconds, purely because we've got 50 of these available this morning, we are going to take it to an early bird price tag. Good luck, everybody. It'd be amazing with your honey jade eye or with Monica's pearl kits or with your spinning jade eye master carvings coming up today or simply on its own at 24 pounds and 99 pence only. So you can fly to Tucson, which by the way, I've done it, is a long flight. It's a long flight and it's a tough flight too. Um, you can go to one of the world's biggest gem fairs and you can discuss with some of the gem traders over in Tucson, you know, strands of beautiful, impeccable quality chrysoprase that glow. You can see that wonderful glow and uh, you can part with $3,000 of your hard-earned money yeah. or you can save yourself the hassle and you can purchase all right slightly smaller these are smaller and these are faceted you don't have to go on a flight to tucson um we can deliver it to your door 
Um, all with one postage and packaging per day. £24.99 for this amazing strand. That's amazing. I mean... Good luck. I mean, if you think about... I mean, this is something that's created by nature. If you think about over thousands of years, the, the chemical reactions, the, 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 the circumstances that have to come together to create something this spectacular, you know? And, and it's, it's that just, colour naturally. It's just unbelievable. It is amazing. It's otherworldly, I think, chrysoprase. It does, it, you don't imagine that it would belong on this planet. Yeah. You know, it's one of those gemstones that you can imagine coming from outer space. Well done. I'm running out of time. Well done. Okay, shall we do some cashmere peridot? Goodness me. Um, Alison, you weren't wrong, were you? Quite the lineup this morning. Yeah. Um, again, cashmere, like Santa Maria, it's regarded as the best in the world. Um, the best in the world. You get the most beautiful, perfect, idyllic glass. Uh, it's like a grass green. You know when you cut your grass and you see the, 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 the fresh shoots at the bottom? That's how I always describe what peridot should look like. Um, it should be that perfect balance of green and yellow, not too yellowish, not too brownish, um, the perfect in between. $99.99. I've told you this story before. Um, uh, my friend Jake Thompson, that I know you know, um, a friend of mine um, approached me because he wanted to buy his $19.99. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sorry, Ross. Uh, wow. So, have I told you this story, Ross? So my, um, it was my neighbour, they've actually moved since, but my neighbour's wife was turning 50 and she's an August baby and, and her husband actually said to me, look, I want to get, um, she likes this ring, is there any chance you could source something like this or could you get a stone for it? I said, yeah, no problem. Anyway, I spoke to Jake. Um, Jake managed to source the most amazing cashmere peridot for him, which is in a loose stone and he designed the ring around it, which was platinum and it had some baguette cut diamonds either side. Um, all in all, it probably cost him, I don't know, I'm going to say probably probably with the platinum, with the diamonds. It was four figures, but it was very much the low four figures. Um, he had it valued for £8,000. Wow. £8,000. Um, and it was this location of source. Like I said, cashmere is regarded as the best in the world. Perfect grass green colour. Amazing. Well done to you all. Um, stay where you are on those phone lines. Do keep an eye on that website because each of those items are about to disappear. Now, this morning... Um, Ross, is it not that? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, uh, this morning, uh, oh. Ah, did you not expect the warehouse to be doing? Okay, no, 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 they're, they're in. Um, so, Ross added the Kate Middleton inspired sterling silver component connector. Um, and we weren't expected to actually have it here in the studio, but we do. Monica. Uh -huh. With your pearl kits. Yeah, I'm thinking this one. Yes. It's looking lovely in the middle of this one, wouldn't it? Let's bring that over. Yeah. So if you wanted to put it here. Oh, my goodness, Monica. Yes, that would be amazing. Yes. Absolutely amazing. Can I just for a second? Ooh. Right. And also... You know, it could be worn in the hair, it could be worn in the ear, it's a connector. So if I turn it on its side profile, you can see there's, there's lots, lots of, of connection points. Yeah. Yeah. Areas that you can. I'm just gonna bring it to the to the bottom of the desk if I can. Um there are lots of areas for you to attach to or not onto oh, directly. Beautiful. On the back of the weekend, I totally agree, Ross. Very, very fitting. We saw some absolutely beautiful jewellery, didn't we? Um, in amongst the uh coronation celebrations. Uh, and even down to um, her headdress that she wore on the weekend, oh, I think. Um, but here's what it was inspired by. Yeah. Um, and you can actually see that really elegant Marquise-like shape. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Um, now, yours, again, sterling silver. It is encrusted with... Um, hang on a second. Look at this picture, says Ross. You're going to love this, he says. Um, is this with topaz or is this zircon? Oh. Topaz, uh, yeah, I was going to say topaz because you've got so much brilliance. 
Um, so look at this photograph, three generations wearing that amazing oh, okay. necklace. You could do a version of this. That's why this, uh, uh, this connector is actually designed. Um, so that if we put it into the hands of our wonderful talented jewelry maker viewers, you know, you can, you can, you can knot directly onto that connector. And there you are. Uh, we see, of course, yeah, three generations. You've got uh, um, Elizabeth II, Queen Elizabeth II. You've got Princess Diana um, and also the Princess of Wales now, of course, oh, Kate. Um, absolutely stunningly beautiful. Now, even here at £39.99, pence, for the quality, the design, the idea, the sentiment that is behind this really elegant piece, there are 98 wow. round, brilliant cut, genuine topaz. So I beg your pardon, there's 92 rounds. And there's your marquise cuts that you can see at the top there um, and at the bottom. So even here at £39.99, pence, all that beautiful craftsmanship that's gone into this amazing piece. And we're not stopping there. How many do we have there, Roscoe? Okay, there's only 27 available. So if you're inspired or have been inspired certainly by um, the celebrations this weekend and you love that piece of jewellery and you can imagine that piece of jewellery uh, maybe uh, in your business, on your artisanal market or maybe within your family's portfolio, we can, you can get hold of it today for just £19.99. Wow. Again, they are genuine topaz, not cubic zirconias. These are not base metal. They are nine, It's 925 sterling silver. And again, I'm just going to pivot it over on its side so you can actually see the sheer amount of precious wow. metal that you've got within this as well. Amazing. Perfect, perfect time for you to get hold of this, I think. Um, yeah, on the back of today's event, uh, this week's weekend's events. I mean, if you think about it, sometimes you have um, uh, like the strands of, of fresh water pearls that we have on Jewelry Maker. You could probably recreate that necklace for less than fifty pounds, I think. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, and I also think with your jadeite things like that, you could create oh, multi yes, rows absolutely. of your jadeite. Uh, make it your own. You're one of a kind. That's one of the joys of jewellery making, Absolutely. isn't it? That you do create uh, uh, unique pieces of jewellery at an affordable price tag as well. There are 12 remaining. We are not going to see this again. We're not going to be recommissioning this piece. It was a limited edition, one of a kind piece. Ah, I was wondering, Ross, because I th the, the delay on the call screen still still there then. Because all of a sudden I was like, oh, hello, everybody. Um, hello, Alla in New York, Carol, Lucy, West Midlands, Claire, Janet, Cheryl, Anne, Lorna, Susan in Stoke-on-Trent, multi-buying, amazing. I'd love to see your version um, of that lovely necklace. Get them into the Wall of Fame and you never know, we could be crediting you some jewelry maker money as well. Um, amazing. Now, this is our finale auction before we dive into your amazing rose gold and gold plated base metal chain bundles. So you've got, uh, sorry, this auction and these two to make your confirmations but in all honesty it's probably until stocks last so because a lot of items there's five left of these and we've got i can see way more than five names on the call screen um so sarah good luck pauline good luck alison good luck sandra good luck jacqueline good luck kathy london uh cambridgeshire and lane good luck everybody that will be an on-screen sellout amazing okay are you ready name your essentials monica name an essential Anyone? Well, obviously, chain. 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 <laughs> that's the first one. Jump rings. It is the first one. It that's is. the thing. Jump it rings, is. head pins, clasps. You need chains within our stash, don't we? We definitely, definitely do. Now, shop ahead on these two, like so many of you already have. This is not one necklace. This is actually ten. Wow. Ten necklaces. So. I mean, if, if, if I didn't know that it would, uh, um, well, it probably wouldn't even be possible. If I was to say to Dan, Dan, can I have 20 busts, please? We probably haven't got 20 busts within the actual studio. <laughs> yeah. um, but that's basically what I'm looking at here. There are five different designs and you get two of each in a classic eight, 18 inch. Now... The, you know, we always talk about the fact that, yes, you need your sterling silver chains, especially when you're working with, say, silver elements like we've just brought you. Um, but there is also an absolute must need for your more affordable base metal. These are still plated. So um, if you pop into somewhere like, and we say it every single time, so do forgive me, but if you pop into somewhere like Marks and Spencer's or Debenham's or, I don't know, 
New Look or any of those high street brands and you look at their costume jewellery, which isn't necessarily plated, yes. um, you're going to be paying more. And I'm going to say it. I'm just going to put it out there, Ross. There's no holding me back here. You're probably going to pay more. I'm saying it, Adam. You can't stop me. <laughs> You will probably pay more for one than you will the entire bundle with us here at Jewelry Maker today. Mm -hmm. If you pop into, name a high street clothing shop that you go into, Monica. Oh, I don't go shopping for clothes. No, I don't either. Either. <laughs> uh, just one, one that springs to mind then. Oh, clothes. Let's say Marks and Spencer. Marks and Spencer's. Classic. Everyone knows M&S. Yeah, good call. So if I went into M&S and say, oh, I need a chain for the weekend. I need just some, a little, little bit of something across the decolletage for that little bit of colour. And I spot this. <clears throat> and it's beautiful. It's a lovely chain. Yeah. And I took that to the checkout. It's probably going to be more than what you're getting all 10 for today. Just saying. Just saying. But as jewellery makers, we need our essential chains, don't we? Absolutely. We absolutely absolutely need them we need them for when you do your cb pendants well uh, i was just watching a, a previous show that um uh, when chloe menage was on once with her seed bead yes and she did some really intricate sort of pendants and she was saying that she likes to put her pendants on a chain rather than on a seed beaded rope because the chain doesn't take away as much from the pendant i agree as if the rope was also seed beaded which is which is actually a really nice um Nice it becomes well. it, it becomes the center stage then, doesn't it? Does, it does absolutely, yeah. Look at how beautiful these are. Um, base metal chains, uh, you know, like I said, it helps the pocket, of course. Um, but I agree, I, I totally agree with what Chloe was saying mm -hmm. there. Absolutely. It's allowing your 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 pendant, uh, whether that be wire work, C beam, yeah. whichever, yeah. Um, or a simple pendant, maybe that you have already within your jewelry stash, um, to be the focus. And you'll, you've got the complementary chains. So as you can see, you've got your classic curb, you've got your um, oval, you've got a paper clip chain in there, you've got your belcher and a box chain. Five different designs of which you get two of each. How many do we have of these then, Roscoe? Just shy of 100, even if you're thinking, oh, I've got chains, I'm sorted, I don't need them. We're at five pounds per chain. And just remember what I said. Just remember, I genuinely think if you popped in two Marks and Sparks and you wanted to buy one of their costume jewellery chains, you know, the paperclip, for example, which is everywhere at the moment yes. and so on trend, you will probably pay more for that one chain than you will for the whole 10 of these. Just, just to try and remember that one. Even Roscoe, even Roscoe. Remember, first thing this morning, he actually said, oh, oh, I thought there was five. No, there's five designs. You get two of each. <laughs> so even Roscoe got it wrong then. That's, that's less than £2.50 for one chain. £2.50. Gosh. <laughs> Do shop ahead on the rose gold as well. It's definitely, definitely worthwhile making sure you are well stocked on your essential chains. Um, like you would do your head pins, like you would do your jump rings and all of your essential uh, um, jewellery making components. This is absolutely one of those. You know, I, I could sit here and I could talk to you about the, the you know, the trend that is chains, the, the trend that is layering chains, um, all the different design houses <coughs> that aren't necessarily just bringing, you know, selling chains. Um, to hold a pendant they sell chains as beautiful pieces of jewelry in their own individual right their necklaces in their own individual right so even here at two pound fifty per chain how amazing is that but it's not your price can i just explain what the question mark is on your graphics um anything other than uh well certain certain icons that you find our graphics don't like it so they just put a question mark there so uh, it just it, may always, it always tickles me because it goes 10 question mark no you definitely get 10 <laughs> there's no question mark about it you do definitely get the 10 of them um these 10 i'm going to tell you under 20 pounds today wow essentials absolute essentials jean julie carol margaret dawn Teresa, amanda linda hello to cheryl janet 15 pounds oh, yeah no. that's one pound 50. £1. 50. so again marks and spencers their jewelry you'd probably pay probably pay that if not more and as a jewelry maker you can easily turn that into two bracelets and you still have a little bit of chain left over for a pair of earrings exactly and that's less than one pound fifty for two bracelets and a pair of earrings exactly because <laughs> you can customize it because you have those skills 
£1.50. For the paperclip chain in particular, you would be paying more than £14.99. Because yeah. it, it, it is, it, it's such an on-trend look. You've got Tiffany's, Gucci, Misoma, you've got Ashley Clark, Monica Veneda. Remember we showed them the other day? Um, all these different designer brands that are working with the paperclip chain. And I think the most affordable was 95 Granted, that was your precious metal. But, you know, again, it, it's not £1.50, is it? No. It's not one pound fifty. Um, we had just under a hundred of these. So many of you getting involved. Um, well done. Yeah, you do get the ten pieces. There it is. See the little question mark. It makes me laugh. That does ten pieces. No, you definitely get ten. Um, and and also because you've got two of each design, you could clip the two together, have the clasps on the nice. side, and have a really long chain as well. Lovely. And and with it being base metals as well, Monica, you can cut it up. You're not too absolutely cautious about cutting them up. You know, if you want wanted to do things like your bubble style bracelets and bubble style sort of necklaces for example um yeah I mean you don't have to cut them up but if you wanted to or earrings you're not quite so uh, um I mean for £1.50 if you cut it up for extended chains you'd get 10, so 10 extended chains out of there at least at least for one that, that's 15p each yeah 15 <laughs> and you have a clasp left over at the end um Monica they've sold out yeah, well not, done, well sure. done. Now I've got just under 100 of the rows as well. Same applies, same conversation. Oh, don't they look lovely like that? Oh, yes. Absolutely beautiful. Sort of layered, layered on top in a kind of, I don't know, casual chic. Remember what we were saying? Because uh, um, remember Mark was like, oh, I like geek chic. We were talking about geek chic, weren't we? Quite punky. Um, it's sort of, the, it, the article said, think less B.A. Baracus. <laughs> um, and think more geek chic, punk rock, you know, very 90s on trend. You know where these are going, lovely jewellery makers. Again, you have your beautiful rose gold plate. So you have got the precious metal plating here yeah. um, on your base metal. We have, again, just under 100 of these available. Um, absolutely all the rage is layering of your chains. I think that, yeah, it's, it's cool, isn't it? It's really, really cool. Um, and it, as Monica makes some really valid points there, even if you got hold of these, cut them up and use them as your safety chains or yeah. your extender chains. And, I mean, even if you, if you wanted to wear it just like that and you wanted to turn it into one le necklace but you don't want to do up ten clasps every time, yeah. all you have to do is take all the clasps off, get a, a larger jump ring, attach all the ends of all one end of every necklace to the one jump ring yeah the other end of every necklace to another jump ring and then just put one clasp on yeah and you can you can change the lengths as well so that they vary a little bit in the length as well and you have one necklace i mean even if you use them all for one necklace you know for that price yeah you'd exactly have, you'd have nine clasps exactly left over as well um i mean again absolutely flying well done everybody absolutely beautiful I've just put the paper clip chain on there for you to, uh, to see that on its own. But, uh, stunning, aren't they? And what an amazing deal. Uh, £1.50 per rose gold plated base metal chain, 18 inches. Um, yeah, it's always worth having within your stash, especially at that price point. Goodness me. Well done. Isle of Sky, Margot. Hello, Dorothy, Vivian. Hello to you, Miss Janet. Good morning, lovely. Um, hi, gorgeous girls and Team JM. Yeah. Mix the colours and plait them together. Amazing. Oh, absolutely. Get all three sets and then... Ah, oh, that would be beautiful. All strands plaited together. Oh, that would be an amazing necklace, wouldn't it? Yeah, stunning. Hello, Jenny in Bristol saying uh, you could run them round um, a gizmo coil uh, to add sparkle. Yes. Lovely idea. It's a nice idea. Yes. And uh, the fact that these are only pound fifty per chain, again, you're not going to be quite so concerned about trying all of these uh, um, sort of techniques. Now, if you want to get all three colours, which I should imagine so many of you do, you have a minute left on this item, on the rose gold, and everything else within this hour. If you've got a phone in your hand and you've pressed your option one, you'll be okay. Um, I would recommend checking out your baskets because this is about to disappear in 48 seconds. So this auction, the red clock, uh, um, highlights the closure of this auction and everything else that we've brought you, the Chrysophrase, the Jadeites, all of those. Um, yeah, and then you'll be able to pre-order during the break the silver coloured um, because it is coming up straight after that break um, and silver being the most popular colour. It always is. How many do we, how many do we have? Oh, we've got, we've got a, a, it's double the quantity of the silver. Um, there's over 200 of this one. 
Yeah, so make sure you're shopping ahead on that one as well. Mirtha Tidfield, Janet, Jacqueline, hello to you. Elizabeth Penny, Lincolnshire, Claire, Heather, Kathy, Anne, Liz, hello to you. Uh, Jenny, Lucy, hello to you. David, Marion, well done to you. Wendy, Joanne, uh, London, Angela, Irene. If you've got a phone, press Julia, you're all good. This hour is over. Start shopping ahead on the silver. Congratulations to every single one of you. The silver is available on pre-order as we speak. Shop ahead during the break and don't go anywhere because it truly is going to be an amazing bank holiday Monday show. Again, you get the pack of 10 of these. Um, so that's coming up. We'll see you after this. Jewelry makers, this coming bank holiday Monday, we have another fantastic jewelry maker birthday show. I'm gonna be joined by the uber talented Monica, who has got some absolutely astonishing kits. Your deal of the day is spinning jadeite. And of course, the wonderful Dave is gonna be stepping onto our studio floors to launch them to you all. We also have one meter lengths of your birthstones in a strand. And the most amazing base metal chain bundles. It's gonna be a fantastic bank holiday Monday. More birthday deals, make sure you're there. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. After my visit to Hong Kong, um, I got to visit the studio of a master carver uh, working with some of the finest jadeite in the world. And we decided that we wanted to bring that uh, to the collectors here in the Western world. We've worked on a series of impressive hand-carved uh, kind of medallions that are double-sided carved uh, for the collectors at home with auspicious meaning and symbolism. The, the key here is the jadeite is all type A. It's 100% natural and we have some of the most prized and coveted colors for our collectors, but it is extremely limited. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Hello everyone, it's Mark here. What an incredible start to our 13th birthday celebrations and we've still got so many surprises coming up. I'm here to tell you about my next show, which is Tuesday the 9th of May and I'm going to be joining the wonderful presenter Elle and the team. And I'm here specifically to tell you about three items going to be featuring. Firstly, in the nine o'clock hour, I've got the most incredible sterling silver spacer bead bundles to show you. In the 12 o'clock hour, if you like glass bicones, if you like chakra colors, if you like the rainbow colors, you will not want to miss the masterclass at 12 o'clock. And then the other item I want to tell you about is if you are an avid seed beater, you have a massive stash and nothing to store them in, we have got for you the most incredible seed bead storage solution and we're going to be keeping with the rainbow theme and also remember we've got our advent calendar make along feature as well so i cannot wait for you to join us have a lovely weekend and i will see you bright and early on tuesday the 9th buying with jewelry maker couldn't be easier here's a quick overview of how to get involved when you see a product you like and you want to purchase you will see the graphics appear on the screen You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. 
No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, lovely jewellery makers. Amazing. Look at this. Can we just quickly show Monica's beautiful necklace that we're going to be offering the kits and demos to within this hour? Um, not too long to wait for that. Um, really simple components, but put together to make the most luxurious jewellery. Yeah, and I think it's very wearable as well. Very much so. Yeah. Very much so. So that's coming up in a few moments time. Um, but as promised, we're going to bring you 10 pieces of beautiful silver plated base metal chains, five different designs, and yes, you do get all 10. On uh, During the break, we said shop ahead, you know, pre-order. If we brought you that, you've seen the deal. We brought you the gold and the rose gold plate at 11, uh, uh, sorry, 14 99 so what's that, £1.50 each. Um, now on to the most popular color. Um, <clears throat> just because this is the most popular colour, does that mean that we're going to hoik the price up? No, you know us better than that. Um, usually it's quite the opposite because we've got a big quantity. Um, we can usually navigate um, the best and most amazing deal. Even though you have got some of the most current and on-trend styles of chains, of which there are probably thousands in the world, um, Figaro, Belcher, Curb Chain, Trace Chain, um, I could go on, Prince of Wales. There's so many different designs. Um, yeah, you've got, you've got some of the more traditional and you've got some of the most on-trend. Remember, it was Coco Chanel, or what, rather we believe it was Coco Chanel that actually first um, designed the paperclip chain. And it was Jackie O, wasn't it, who was obsessed with the paperclip chain that... Um, um, finally, she wanted to buy one and they were very limited edition when Coco Chanel actually first launched them to the world uh, uh, um, and eventually saw one at auction and she spent oh, right. a huge amount of money just getting one of the first paperclip oh. chains. Um, now these are launching, the countdown is there in 35 seconds. So again, make sure you are ready to check out your baskets nice and early, everybody. Even though there's 200, you might be thinking, I got loads of time, there's 200 of them available. That will last probably, I don't know, uh, maybe a matter, a matter of minutes. I'm just gonna pick these up for just one second so I can show you um, the beautiful designs. I mean, look, this, is, this one just so happens to stay on the bus. That's your box chain, so you get great strength within your box chain. But look how beautiful they all are. You have this wonderful veil um, of beautiful sterling, uh, um, sorry, silver plate, uh, silver plated base metal. The five designs times two. And the launch is uh, the launch is open. Um, silver plated, eighteen inches. As I said, we had we had two hundred of them. Over fifty eight um, were had sold during the break. The phone lines have gone nuts right now. And in Worcestershire's multi bought, well done. This is the thing. People won't just bite me buying the one, Monica, will they? Absolutely. They'll be getting multiples of. You don't see this deal every day, do you? You don't, <laughs> so and this is the most popular colour as well, isn't it, of all our... It. Yeah. Not just here at Jewellery Maker either. It's the most popular colour of metal um, or internationally all around the world. Um, so let's get straight down to your early bird price tag. We're not messing around, no dilly-dallying, you know, all of that. Do not pass go. Da, 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 da. Um, it just gone straight down to what one pound fifty per silver plated chain. Um, this isn't just for the one; you get all ten of them. So, what an amazing first purchase this might be for someone that's watching jewelry maker Absolutely. for the very first I mean, time. We've all got a whole set of pendants at home that we keep changing on the chains all yes. the time. So, even if you just get it, so that you don't have to change the chain, because it is a fact, isn't it? It is, especially if you're uh, rushing out somewhere. To yeah, uh, wait, I need to find and we're, chain. Busy, we're busy people, aren't we? It is a little bit of a faff, is all I'm saying. But look at that. Look at look how beautiful they are. If you do things like your um, your craft events and your um, artisanal markets, etc., you know some people will will favour certain links, won't they? Yeah. Um, so just because I'm sort of, uh, uh, sort of gushing about the um, about the paperclip chain doesn't mean it's for everybody. You might like the more traditional. Um, 
um, curb chain. You know, though, lovely jewellery makers, we're not going to stop at 14 99 As I said, I hinted earlier on, oh. usually if we've got a bigger quantity, which we do, um, we might be able to navigate that price point down just a little bit. Um, but even here at £1.50 per silver plated chain, it's pretty fantastic, isn't it? How about £1.29 per chain? <laughs> £1.29 per chain. If I was to pop along to our vending machine right now in our canteen and I, I, I want to buy a packet of crisps and a, and a chocolate bar, couldn't get it for £1.29. No. It, you know, it doesn't get you very much these no, days, it does it? it doesn't. However, with jewellery making, you can get yourself a silver-plated, beautiful chain. Imagine, imagine a vending machine that gave you chains. Oh, that'd be nice. <laughs> that'd be very nice. I like that. Even if you bought these, Monica, and just sold them on immediately yeah, in a profit. I mean, especially if you have, if, as you were saying, if you have a craft store, how professional would it look if you have these all on display and say you can buy your pendant and you can pick which Choose your pendant. Chain. Choose your pendant, one. choose I mean, your chain. And, and at the very minimum, you could say five pounds to yeah. for it with a chain and, and nobody would blink, you know. No, absolutely not. It's a, I mean, five pounds, a fantastic price point. £12.99, amazing deal. That's for 10 chains. Have we? Oh, Ross has fluffed it again. <laughs> <laughs> he says, I haven't got 200 now. I've got 300. Oh, Okay. So does that mean you can push it again? Are you going to do it? Like salt and pepper said. Ross, are you going to push it like salt and pepper? <laughs> <laughs> Is it? I didn't realise. Okay, yeah, maybe. <laughs> just... <laughs> I just realised what the song's that... Okay, stop there, Al. <laughs> <laughs> just, just okay. How about you just push that price point then? Let's just leave that there, shall we? There's not two hundred. There was three hundred available. Good luck, everybody. Elaine, Amanda, David, Teresa, Manchester, Neil, and Linda, Liz. I can't look at the the, the core screens. I've got four full rows of names, yeah. probably filling up both TV monitors. In ten seconds, we are going even lower. The fact that you can interchange as well, because I always think, Monica, you know, certain pendants or certain designs yeah. will complement a different link. Absolutely. But you could even put two or three chains through the same pendant. True. Yeah. True. My cousin yesterday, I noticed, uh, uh, as you do, you, uh, when, you're in jewel when you work in jewellery, you notice jewellery, don't course, you? Of course, yes. Um, and my cousin, she was wearing two pendants on one chain. Oh. Just looked nice. But obviously yeah. sentimental to her, but yeah, two, uh, two pendants on one chain. Just looks nice. You know, if she had these, she could layer them up, couldn't she? She could actually wear them at different lengths. So maybe... Oh. I normally gift, I like to gift my family jewellery when we get together, but I actually didn't get have the um, opportunity to yesterday. We can send it in the post, can't we? £9.99 pence only um, to get hold of such beautiful designs and links like this. Loads of multi-buying and you're not capped, you're not restricted. Um, on the quantity uh, um, that, that, that you can purchase. If you want to get 10 of them, you absolutely can. That's what, 100 chains then. Yeah. 100 chains in your um, in your stash. And it's not even breaking the bank. Pearl in Suffolk, Carol, well done. Carol, Anne, Wiltshire, Claire, Janet, Mary, Jacqueline, Shirley, Hello to you, Nuala, David, Lorraine, Teresa, Teresa. Um, well done to you. Amazing. Sandra, Manchester, you're there as well. Um, is there a slight queue on the phone lines or our amazing call sent? 45 seconds okay so it's minimal um and remember it's a free phone telephone number if you are calling off your landline um and you're also going through a U to a uk based contact center a very lovely team that sit not too far away from monica and i as we speak say uh, say happy bank holiday to them all and also don't forget to drop us a message we've we're very much continuing the jewelry maker 13th birthday celebrations we've got some beautiful kits coming up with monica in a few moments time um and of course the demonstration so if you've got any questions loads of multi buyers look at that you've got twos threes fours fives well done it might even be more from the 300 that we initially had at the beginning thought it was 200 but it's not now it's 300 goodness me they're still gonna sell out still gonna sell out because they're a must go back to what we originally said Monica these are as said as essential as a head pin Absolutely. And uh, it doesn't matter what medium you make jewellery with, if it's seed beading, if it's wire work, yep. resin, you know, yep. 
felting, anything like that, you're going to be using your change, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. 100%. Simple beading. Exactly. And, and whether it's for yourself or whether it's for gifting, whether it's for selling, it doesn't matter. You're going to use your chains all the time. Always. And 18 inch is the most popular length of chain. Yeah. Um, it does depend on your build, obviously. But uh, for me, for example, if you're a, si a similar frame to I am, um, it sits just below the nape of the neckline. Um, hello to you, Wiltshire. Morning, all. I was at badminton yesterday and my burger cost me £10. Wow. Do you know, do you know, it's weird you say that, Wiltshire, because my husband loves burgers, loves them. Abs I'm, I can take or leave a burger personally, but um, he loves a burger. And there's like a street van near us. Um, I won't n mention who they are, but and I will be, I will say they're pretty amazing burgers. And this is come from, coming from someone that's not massively into burgers. Um, anyway. He was telling me the price, they, they, they've had a price increase now. Mm. For, for a burger and, a ch and, and chips, from what is a street van, not a restaurant, can I just point out, it's £15. Oh, my gosh. £15. Yeah, you wow. know what, you know, no, for burger and fries. He was like, he, he's, no, he's trying to sell it to me. And he was going, it comes with fries now, Elle. I was going, <laughs> no, that, it's a street van. It's not a restaurant. Well, I was going to say yes. That. I was going to say we went to the pub on Friday, and my husband had a burger which was sixteen pounds. But you've got at, at least, least you've got a table, exactly. You haven't got to sit on the side <laughs> of the street to eat it. And I was like, "That's astronomical money for a burger." Oh. Sorry, got me on my soapbox there, haven't you? <laughs> See, I, I, amazing. And I, I listen. I do get it. Price of everything's gone up, so yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure there's that bears a reflection. But I just thought that was a huge amount of money for a burger from a street van. They're delicious, though. Don't get me wrong. They are delicious. Um, amazing. Well done, everybody. Look at the quantity. We are down to the final 57. I'll keep you updated on that quantity. But was it a good burger, though? Was it? That's the next Wiltshire. You got to tell me, was it a decent burger? Because if you if you if you part with one orange note for a whole burger, it best be a good one. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. There's yeah. nothing worse than when you spend your own money on food and it's rubbish. Yeah. I we we had. <laughs> um, we all, <laughs> we ordered a delivery the other day. Um, we had a takeaway and. It was from a restaurant that we don't normally order. And I, I, I threw mine away. It was horrid. It was, do you know, and then we, you're just so dissatisfied, aren't you? We ordered a, a fish and chips once and um, uh, from a delivery company. Yeah. And I came two hours later. Now, the fish and chips might have still been okay at that point. But we also ordered halloumi fries, which <laughs> halloumi fries last about five minutes a little. And they all shrivel up, don't they? <laughs> So they came and I gave a piece to the dog and he took it and he, he went off with it. Five minutes later, he came back, put it back on the floor. <laughs> oh, that speaks volumes, doesn't says, it? No, thank you. Yeah, can no, you can have something else. You can get no, thank you. Yeah. And it was uh, a lot more than £10. Like, yes. Yeah. Well, I ordered this pasta. It's unusual for me to order pasta, but pasta with king prawns and uh, chorizo. Yeah, yeah. Which sounds delicious, yes. I thought. Uh, honestly, the chorizo looked like dog food. Oh, no. It was dreadful. And the, and the prawns, you know, and just think they look, oh, I did. Do I risk the food poisoning that, <laughs> that looks like it's going to give me? Um, so, no, I didn't. In, I didn't in the end. Amazing. Well done. But, Wiltshire, I need to know, Ross, if Wiltshire texts back, I need to know, was it a good burger? No, badminton's a horse show event, isn't it? Badminton? No, it's like, it's like tennis, but... No, but there was an event in badminton, isn't there? Yeah, it's a horse. Yeah, it's a horse show. It's a yes. Ah, there you go. I know because friends of mine went to it as well, so that's how I know. Um, not just the game. You were thinking of the actual yeah, game. Yeah, me too. <laughs> you imagine being sat in badminton, like 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 kind of like Wimbledon, but with your big burger. <laughs> Sorry. Um, okay, should we get into the kit? <laughs> I'll keep you updated. We've massively gone off the beaten track, haven't we? I'll keep you updated on the quantities, um, availability of those uh, of those chains. Uh, Monica, you've done it again. Absolutely beautiful jewellery. And oh, as you said, you. wearable jewellery. Yeah, I think so. Stunning. Is there anything better than a classic pearl necklace? 
I don't think so. I don't think so. And it's, it's so lovely that with jewellery maker prices, we can make everyday wearable jewellery. Exactly. From pearls, you know? Yeah, exactly. Because most, most of us, maybe prior to finding this wonderful, uh, this wonderful channel, certainly my experience is that a pearl necklace would have been probably three figures, if not more. Yeah. Um, even with your freshwater pearls. Absolutely. Well, not today. Like I said, this beautiful piece of jewellery with the guidance, with the tuition of our, um, our lovely Monica, you're going to be able to create it for a fraction of that. So let's show you the components that you're getting within this amazing kit. Um, I'm actually going to start with not one, not two, and let me grab my tweezers, but three, come on, behave, naturally coloured freshwater pink pearls. So you get, this is sterling silver. These are your extender chains by design, but they can yeah. actually be so much more, can't they? But this is how they're designed to be used, the way I've put them in this necklace here. So Monica's... In case, in case somebody hasn't seen it before, but yeah. Wow. But that's how you normally... It gives... Use. You said this earlier on, didn't you? You always incorporate an Absolutely. extended chain. I do. Because you never wear exactly the same neckline. Um, so it gives you that. And I actually find them easier to put on when they've yes. got an extended yes, chain. because you just hold onto the chain and you can hook it yeah. in there anywhere. Yeah, yeah, much, much easier. So you're getting three of those. And it's that finishing touch, isn't it, to your beautiful design, that lovely yep. uh, uh, um, sort of full stop, I suppose, um, to your lovely jewellery. The fact that they are top quality pearls, it, it, you know, again, is another bonus. So you don't just get those. You're also getting an amazing strand um, of rice cultured pearls as well. These are absolutely beautiful, very elegant. And it makes me think about the strands that we've brought you already today, like the, the chrysoprase, like the honey jadeite. Like, for example, um, we haven't brought this yet, but it is coming today. The first time ever that we're bringing you a metre long length of all your birthstones. Mm -hmm. I mean, can you imagine putting all of these together in one beautiful kit? Um, that's coming up, launching today, a little bit later on in the show. So again, top quality, beautiful pearls that you're seeing here. You've got the amazing, bright, crisp lustre um, across the surface. You can see those ring details, but I like that because it actually shows that it's not an imitation pearl, um, that it's not faux. Um, yeah, they, 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 they actually have actually been formed within um, a mollusk itself. Now, the, uh, the actual, what do we call these again? Extended. Extender chains, sorry. Yeah. I went blank for a second then. Um, these extender chains are completely and utterly natural. Yeah, do, do you ever do that? Do you ever just go blank? Do you know, you know... Far more so as I've got older as well. You know, you'll go into you'll go into one room and then just stand in the middle of the room thinking, yeah. what 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 was I doing? What was I doing? My my husband says to me all the times like, that L, you've told me that a million times. I'm like, I know, but I don't actually remember telling him a million times. Um, anyway, so I went blank for a second there. Um, your extender chains. You were about to say. I was going to say, can we just check if it's three of those or four of those? Because I had four of them in my kit, and the picture also shows four. You get four? Oh, yeah. I've only got three. Oh, so you get another. Oh, is there? You get four of them. <laughs> okay, well, no problem. These are natural, natural oh, pink <laughs> pearls. Um, there it is. There's the, there's the, there's the, the rogue extender chain that went walkabouts. Yeah. Um, so all four of these, which can do so much more than extend, you know, we, again, we've spoken about this, haven't we? Um, they're perfect for, if you like, the backbone of creating your bubble styles or your exactly. waterfall earrings. I mean, that's why I've used them in the pendant here, because I just thought those pearls were so pretty. Oh, yes. To hide them at the back. Check this out. Oh, yes, they're in your tassel. They are in my tassel, yes. Oh, Monica, it's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Stunning. So, for your beautiful natural, uh, natural pearls, with your sterling silver extender chains, for the amazing strand of rice pearls as well, which I absolutely love. I like the fact these have got those sort of, uh, sort of ringed characteristics. Um, again, because it showcases that they're not synthetic pearls, they're not faux, they are genuine, genuine cultured pearls. Um, so everything I have draped across the back of my hand. Can you imagine purchasing this beautiful necklace in, in uh, sort of a pearl boutique? 
Um, do you think it's going to be anywhere near the price point that jewellery maker bring it to air? Now, I know you've got to make the jewellery, but remember, um, lots of benefits to making the jewellery. Not only is it fun to do so, um, you are making what it, something that is basically one of a kind. Yeah. Um, you'll be the only person in the world that will actually have said design um, or a version of said design. How many do we have available of these kits? Oh, this quantity, Monica. Oh, nice. And what are you going to do, Ross? He says, I'll tell you what, we've got 120. We're still very much part of the birthday celebrations. Just merely to put a price point on your screen and to start somewhere. Ooh. 30. How much would you expect this necklace to be? Add a zero to that. That's what I think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think if this necklace was £399... Yeah. I would not be surprised. Yeah. That's a good price. It's cultured pearls. Yes. It's precious metal. Absolutely. If it was in a pearl boutique, yeah. yeah. It's not I don't think that's 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 an exaggeration. But just to start somewhere, and because we have got quantity of these, don't often see pearl kits these days, do we? Not like this either. Um, and we've got lots of additional sterling silver components. Remember, we've got in, in 10 minutes time, um, we've got the spinning jadeite pendant coming. Can you imagine that suspended from your cultured pearls? How beautiful that would be. Oh, yeah. um, amazing. Absolutely amazing. The only way to get hold of these natural pink pearl extenders is as part of this kit as well. Um, and to be honest, as we always say, you're usually better off buying within, uh, within your kits because, yes, we will give that saving. I remember once upon a time someone was saying, well, I don't want things that are surplus. Sell them. Sell them if they're not an item that you'll use, you know, or you can spend more buying the, the items sort of on top of one another. It's entirely up to you. But, of course, if you're looking for the best, most savvy saving, then it's within this kit is my point. Um, so even here at £29.99, pence. Would you see that necklace at £299? Possibly, yes. Possibly. 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 In 60 seconds, Ooh, we've taken it even lower. Going down. We are going lower. There's 120 available opportunities. Beautiful cultured pearls. But not just the, I'm not just talking about the pearls that are draped across the back of my hand. I'm talking about the amazing sterling silver extender chains. And I'm just going to grab my star by sheet one second because... If I remember rightly, um, Ross, that's what it says. Mm. What, 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 what? We're going lower, much lower. Ooh. But you said on my star by sheet, it says. It says what's on your screens. That's true. What well, I mean, that's true. When has he ever listened to his own star by sheet? That is very, very, very true. Um, but hey ho, we've got quantity of them. We are going much lower because of, because of that reason. The only way to get hold of those natural purple pearls um, extender chains is within this kit, and you're getting the additional rice pearls too. £19.99 pence only. Again, even if you divided that by two, you're getting your um, your four extender chains for a tenner yeah. and you're getting that strand of pearls for a tenner. How I amazing mean, is that? The colour of the pearls on those extender chains are, are so beautiful. So beautiful. And then, of course, the strand is your classic white pearls. I mean, you can't go wrong with that, can you? So beautiful. They're natural colours. You'd imagine the pink pearls, which is one of the more expensive colours to get, because we talk, start talking about overtones when you've got pinkish colours like this. Yes. Um, but, yeah, I remember having a conversation with Charlie Barron, um, and Charlie Barron was actually saying, yeah, the any pearls with a uh, pink overtone are more expensive, uh, predominantly, um, and certainly the most desirable. Here we are at a tenner, basically, for each of those, well, well, for just dividing the extenders and the, and the strand on their own. Um, £10 each, how amazing is that? 
Yes, yeah. the, the, the white pearls on the, and okay, they're a little bit more plentiful in terms of availability during the culturing process, but 10 pounds for that incredible strand. How amazing is that? Enid, well done. Helen, uh, County Durham, Charmaine, Sarah, Hilda. Um, hello to you, Miss Janet, Kathy, uh, Essex, Meath, well done to you, Pauline. 55 of this kit have already gone. The only way to get hold of the four natural pearl extender chains is part of this kit. Same with the strand. Oh. But Ross has just said we're going lower. Yes. Let's see Can you on. just confirm, Monica? That's definitely what it says. Yep. Yeah. 29.99. It does, yeah. Yeah. Um, hello to you, Elaine. I was going to ask the pearl strand length. Then I saw the price and bought it anyway. Exactly. I can tell you, though. I can tell you. 38 centimetres? Is it? Full, I'm pretty sure it's a full strand. I didn't measure it, but hang on. I'm, I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. So well, 38 because, centimetre strand. Because I made the whole necklace. I, I used uh, other pearls for the clasp, but the rest of the whole necklace is just the strand. And I've spaced it out with some seed beads, but um, a few seed beads in between, and it's plenty long enough for a, a lariat style necklace without even a clasp on the back. There you go, Elaine. And I don't blame you. Buy it anyway. Because the clock's ticking away and we're going even lower than £19.99. Oh Unbelievable. And then don't forget the sterling silver in there as well. Yes. And natural pink pearls. Natural pink pearls. Sorry. <laughs> I did no. I, I was zoning in, not zoned out. I was zoning into that price point because I couldn't believe it was going even lower. Wait, what? What? So I'm fairly sure. I'm fairly sure. For one second, and I don't want you to think I'm disregarding this. For one second, um, but wait, wait. Haven't we done extender chains with 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 four before? At round right about this price tag. I think they were fourteen ninety nine, yeah, weren't they, so. before? So, but okay, and they're natural pink pearls, which is rare. So I would actually expect them to be a bit more expensive. Twenty nine ninety nine was a great price. Plus, you get these beautiful rice pearls as well. It is going to be an on screen sellout auction, of course. Well done, amazing. Why wouldn't you? That's a fantastic deal. And we always say, yeah, look, you can buy the. Usually, sometimes you can buy the components separately. You can't on this occasion. And to be truthful, you wouldn't want to, uh, because you'd be paying more than what's on your screens right now. Yeah. Soraya snapped up three. Well done. A Lincolnshire snapped up two. Carolyn snapped up two. You are not alone, believe me. Pauline in Cornwall's got two. Amazing. Amazing, Carolyn County Down, Andrea David's got two, um, fabulous. Um, Buckinghamshire, Vivian, hello to you, Gillian, Joanne, Shona. Um, again, four full rows of names, amazing. We had 120 of them. If you've got a phone in your hand and you haven't yet uh, been answered, do bear with our call centre. It's Bank Holiday Monday, it's part of the birthday celebrations and we are super duper duper busy, very busy. I mean, this necklace, if you saw it, never mind at a pearl boutique or a jewellery store or anything okay. like that. Let's say at a craft market. Yeah. You saw that necklace for 16 99 you would think it was plastic, wouldn't you? Yeah, you'd be doing a disservice selling yeah. it at that price point. You would never think it was genuine fresh <coughs> pearls. No, the, and, and that, that's the thing. I remember when Gems, um, and I was presenting on our sister channel at the time, I remember when Gems launched uh, Burmese Ruby for the first time. Yeah. And um, it didn't go as well as we expected it to, to be truthful. And... You obviously evaluate, you're like, hey, was it, was it actually the presentation? Maybe, no, don't think so. Um, and in the end, we, what, we, what our, our, our findings were, like, okay, we probably underpriced it, that people yeah. didn't believe that it was, the, it yeah. was that gemstone. Um, so, yeah, I agree with that, Monica. Amazing. Well done, everybody. Um, now, I've got about 20 left of that kit, so I will keep you updated. I do have some additional components um, to bring to you as well, which are brand new. Take a little look at this beautiful brace that Monica's created. I mean, that's absolutely amazing, Monica, and they're sterling silver components. They are, and obviously you could use the pearls from, your, from the kit for that if you, if you wanted to use those pearls. Yeah, it's just rosary oh. linking, and then you just uh, rosary, uh, rosary linked right onto the stars. So are they complete? They're not like they open? Are. 
No, they're closed jump rings. But if you wanted to, you can cut them open if you want them to be open jump rings. I prefer a closed jump as ring. As they are, they're closed jump rings, yeah. I much prefer them because then you're, you know, a threading material, for example, of course, of course. doesn't find its way out. Absolutely. You're absolutely. not just getting that size, though, are you? It's more secure as a, as a closed jump ring. But if you wanted it open, you can always cut it open. If it was open already, you wouldn't be able to turn it into a closed jump no. ring. No. Monica, these earrings are absolutely beautiful. And I mean, how simple are those, to be honest with you? I've just joined them together with some jump rings and that's it. Sterling silver? Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. So you get the two different sizes. In total, you're getting, is it 15 of each? Yeah. Yeah. 15 of your six mil, 15 of your eight mil. Um, everyone loves stars, don't they, in their, um, in their kits. Now, who would like these at, how about pound? Pound, pound per star, pound a star, pound. Is that you, Ross? <laughs> that was very good. Pound. Pound. I, I think I can... I'll start making myself cough if I say that. Pound. Everyone, pound. Pound, pound, stop, pound. <laughs> Feel free to join in. Pound, stop, pound, pound. I'll leave it to you. You did so well. <laughs> but you do, you do sound like one of those vendors at a fish market, you know? I feel like I feel like I could. I could. <laughs> pen star, you pen. Roll up, roll up. Go on, ladies. Roll up. <laughs> How about not a pen star? This has got to have the same ring, though, Ross. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say that. <laughs> six, <laughs> six six pay a star. Six six pay. <laughs> roll up, roll up, roll up. Oh dear. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. No, let's get back to normality. These are precious, beautiful sterling silver components. And here's me being all acting like a Wally. Um, <laughs> yeah, sorry, Monica. Um, look, at, look at how beautiful they are. I'm going to just pop them on the tweezers. And also, I can't say 66p a star fast. I can't do that. It's going to end up badly, isn't it? Um, but yeah, like you said, you could be, so do something ultra, ultra simple, as in just connect them with... More jump rings. Yeah, I mean, on this bracelet, let me just shorten it a bit because I've, I've put it quite long for the for the, for the um, display. But it's I'll be done in about ten minutes. Give me a second. Stars, sec. hearts, <laughs> and moon. Uh, stars, hearts, flowers, and moons. They're the most popular motifs aren't they, in jewellery because they've got meaning behind them. Stars in particular. So if you look at that, I've used it as the end of an extended chain on there. Oh, beautiful. Because I had one left over, so I thought, oh, that's... Oh, beautiful. Yeah. You How could, amazing. You could have it as a signature. If you sell your jewellery, you could have them as a signature on your extended chain. That could be, well. yeah. It could be yeah. your branding. Now, we're at 19.99, which yes. is 66p per star. Yes. Amazing. Should we go again, though? How many have we got? There's 150 available opportunities, but again, two full rows of names already. You get 30 of these. They are closed which I personally find easier to use, personally. Definitely, yeah. Um, if you are tuning in for the carvings, don't worry. They are coming your way, but just to, we're a bit late because we had some technical issues first thing in the show. So if we've got to roll over, we've got to roll over. <laughs> so I'm just visualising us like a dog now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, we'll, yeah, they are coming your way, I promise, but we had a few technical issues at the beginning of the show, so we're just a little bit behind. Do bear with us, bear with us. Um, but right now, for 30 beautiful 925 sterling silver stars um, that you could just lock's head knot onto either side and create Absolutely. a bit of macrame, Absolutely. wish star bracelets. <gasps> yep. Oh, if you bought these just to make wish star yeah. bracelets. Yeah, just put one, of them. you only need one of them. Yeah. Yeah. I might do that. Just make wish star bracelets for yeah. Willow and her friends oh, at the end of term. Yeah. Because they're all a bit nervous about going to a new school. Oh. £14.99 wow. only. So that means, hang on a minute, how much is that per star now? 50p. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> You're going to burst a blood vessel, Ross, if you carry on talking like that. 50p! Say again. <laughs> 50p! I can't say it like Ross does. He's got a deeper voice for it, that's why. But it's very good. Go get your stars here. Get your stars! <laughs> 
five stars. 50 feet. Sorry, I'm not as good as Ross, but I'm trying. I am trying. That's amazing. It is, yeah. If you made them into beautiful, uh, uh, you know, just the, the simplest of wish style bracelets, yeah. and it's cost you, what, 50p? I mean, if you look at this pair of earrings, that's yeah. a pound for that pair of earrings. That's what it's cost you to make, isn't it? Okay, yeah. you've got your shepherd hooks on top of their pennies, aren't they? But um, you wouldn't sell them for anywhere near that price oh, point, no, would no. you? Definitely not. Um, okay, again, three, four rows. I just clicked into the four rows of names. Amazing. We had 150 of them, so I'll keep you updated on the quantity of those. I would absolutely recommend you checking out your basket sooner rather than later. Um, and any questions that you have for lovely Monica, then do feel free to message us. We are live here in the studio. So without further ado, Monica, what are you going to show us? Well, I'm going to show you how I made the um, sort of the clasp at the front of the necklace. Yes, I was curious about that because... I mean, it's really simple. Is it? It is. It doesn't look simple. <laughs> so the okay, only, over to you. So the only thing I've added to the, to the kit is I added a few more pearls to go around the clasp. You could use, obviously, the pearls that come in the kit um, and then space them out a bit more just to get your length. But um, I thought I'd just add a few more pearls to go on the clasp. And I've got a few more from my stash here as well. And then the other thing, obviously, is you need a toggle clasp. So the only thing you want to check is that your toggle clasp is big enough for your extended chains to fit through. You don't need to have all three of them fit through at once because when you're, if I bring the necklace over, you can see. So it's, um, it's like a lariat type clasp. So when you put your clasp through, obviously all three of them might not go through at the same time, but you can pull them through one at a time. So as long as one of your, uh, your extended chain pearls can fit through your clasp, um, then it'll work. And then I didn't put a clasp on the back of the necklace because you just undo it in the front and that's your clasp as well. Okay. And okay. then the other thing I added was some 0.4 millimeter wire. Okay? okay. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna cut a piece of your wire. You don't, you don't need too much, maybe about 40 centimeters of your wire. And then you're gonna take your clasp. Uh, I haven't opened the jump ring on the clasp. But let me just do that quickly. So you're going to need the round section of your clasp first. Okay. So all we're going to do is we're going to wire the pearls onto there. So first you want to anchor your, um, your wire onto the clasp. So you just want to take it around the clasp a few times. Now use the short end here because obviously there's no point in twisting around the long end um, a bunch of times when you can just do the short end here. So just go around a few times. Try not to kink your wire, although this end you're not going to use the rest of this anyway, so this end it doesn't matter, just twist it around your clasp a few times and then scooch it up right up close to the, um, to the loop. You can also go around your loop once if you wanted to uh, anchor it in place there as well, so you can just twist it around the front just like that, and then you can just cut off the excess from the back. I've got my cutters here somewhere. Here we go. So just cut the excess off the back, like so. Okay. So now, and then you can just neaten up a little bit with your your flat nose pliers, just so that you haven't got anything poking out anyway. Right. So you've got your your wire here. Now, I've actually done it backwards because the way you should do it is you should have your wire coming out the front, but it doesn't matter. This way it will work as well. You just flip it over afterwards, so it's fine. Then you're going to pick up a pearl. You're going to thread the pearl into your wire. Okay. Oh, dear. I'm getting caught on my pliers here. Right, so I'm actually going to flip it over. So I've just turned it over that way so that I have my wire coming up from the front there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're going to bring your pearl right down to your clasp. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your wire down the back of your pearl, like that. Okay. And then you're going to bring your wire through your clasp. You can either take it through from the middle like that. You can grab it with your pliers if you can't get it with your fingers. Or you can poke it through using the... Um, the other end, but this way makes it less likely that you're going to um, kink your wire, okay? And then all you're going to do is you're going to wind it around a couple of times. So go through there again, wind it around your clasp a couple of times. Just make sure you do 
um, the same number of reps each after each pull because that will make it look kind of. Uh, I'm making a proper mess of this, aren't I? Because I'm doing it with my left hand, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> you can do it. There we go. Okay. So make sure you've got three reps there because I started with three reps. I've got three reps here as well. Just scoosh them up so they sit nice and tightly, just like that. Okay, then you're going to get your next pearl on there. Let's do that one. That one was a slightly different colour. These are pearls from my stash, so they're not that uniform in colour. Okay, you're going to bring your pearl down again. And again, you're going to bring your wire down the back of your pearl. Okay, and if you want to take your wire through using the loose end, you can do that. Just make sure then that when you get to this end bit, that you don't kink your wire uh, because then it's more likely to break. Okay, so again, you're going to wrap three times around your clasp. And you're just going to carry on like that. So that's two wraps. I'll just do one more pearl so you can see the idea. So just keep wrapping around. See, now I've got a kink in there. So you just want to straighten that out. Otherwise, your wire might break if you kink it too much. Okay, so I've got my three wraps there as well. And then again, you just add your next pearl and you carry on in the same way until you've gone all the way around. Okay, just make sure when you, when you bring your pearls down and then you bring your wire down the back, just make sure you haven't flipped it over because obviously you're going to see the wire on the back of your pearls. Whereas on the front, now you don't see the wire because it comes down the back. And then you do the same, same again. So go through your clasp again with your wire. Try not to kink your wire. And then do that around three times. And then once you've made it to the other end, you're just going to do your three wraps around the other end. Again, make sure you squish them all down nicely so that they're all sort of really nice and close together. Um, and then again, twist it around the end here and you can go around the top of your clasp as well once just to secure it so that it doesn't slip around. Although once you've got all your pearls in place, it, it can't really go anywhere. So even if you don't secure it onto the loop, it doesn't matter, it will still hold. Okay. And then it's really just a case of putting it all together. So now, um, obviously, to attach your, um, your necklace to this end, uh, you're just going to use your beading wire and your crimps and you're going to attach your necklace to that end. You can use a jump ring. I would use a jump ring because um, I don't like to attach a necklace directly onto a clasp because um, if something goes wrong, if you want to change the clasp or if you want to change the necklace or if you need to make the necklace longer, something like that, you don't want to have to cut your clasp open to be able to uh, get your necklace off or anything like that. So if you have a jump ring there, that's always easier. Okay. Now, the other end, this is where you have to watch a little bit what you do because um, if you imagine, uh, I'll bring the necklace over in a minute to show you. So this bit of the clasp is going to sit in the front of your toggle like that. Mm -hmm. okay? And you want to attach your, your um, extended chains to it and you want to attach your necklace. So I tried two different ways this way and I tried it this way as well. Okay, so I attached my dangles to this end and then I tried to attach the other end to the necklace, but that kind of went all wonky, so that doesn't work like that. So you want to make up your necklace. I just used my beading wire, threaded on the pearls, spaced it out with some seed beads uh, and then crimped the ends. So just a very simple bead threading. Okay, so let's say I've got my necklace attached to that end there. Okay, now what you also want to do is you want to attach um, your dangles to this end. Now, you haven't got enough space in the, in the loop there to attach two jump rings, okay? So on this side, what I did was I actually did attach the necklace directly onto the loop there. I'll bring the necklace over in a second to show you. I just want to explain it first. Because if you need to change anything on the necklace, you can always change it on the other end because you've got a jump ring on that end. Okay, so in this end, I did attach it directly onto that little loop, which leaves quite a nice big space there. So if I show you with one of the earrings, let's take uh, this one. Those ones? Okay, so... Because I haven't got any more of my... Do we still have the dangles here? No. The, uh, the, what, extended, the, the, the extended, extended chains. chains. No, yeah. but we can get them back. 
because I've used up all my extended chains. Dan, so. have you got the extender chains there? I can. That's all right. I can use this one. I can just. Been passed in. Are they? All right. Let me wait for those then. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, give it, I'll give them back afterwards. We'll just start passing in as we speak. There you go. Just give me a couple of them and then I'll give them back after. Right. So you've attached your necklace to that end. What you want to do to attach your tassel bits is put them on your jump ring. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've just got two here, but I've added three because it looks better if you have three. And then what you want to do is you want to take your jump ring through the loop, but not this way, not the way you would attach your necklace. What you want to do is you want to turn over your toggle clasp and go around the bar and through the okay. loop. Okay. So this is the bit that I had to work out. So I wanted to show you. Of course, you need to open your jump ring quite wide and just hold on to the end of it so that you can get your clasp in there that way. Can you see? So the, the bar goes through the middle of my jump it's not, ring. It's not hanging down. It's not hanging down, and I'll show you why. So now we're going to close this jump ring here. Okay. Yeah. So now you've got your, your, your um, extender chain hanging this way off. Yeah of your toggle, mm -hmm. which means when you attach your necklace to the top, actually you might be able to get another jump ring in there. Let's give it a try. I didn't actually try. I just assumed I couldn't get two jump rings through there. You may be able to get another one because it's, well, it depends on your clasp, obviously. No, it won't go through. But you I, assumed right. I did assume right. But let's say you've got your, your beading wire because you're in any normal wire. So if you wanted to raise a link on there, that would work too. But if you were using your beading thread, this one here that comes in your in your thread pack and your crimps, mm. then you attach those to the top ring and yeah. then you've got your jump ring going over the whole bar to attach your tassel at the bottom and that will make it hang nicely. Um, whereas, I mean, if you attached everything to that little loop, then it would be very wonky because then it wouldn't know whether to sit this way or that way when you put it on the clasp. Yeah. So if I bring the necklace over, you can see. So can you see I've got my jump ring over the whole bar Mm -hmm. And then I've got my tassels attached that way. And then I've got my, uh, and then it goes through um, your loop like so. And it all sits nicely like that. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Monica is absolutely beautiful. Plus, of course, you get to wear this at the front. Of course, so yeah. it's probably much easier to put on Absolutely. because you can wrap it round you like, a, yeah. uh, like a scarf. Yeah. Um, now, if you do need a threading pack, this is one of our essentials threading packs. Um, then here we go. Just put it on your screens because uh, we're always looking for threading pack. Oh, wow. Yeah, <laughs> amazing. So um, that includes, by the way, your beading thread that Monica yep. was just using um, and your elastic. So if you can do things like your stretchy bracelet yes. um, and monofilament. Yeah, so you can do floating necklaces, invisible, sort of invisible threading, that sort yeah. of thing. Yeah, Monofil Yeah, it quite literally disappears. Um, all comes in a little chiffon bag. So I don't physically have it here in the studio, but it looks like this. Um, <clears throat> so you get a little bag, £1.99 to get hold, hold of all of those. They are our essentials, aren't they? We need, we, we always need beading thread, we need Absolutely. elastic and we always need monofilament Absolutely. as well. So it's always worthwhile stocking up, especially. We don't bring them, we don't include them in every single show. So... And I mean, um, and I mean for 199, 10 metres of just the beading thread, 10 metres is going to last you a long way. If you think about it, for this necklace, I used about half a metre. Yeah. So you'll get quite a lot of jewellery. And there's out just of that the thing. one spool in there. Yeah, amazing. Um, Monica, as always, absolutely beautiful jewellery. Oh, Love every you. single one of these. Again, uh, um, thank you so much for the demonstration. And there's still more demonstrations and inspiration from Monica. Uh, coming up in the masterclass. I don't know if we can push that ring forward because it's hiding. It's just hiding. Can we show everybody yeah, this? Because that blew my mind, Monica. It absolutely blew my mind. I cheated with that a little bit because the cabochon that's in there is not meant to be oh, in there. <laughs> well, you know, we'll let you off. We'll explain look at, later. What look at how for. amazing that is. Um, yes, yeah, so you've got some brand new components coming up in your masterclass today as yes. well. Um, again, beautiful, uh, beautiful jewellery, lovely necklaces. Monica will always incorporate a bit of seed beading if she gets the opportunity. Oh. I stole one of the cabochons from one of the pendants in there. Don't the blame you. Coming up. Don't blame you. They're coming up at 12 o'clock. But it is time. I know a little bit later than originally scheduled for the launch of your brand new Type A Master Carvings of Jadeite. But... 
first time ever that we're bringing wow. it to you with the opportunity to wear to, to put it in a, a sort of pendant veil now there's a hundred of these so you need to get them ahead so get these and then we'll bring you the master carving uh, yeah i just set this it kind of works like a brooch and i will show it during uh during the opportunity but just give you a heads up wow. look at this look at how beautiful that is oh my goodness seriously and they pivot so if i can just i'll take it off the tweezers for a second but look they pivot and rotate wow these are brand new type a jadeite carvings and it opens and closes if i just turn it like a brooch can you see um yeah this is coming up and it is encrusted with beautiful sterling uh beautiful gemstones obviously a huge amount of sterling silver and it spins wow double-sided jadeite you've got different pictures different carvings and you've got some of your multicolored jadeites and also your black jadeites all of which will fit into this beautiful mount there's a hundred of the mount i know they will sell out i know they wow. will um so it's coming up in a few moments time sadly dave can't be with us because he's a little he's unwell um but yeah we i promise you'll get the most unbelievable deals it's bank holiday there's nobody in the building um and it's also your birthday so well done jewelry makers don't go anywhere launching after the break spinning jadeite pendants happy 13th birthday jewelry maker you are officially a teenager over the last 13 years you have brought us the most amazing products and fantastic inspiration so thank you so much and have a wonderful birthday i'm very excited to come and celebrate with you Hi, Charlie here, Sermon Street Director. Just wanted to wish Jewelry Maker a happy 13th birthday. Hi, you lovely people. Happy 13th birthday. Love seeing you when we take over from me at one o'clock each day. Have a great time. Keep on making. After my visit to Hong Kong, um, I got to visit the studio of a master carver uh, working with some of the finest jadeite in the world. And we decided that we wanted to bring that uh, to the collectors here in the Western world. We've worked on a series of impressive hand-carved uh, kind of medallions that are double-sided carved uh, for the collectors at home with auspicious meaning and symbolism. The, the key here is the jadeite is all type A. It's 100% natural and we have some of the most prized and coveted colors for our collectors, but it is extremely limited. Jewelry makers, this coming bank holiday Monday, we have another fantastic jewelry maker birthday show. I'm going to be joined by the uber talented Monica, who has got some absolutely astonishing kits. Your deal of the day is spinning jadeite and of course the wonderful Dave is going to be stepping onto our studio floors to launch them to you all. We also have one meter lengths of your birthstones in a strand and the most amazing base metal chain bundles. It's going to be a fantastic bank holiday Monday. More birthday deals. Make sure you're there. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, jewellery maker. It's Yvonne here. Just wanted to pop in and send huge congratulations for 13 fabulous years of jewellery maker. I couldn't be more delighted to be joining the jewellery maker team. I look forward to joining in with the frivolities during birthday week. And there's only one thing to say. Cheers. Oh, happy birthday, jewellery maker. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Mark here. What an incredible start to our 13th birthday celebrations and we've still got so many surprises coming up. I'm here to tell you about my next show, which is Tuesday the 9th of May and I'm going to be joining the wonderful presenter Elle and the team. And I'm here specifically to tell you about three items going to be featuring. Firstly, in the nine o'clock hour, I've got the most incredible sterling silver spacer bead bundles to show you. In the 12 o'clock hour, if you like glass bicones, if you like chakra colours, if you like the rainbow colours, you will not want to miss the masterclass at 12 o'clock. And then the other item I want to tell you about is if you are an avid seed beader, you have a massive stash 
and nothing to store them in, we have got for you the most incredible seed bead storage solution. And we're going to be keeping with the rainbow theme. And also remember, we've got our advent calendar make along feature as well. So I cannot wait for you to join us. Have a lovely weekend and I will see you bright and early on Tuesday the 9th. Happy 13th birthday, Jory Maker. Let the party begin. 13 days of banging deals coming your way. Shitting. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Jewelry Maker. We hope you love all of the products that we've been developing for you over the last year. Happy 13th birthday, Jewelry Maker. Join us this coming Wednesday, we've got Claire McDonald with us. It's going to be a spectacular show. We've got tool rolls, we've got gorgeous Labradorite cabochons, we've got an amazing 30-inch chain, and also the most incredible Olmec Jade bangle. Join us on Wednesday. Hello Jewelry Maker, John Scott here. Just wanted to wish you a very, very happy birthday. 13 years, my word. 13 years, you've not had me on enough, have you? I'll see you very soon. Have a fantastic 13 days. Happy birthday, Jewelry Maker. From the Hobby Maker team. Happy birthday, Jewelry Maker. 13 years of crafting your own gemstone jewelry. And I know this birthday celebration is even more exciting gemstones to come. Happy birthday. Welcome back, lovely jewellery makers. What an amazing opportunity we have. Um, and let me just explain. I know some of you will be, would have been expecting Dave to be with me. Um, sadly, he can't be with us this morning. He's feeling a bit unwell. But, so I will do my absolute best to bring these to you in the true professionalism that uh, I know Dave would. Now, um, also in conversations, let me just say, obviously, items like this, firstly, we've been very... Uh, We've opened and said that your birthday pieces, particularly the deal of the days, this is the biggest calendar of event in the jewelry maker diary, quite frankly. So, um, to get the position of a, a, a deal of the day item, um, know that straight away it's considered very, very special. Um, and a concept, it was a concept that was thought up by our amazing team behind the scenes that, look, we know that you can create some beautiful sterling silver, silver sort of bezels yourselves. We know that you can macrame. We know you can knot with these. Um, but it's something, what we're about to bring you an opportunity of is something very different to that. It, what if you don't do any of those jewelry making uh, um, techniques? Well, you are going to be able to we'll put it, we'll bring it to auction at the end um, of your carvings. There are only a hundred, so uh, um, yeah, they're, they're, they're actually more limited than we'd actually hope them to be. But um, the actual spinning pendant is going to be launching in a few moments' time. Um, but yeah, the concept was, okay, we've seen the likes of Sotheby's, Christie's, we've seen them where they've been set. We've also seen it in the conch, haven't we, where um, they have this beautiful framework of precious metal that you suspend either on a chain or maybe one of your beautiful knotted pieces of jewellery, um, <clears throat> and you wear it like so, and we've seen them at fortunes on those uh, on said places. But um, we wanted to bring you something here for the very first time, um, something quite unlike anything else. Um, and for that launch, we wanted to bring you brand new master carvings. Now, those of you that know Jewelry Maker and ultimately Gemporia know that we work directly with some of the most incredible master carvers of jadeite. Firstly, can I highlight the fact that, and it's really been sort of brought home to me recently, I have, um, and I think I've told you before, I have a jadeite carving that my mum bought Pro and she didn't have it. Uh, she she probably didn't really have a huge amount of knowledge about what she was purchasing. She knew it was jade, obviously. Um, when she went on her travels to uh, to China, my mum used to go on these adventures on her own because my dad didn't like long haul flights. So, um, <clears throat> and she came back with this 
carving, which has been within our family ever since. Um, but really what kind of hit home to me over the past uh, uh, couple of years here at Jewelry Maker is the big difference between a carving and a master carving. Um, because as with all professionals, uh, all professions, I guess, um, you have experience, I guess, experience and your skills um, become perfected. A master carver, firstly, out of the, there are probably thousands of master carvers in China. And really, China is, is the place for jade carving. Um, we don't do our master carvings. We've got a cutting house in Jaipur, which is, the cut, which is kind of like a hub, if you like, for cutting gemstones. Um, but carving of your gemstones is actually done in China and China only. Um, <clears throat> but there's thousands of different jadeite carvers but only a handful of master carvers. And that's what you're about to experience today. A master carver has, has been training, perfecting their art for decades, quite literally decades. So during their, if you like, apprenticeship, they will maybe work alongside a master carver, maybe get the opportunity to carve the wood plinths that you see some of the uh, sculptures actually displayed on. Um, but it isn't until they're probably 10, 20 years into their carving uh, journey that they, uh, they, they maybe achieve the master status. We have some fantastic relationships with those uh, with, a, with a few of the master carvers over um, in China, and that and we're very fortunate to be able to bring you um, the levels of craftsmanship and artistry that these are. They are done firstly by hand. You know, we have seen laser carved pieces sell at auction houses for thousands of pounds. Um, hand carved pieces are significantly more. And when we consider that this is firstly the most expensive canvas that any of us could ever work with, uh, jadeite, far more than paper, obviously, jadeite is, as a gemstone, even in its rough form, incredibly rare and incredibly expensive. Um, its whole gemological formation is a huge anomaly of nature, and I won't get too much into it, but it, 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 in, in, it's basically where the ocean's crust um, through the movements of tectonic plates has pivoted beneath the ocean crust, and that's how this gemstone forms. That only ever happens on a few very rare occasions, only in a few locations around the world as well. So to place this raw material, if you like, into the hands of what, uh, what can only be described as an amazing artist, um, there is an element of trust there. But then let's talk about the fact that this gemstone has an incredible hardness. Um, it is physically harder than steel physically harder than steel and in the same traditional ways that happened thousands of uh, thousands of years ago this gemstone is carved in an abrasive manner so what i mean by that is they uh, literally sort of almost rub it uh, to actually create the detail the forms the the visual piece of art rather than laser cutting as i said earlier on it is polished in the same way that was done uh, uh, thousands of years ago so using a technique of wet bamboo so that's how they get that beautiful finish. So I, I guess it's, I'm saying these things and I know you already know them, our regular viewers do anyway, but it's so important that we never lose sight of how incredibly difficult it is to actually achieve something that is so intrinsically detailed in a gemstone that is as rare and as, as hard as jadeite is. So then we all of a sudden go, okay, well, I, I get why they, 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 they sell for thousands of pounds in most of these auction houses. Now, for those people, and I was asked this question yesterday, like I said, I, I saw some of my family, extended family that I don't see um, as often as I would like. Um, and we were kind of talking about the fact that how did jewellery maker bring them to air at such an affordable price tag? And it's something I get approached about regularly, and I, I totally get the question. So, okay, well, what... If, you could, if these could sell at Sotheby's for so many thousands, how are jewellery maker and ultimately Gemporia bringing them to wear at a more achievable price point? At the turn of at the pandemic, which of course was globally um, a, a terrible time, you know, um, there was an opportunity. There was an opportunity that we made the most of. All the gem fairs in the world, Hong Kong being the biggest, especially in this gemstone, shut. 
So that meant, and, and any jadeite uh, trader will sell nine, make 95% of their business, business at the Hong Kong Fair. Now, as soon as that event was announced that it was no longer running, all of a sudden you have all of these jadeite uh, uh, um, traders rather that had a huge amount of their livelihood literally sat on the Hong Kong dock. Now, it's very expensive to dock at Hong Kong, or so I understand, and they didn't cancel it. It wasn't just announced. They said, right, it's cancelled. They delayed it. So they said, we'll delay it and, to, and we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. We didn't know what was going to happen the next day from one week to the next, next day to the next. So basically they said, okay, um, <clears throat> we're just going to postpone it. So for a period of time, we had these jadeite um, uh, traders sat with their shipments of jade on the water. Now, we know a lot of these jade traders. Uh, um, Dave, in particular, of course, has got fantastic relationships. And after a period of time, these jade traders said, we can't sit here anymore. It's costing too much money. We're going to have to literally sell it elsewhere. The first place that a couple of, our, uh, of those suppliers approached was ultimately Gemporia because they knew Gemporia, I'll say it as it is, they've got a big budget. They can afford to, 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 to put a huge order in, to bulk buy effectively um, one of the rarest gemstones. And that's precisely what we did. So we basically bought a big quantity. And ultimately that, I'm not saying these are from that purchase, by the way, but that initial purchase developed a relationship. And that relationship has uh, continued over the past few years. Now, however, those uh, uh, jadeite suppliers have also consequently said that this can't continue because the Burmese mine is now closed. So there's nothing coming into the trade. We can no longer really afford to give it to you at such an affordable price tag anymore. Um, it is being sold direct back into um, the Eastern market. And we totally get that. But... Just wanted to explain how this has come about. And we don't work off 400% margin, 500% margin, even beyond that. We work off minuscule margins. So I just wanted to explain how we make such opportunities available to, to us all. So they are within a budget of myself and maybe you guys at home. Now, again, so we know, we know the rarity. We know that what Jewelry Maker and Gemporia bring it to air for is no way near the true valuation of each said item. These are works of art, they're not laser carved, they are hand carved. And we have them in some of the most amazing, auspicious designs. We have a swan, we have the Buddha, we have the lotus flower and the a butterfly, we have the, the double fish, all the meanings behind, which I'll try my best to explain. We have Guan Ying, we have the rabbit, we have the phoenix, we have green jade, we have black jade, and we have lavender, floating flower jade. So we are talking about the rarest colours of jadeite, as I said at the beginning, at the opening of this deal of the day. To be part of the birthday celebrations is one thing, but to be the deal of the day for one of those birthdays is another. They, uh, we've, we've all said it, these are the best carvings we've seen. And I love the idea, the fact that they can be just literally added to that spinning pendant. Now, as I said, Dave wanted to be here. Sadly, he's not very well, so, um, so he's at home. Um, so we will do our best to bring it to you, uh, bring it to you in the, in, in, in the manner that he would. But in his absence, we've maybe mixed it up a little bit. We have 11 different carvings for you today and they're all on pre-order right now. In fact, everything's on pre-order, yeah? The pendant, is, the pendant is coming up. You can choose between your carvings, but I need to point out that each carving firstly fits in the pendant, but each carving is double-sided. So it's not like, you know, for example, we've done the landscape and then you turn it round and you've got a continuation of the landscape on the reverse. These have got, some of them, completely different carvings. It's almost like two different pennants in one. They are all type A grade, all totally and utterly natural. And again, because this is a little bit impromptu, 
Um, um, and it's all on, on pre-order. We're kind of going to let you dictate the order of this deal of the day, if that makes sense. Um, you can message in. It might also go by how fast certain items are actually selling on pre-order. And on our website, as we speak, you can see prices like £4,998. Look, it's a considered amount of money. I'm not saying otherwise. Of course it is. But not comparatively. You know, I could, I could give you the presentation. I could show you places like Christie's, Sotheby's, Bonhams that have sold pendants of similarity, which have been master carved um, and sold them for the thousands of pounds. Um, but I'm not going to necessarily do that. If there's any one that you in particular want me to bring to air, like I said, we're going to be a little bit uh, uh, unconventional about this deal of the day, then you can drop, us a, drop me a message and, and I'll, I'll bring it to air. Um, but all I'm going to say is that these are, of course, as you would expect, incredibly limited edition. We are talking about artistry in one of the world's rarest and most precious components. And never more so than, than, than right now. I was talking to my husband, who has absolutely no interest in gemstones whatsoever. You know, uh, look, he hasn't. Um, but I actually said to him, and he he's obviously tuned in a few times, and we've been talking about our master carvings. And it was the first time the other day that he actually approached me and said, L, have you been buying the, you know, and I, he knows I buy components. He was going, how much of the jade have you actually been buying? I was like, oh, a fair amount, as much as I can afford. He was like, I think... So should we be buying more? And I was like, yes, I def definitely believe so. It's not coming from the ground anymore. And this is thousands of years of history from the Burmese mine. Yes. Yes. Sorry. Ross has just said, do you want me to say that out loud? Yeah. Can you do this on air? All day long. Yeah. I, I, I did it earlier on. So... I put that pendant on there while Monica was demonstrating. Do you want me to show you how easy it is to interchange these? So here we go. If I turn it around, I'll show you. It's like a brooch almost. Can you see at the back there you've got the figure of eight clasp? Look, and they spin. Oops, sorry. They spin around. Beautiful. So cool. Let me open this up. One second. You flick it over just like that. You tilt it forward just like that. And then, hang on, I might need to bring it up to air. You take it off, just like that. And you obviously want it to be quite a snug fit. So let's, let's reach for... Oh, my goodness me. <gasps> the swan. Slots on like this. Okay. Drops down. You can see there's a stopper there almost. You put it into the pendant bale, pinch it down. And by the way, can I point out the clasp is also interchangeable. So can you see that? You can clip it onto your pre-existing necklaces if you wanted to, because that opens and closes as well. Here is the swan. Look at the quality of that black jadeite. It, it should always look physically wet, remember? like a melting ice cube. It should have the deepest, darkest of colours. And again, know that this is all hand carved. How amazing are these? How amazing. You have the symbolism of the swan. You have the meaning behind your Buddha, Guan Ying. You've got the lotus flower. You've got the double fish. Um, but again, look, they oscillate beautifully. This one, so swan and the black jade. So let's have, are we starting with this? Yeah. Let's talk about the swan and maybe even the black swan, which, uh, what does the black swan actually symbolize? While the black swans are more rare than white swans, black swans also represent the opposite of what the swipe. Uh, white swan uh, represents. Black swans represent rarity and surprise. This colour swan symbolises rare events that take place in our lives and pop up unexpectedly. The element of surprise is a trait associated with black swans. Since black swans are more rare than white swans, it, uh, it's also a surprise when you see one. Black swans represent individuality, whereas white swans are considered to symbolise love. 
These swans are thought to be more courageous and persistent and not afraid to do something that is against society's rules and traditions. I love that. Black swans represent metamorphosis. Uh, these swans are sometimes viewed as a representation of mystery and ill intentions. Black swans are also thought to be connected to big change and transformation and being able to let go of the past and do something new. How amazing. Metamorphosis. Uh, it literally changed. It's all about change. And it makes me think, have I ever seen a black swan? I know there was a film recently, wasn't there? Have I ever seen a black swan? The rarity, well, it wasn't recent, yeah. Um, the rarity, how exquisite. You have the black swan in a natural type A black Burmese jadeite. Now, and I, I have to, I, it's my responsibility to say this. When you place some material that is as rare and beautiful as type A jadeite, particularly in the color black, which is forms in much, much smaller sizes than your other colors. Um, you're only going to place it into the most skillful artists, aren't you, Hans? And it makes me then think about what, one, how you spoke about at Sotheby's. In particular, he was talking about when, uh, uh, black jadeite. But he said, for hundreds of years, uh, jadeite has been a symbol of supreme status and extreme wealth. Yet within this world of jewels and superlatives, jadeite uh, has a certain understated charisma. When light passes through the stone, the effect is muted, enigmatic glow that is both indescribable and can fill volumes. This allure has inspired mythologies and cultural reverence, particularly in China, that stretches back centuries. By virtue of its unique feature, jadeite has played a consequential role in history, from serving as a mysterious object of ritual to adorning the leaders of powerful empires. While the term jade is frequently used interchangeably to describe both nephrite and jadeite, both are highly prized for different traditions, a gemstone of unsurpassed beauty that at its finest may possess an inimitable green colour. Jade, uh, jadeite is by far the rarer of the two and the focus of this guide on jewellery. When we asked Wen Hao Yu, Sotheby's Hong Kong Deputy Chairman of Jewellery Asia, to share his expertise on understanding and collecting jadeite, he said, approach jadeite jewellery not as a commodity, but rather as a work of art created by nature and shaped by human hands. Remember, you are looking for that wow factor that he spoke about. Now, we are going to start with the black swan. Metamorphosis, um, change, being prepared, those unexpected moments in our lives when situations arrive and being able to deal with them. This is the one that we are going to start with. Remember, every single one of these brand new pendants fit within the pendant. This is one of three black type a jadeite pendants that we have for you oops hang on a minute let me just close this properly um absolutely beautiful piece of jewelry don't you think that you could wear on a chain you could wear on one of your knotted pearl necklaces or normal jadeite necklaces whichever you wish and it oscillates i'm trying my hardest to actually show you the pendant facing forward but also the front and also the reverse of each of these pieces. They are absolutely astonishingly beautiful. There is that. There's that beautiful black swan that you can see sat within the reeds and the flowers. You can see the bird in the sky as well. And if I turn it round once again, I haven't got to completely turn the pendant, um, just turn the carving. You can see a different version of the swan on this side. How many do we have of this carving? It's launching in three seconds time. Um, there's less than 50 available opportunities. Look at that beautiful, pure, pure wet luster that comes from premium quality jadeite 150 carats oh there's two swans on that side can you see one at the top and one at the bottom 
the meanings behind it and I'm learning with you as well like I said we get, I was expecting Dave to be here this morning sadly he can't so we will do our best together the first time we have ever brought you the black swan this is the first and we've had this wonderful um, event really over the past couple of years of being able to enjoy some of the finest quality master carved jadeite pieces in the world which is type a grade first time that we're actually bringing you the black swan amazing the pendant is coming up not yet we can't get it just yet but each of these carvings will um will absolutely fit within super simple interchangeable so i reckon there's going to be people who get maybe multiple carvings and interchange them in amongst their pendant yeah. because that, that's the whole idea that's the whole concept yes and, and it's really easy to switch out as well so yeah 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 just like almost like a brooch so can we read it once again about the black swan um, because it's so interesting, isn't it? Represents rarity and surprise. This coloured swan symbolises rare events that take place in our lives and pop up unexpectedly. The element of surprise is a trait associated with the black swan. Uh, since black swans are more rare than white, it all, uh, it, it's also a surprise when you see one. Uh, they represent individuality, whereas the white swan is, swan is considered to symbolise love. These swans are thought to be courageous and persistent and not afraid to do something that is against society's rules and traditions. I love it. Um, they represent metamorphosis, um, sometimes viewed to represent uh, mystery or ill intentions. Black swans are also thought to be connected to big change and transformation and being able to let go of the past and do something new. Fabulous. Absolutely fantastic. Look at that quality. Look at that beautiful wet luster. Remember how black jadeite actually forms. It's quite different to any other color um, of jadeite in the world. It takes three times as long, that's millions of years, by the way, in terms of its length of formation than any other color. So a black jadeite will have actually trans uh, uh, metamorphosized, actually, so perfect again, um, through all the colors of your, your jadeite, so your green greens, your white, um, to this beautiful, what is actually a very inky green colour. We're going to open this auction opportunity at, yeah, unbelievable. Remember, do you remember some time ago I showed you black jadeite carvings that were available, I think on first dibs, I think it was, <coughs> excuse me, and some of them I was like, I can't quite make out what that is. They were questionable carvings, weren't they? Um, they were still, I don't know, four figures. They were, you know, considered amounts of money. Um, but they were questionable. I couldn't quite decipher exactly what the carving was. So I would say they're a carving. They're not a master carving. Whereas what I hold here, what I actually hold here, and I'm going to use that little... Can I use borrow one of these plinths for a second um, to actually show you... Um, yeah, I, I, I do agree with you, Ross. I don't think what we're what you're about to see is still eight hundred and thirty dollars in sale. I don't see a dragon. Does anyone see a dragon? I can't work it out. Also, that's that's chicken skin, isn't it? Now, if you're thinking, what are you talking about, chicken skin? Okay, there is a big difference in terms of colours of black. The more deep we often, uh, um, here in the West, we kind of romanticize it with the terminology um, piano black. In the East, they refer to it as imperial black. You can get black jadeite, which actually has um, this kind of mottling inside. That's what we would describe as chicken skin. It's, it's still rare, it's still very valuable, but nowhere near as valuable as, say, this pendant here. Again, beautiful, um, beautiful. You've got, you, could, you can see the skill in the artistry. It's a little bit matte for my liking, but again, still very nice. £1,552 for that pendant. It doesn't tell you how big it is, though, does it? Now... Do you think £2,999 are anywhere near our closing price today? I don't think so, because it's our birthday event. So already, squeezing it into a triple figure price point. Look at how beautiful that, look at the luster across the surface. You've got the swan at the bottom and at the top, the reeds in between. Can you see this one here? She's resting her head resting your head as swans do. And then I'm gonna turn it round and show you the carving on the reverse. Absolutely beautiful. The pendant is coming up at some point within your deal of the day. Do you know, we're so fortunate. 
to be able to just be in the presence and experience master carvings just like this. Because ordinarily, we would probably have to approach the likes of Sotheby's, Christie's, Bonham's, where you have to book your place to attend such events, or you might be online, so you're not actually in the presence of it. And it's, it's an ascending auction, isn't it? It's not descending. They don't go down and think, how low can we take this price tag? They do the opposite. Um, and there'll be one. There'll be one piece. There'll be one successful bidder that secures that amazing work of art. You, essentially, right now, this is £500 per master carving because you get two. How amazing is that? I don't know of a single other auction house that actually offers you master carved type A jadeite at £500. That's the reality. You see the quality of our jadeite. You know, I don't hesitate showing you Cartier. Cartier, who uh, have commissioned a, a, a ring, I've shown it to you before, I'll show it to you again, one single cabochon, which has got half of it sort of uh, parve set with diamonds, um, at the top, parve set with diamonds, wrapped in some beautiful gold, 35,000 pounds. There's no, I don't know, of course there is a level of skill, but which do you think is more skillful, the cabochon or the master carving? You're paying for the brand. Obviously, the rarity of the black jadeite too, but Cartier more so. Under £500 for your double-sided type A black jadeite black swan. That's £124.75 on your split payment. Already we have got collectors and connoisseurs. And by the way, I'm very aware, and I'm sorry to those of you that have tuned in, expecting to see Dave here in the studio. I have 18 available opportunities, but we've got to remember that... Oh, sorry, left, left. This has been really, really popular. We have customers who have migrated across from our sister channel who follow Dave in opportunities like this, know that they, he would have absolutely brought the most incredible deal incredible opportunity and believe me we will deliver on that too absolutely beautiful you know what even if you're not a jewelry maker this deal of the day couldn't be even more perfect could it because if you're not a deal of the day that's fine you get the pendant you pop it in just like a brooch and you oh, hey presto away away you go our sister channel has never done anything like this before Never, never brought a design like this where you can interchange your own master carvings in 30 seconds we are going to take that final 14 opportunity to your deal of the day, 13th birthday celebration price tag. How amazing. Devon, you've done it. Anne, you've done it. Sue, you've done it. Cheryl, you've done it. London, you've done it. Well done to UK, uh, USA as well. I can see you there. Congratulations. I've got Surrey. I've got Essex. I've got another London, West Midlands. New customers getting involved. Not one of you is going to be paying £499 today, which is already an amazing deal. There are 12 left within the vault. There's only... This is one of three black jadeite carvings and we are at 299 look at that split payment absolutely amazing each of these master carvings as i said already does actually fit within this beautiful pendant each of these carvings don't have like a continuation of the same design it's a completely different design. You've got the pearls just here. Again, the meaning behind the pearl in, in China. Again, again, it's all about uh, fortune, very auspicious. Look at that beautiful surface luster. That's why I keep sort of rocking it back and forth with, within my hands um, to show you that complete design. I love the fact that you can just be wearing this and enjoying the work of art, rotating it, if you like, um, around the neckline to showcase this incredible piece. Plus, it's perfectly protected as well with the sterling silver. At £299, you have that beautiful wet luster. I'm going to leave those final four with you. As I can see, we're massively over-allocated, so good luck. Because we've got a few to bring you, um, a few to bring you. Now, the next I'm going to bring you, and I will change it. Okay, this one's going on pre-order, I'm not surprised. Um, is what, sorry? The black horse. Oh, my goodness, he's beautiful. On pre-order, yeah. I can see why. I can see why. <gasps> Have you seen? What, what which is that? Oh, my goodness. I'm not surprised this one's flying on pre-order. Because you know what? There is, there's going to be people that apps uh, will purchase this 
because it's a horse as well. Um, oh my goodness. So can't wait to show you this. Look at the front. Got your prancing horse. Can you see the money coin as well? And then on this side. Oh. Look at him. Wow. You can see, can't you, the power. I can't draw a horse, <laughs> no. let alone. And yeah, this is the black stallion, isn't it? So again, you've got meanings behind the black stallion. How beautiful is he? Straight away, multi buyers getting involved. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. From different angles. The horse itself, again, I know is, 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 is auspicious. I am no expert, by the way, um, on, uh, on, you know, on the meanings, obviously, the history. I know that if Susie were here, she'd be able to, um, to inform us. I know that if Dave were here, he'd be able to inform us as well. But um, do you know what? It won't take us long to actually find out uh, the meanings behind it. What I am noticing as well, the muscle definition, just the angles, if you like, uh, uh, sort of, uh, of, of, of his hooves. Can you see that? The money coins that are within this so I can imagine it's all about prosperity I should imagine wealth now this is a huge carrot weight as you can see 250 carats of your double-sided black horse stallion if you like do you, know that, do you know what that reminds me of did you see in the coronation all the black horses yes. in the parade I think this one is a, is a really good representation almost of the coronation so That's if you nice were to idea. get it this weekend yeah, I, I think it would be almost like a really nice uh, memory of it. Yeah, it's totally. All the black horses, and then you've got the money coin on there, and, and the and the wealth, and all of that representation. I think this one is perfect to represent the. That's a lovely idea. The coronation. So on the coronation, we just can't remind. And you'll always know, remember, won't you, when yeah. you got it? Um, even here, Monica, at four hundred and ninety-nine pounds again, you've got that amazing. I mean, look at him. He's he's handsome, isn't he? It's the jaw for me. It's that. It's that beautiful jaw definition. That you see yeah. that you're seeing within this beautiful horse um, again auspicious um, horses in ancient China are amongst the most important animals you have a year of the horse don't you um, in ancient China Chinese culture and mythology horses have been present uh, from the very beginning of Chinese culture uh, both on a mythical and symbolic level they represent speed perseverance imagination and symbolize pure male strength Fabulous. Can you imagine giving this to the, to the men in your lives? Um, apparently, the, a few of these need to go to the, uh, the gents in the gallery, apparently, <laughs> so they're saying, because you've got, got pure male strength. Is that it, guys? Yeah, I see that. Um, but again, what a lovely gift it would be maybe for, uh, for, 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 for your partner, maybe for Father's Day, something like that. Um, great meaning behind. Again, uh, not just in terms of its mythology, this is representative um, from a mythical, uh, but from a symbolic level as well. Speed, perseverance, imagination, um, and strength. Love that. £299. We had 40 17 have already gone with people multi buying as well. Oh, he's beautiful, isn't he? I can't choose a favorite. I think this one. I like this side. You can see the money coins there as well. Just because his tail's just flung up, you can imagine that. You can you can feel the strength. And, and the, to capture and the, that. And the speed as well. I think you can almost yeah. see the speed that he's, he's galloping. To capture that in a carving. You know, it's so difficult to draw a horse yes. to this level of detail. But to consider that this has all been done by hand. We have quantity. It will fit within your rotating pendant mount that we're bringing you and launching today. When we found out that, sadly, Dave Troth couldn't be with us in the studio today, obviously we didn't, we didn't know the pricing. This is something that Dave will decide when he comes into the studio because he'll have obviously been there firsthand. But we did speak to Wayne, of course. He's our, um, one of, he's our uh, gemstone buyer and head buyer of gemstones, of course. So I know he'll have the information that maybe we don't have. And okay, so th uh, this, I'm learning this with you. So this was this morning, right? 8.21, we originally text. Okay, so this is a conversation between Ross and Wayne, right? I'm intrigued. Hi, Wayne. As Dave isn't in today, what is the lowest possible price Elle and I can do on the carvings? Hi, Ross. No lower than 299. Okay, no problem. They all look amazing. 
I think the best we've ever had. Yes, they are incredible. Do you know that? I, I almost see tumbleweed there after that. They are incredible. <laughs> Wayne knows, Ross, because I think, I think I know. Do you know? 19 have gone on pre-order. We've got 21 left. And got, uh, look, I've got, I don't doubt this for a second. If Dave was with me, um, they would have all sold out already. They would have done. Wayne has said no lower than 299. This was this morning, literally this morning. 8.24 this morning. Hmm. I knew it. I knew it. Should we do it anyway? If you look up, up, up above us, I don't know if Ethan can do that. Just up above us, this is where the offices are. There's a glass window that sometimes when we're bringing you items like this on any other day of the week when our office team were here, the likes of, uh, yeah, it's darkness, complete darkness. So, yeah, they're, they're on their bank holidays, aren't they? They're enjoying the, the, you know, the summer bank holiday. They're doing whatever they're doing. I'm going to assume Wayne isn't watching right now. He probably is. Um, after that text message, he's probably, ah, sorted. I put that to bed. I know that Ross and Elle aren't going to do something naughty. <laughs> mm, he should know us better than that, though, Ross, shouldn't he? Um, OK, are we going to do it? Oh, no, are we in it together? He says, OK, but I have to see enough people um, to actually justify it. And at the moment, no, there's not enough people. Right, OK. If you want us to go against Wayne... We need to make sure that there's going to be the quantity of them actually selling. So I tell you what, another 60 second clock. We need 10 people. We need 10 people to put it in your baskets, join us on the phone lines, and we will absolutely take this to the lowest point price point. Can we please just not lose sight of the fact that this is £299 for one of the world's rarest materials and even beyond that, one of the world's rarest colours? You know, so even if you were to buy this and approach first dibs, you've got the pendant coming up, haven't you, in a few moments' time, and you were to sell it um, at, I don't know, at a zero on to the end of it, if you like, I, I, I generally don't think you'd struggle. Okay, Ross has just said, L, I don't think our viewers are ready. I don't know if I'm ready. What are you going to do? In 15 seconds... Yeah, you could take, well, well, I don't think you will do that, but yeah, you could do what, 279? I th I, I'm, I'm going to go with 50. What do you reckon? 50 pound off? That's what I think, Adam. What do you think? What do you think he's going to do, Monica? Oh, I don't know. I'm holding my breath. <laughs> that! will teach them not to come in on a bank holiday Monday. Yes, Wayne. Wayne, I'm going to repeat what my producer said to me in my ear just then. What are you going to do, Wayne? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, as long as we recognise that that is no reflection of the true value or worth, we are talking about one of the world's rarest, most precious materials um, that forms in kind of splint-like sizes. So it's a massive carrot weight for a black jadeite that has been placed. Look at the split payment. Goodness me, £49.75 on your 0% interest uh, split payment. And it's not a case of, this isn't like sort of, what do they call it? Like layaway or something like yeah. that, where you pay it and then once it's paid off, we send you the item. Yeah. Yeah. No, you'll probably have this next week um, or at the end of this week, to be truthful. Um, and then you pay us as and when you're actually wearing and enjoying the piece of jewellery. Well done, Jane, getting three. Lorna, multi-buying. Cheryl, Anne, Devon, Nicola, Emma, Valerie, Pamela, Susan, Sue, Patricia and Soraya. There's no going back now, Roscoe. There's no going back. There's no. T there's a time for remorse. Yeah. Now is not it. He's having regrets. but <laughs> You can't have regrets. You can't have regrets. Not on live TV. You've done it now. You have absolutely done it. No, you're right. Regrets don't work. <laughs> Not on live TV singing, uh, um, what's his name? Robbie Williams in my ear. Um, down to the final four. Good luck and well done, everybody. Again, the meanings no lower than 299, says Wayne at Harper State this morning. Okay. 
Sorry about that. Took that information. Look, look. Took that information. Absorbed it. Got rid of it. There you go. That's what we did. Sorry, Wayne. Um, amazing. Good luck, Nicola. Good luck. I've got three of you left. So if I'm calling your name out right now, then you are, you've got two chances. Nicola, Lincolnshire, Alan, Kerry, Susan, Durham, Hertfordshire, Devon, Irene, Hertfordshire, Karen in Hampshire. If, if I've just called your name out and you haven't yet checked out, there are two. Yeah, good luck. Two um, are of the carved horse who's absolutely beautiful. He's so handsome. I'll leave the final two with you. Good luck. Um, okay. Let's bring you... We're going to have to do it in terms of popularity on pre-orders right now. Um, oh, I love it. The one that I had originally... Yeah, I gravitated towards this one. Not only because of the carving, but because this also has lavender within it. Um, remember in the past, Dave showed us that, that slice, isn't he? That was... Um, I think it was at Hong Kong um, at the beginning... When did he go to Hong Kong? Was it the beginning of this year? I think it was. Um, and one of the traders showed, we were talking about lavenders in a bangle or in a, in a, in a carving like this. Um, and she said it's very rare to get lavender, particularly in Burmese jadeite, because um, it's vanadium that produces the lavender colour. That's a natural element, that uh, uh, an element that doesn't naturally occur, or very rarely occurs, I should say, um, in Burma. Um, so yes, I gravitated towards this one because it actually has, look, you can see from there, natural lavender. Now, obviously, don't expect it to be like a, a really deep, intense, um, sort of ultraviolet purple. It's very different to that. Um, but also know that here in the studio, it is actually washing out that natural colour. It's, it's a delicate, almost wisteria-like colour. Let me turn this round because this one's absolutely flying on pre-order. Um, and I can totally, totally see why. I tell you what, we've got 50 available of this one. It's one of the few which has the lavender in, inside. Um, 20 of these have already gone. It's the one that I immediately put within the pendant, which I'm going to show you once again. Kind of opens and closes like a brooch. So if I turn that towards you, you can see it's really simple. Um, you have that beautiful, a huge amount of sterling silver, but then I guess you're going to need that sterling silver to, uh, to secure um, this level of carrot weight it goes up through the drill hole just like so until you see it come out the other side push it right down there is a little groove in the pendant can you see that there little groove in the pendant and then you've got that figure of eight class that you secure um, over the top look at that yeah lots of you gravitated towards this one I did too um, again hand carved there's that beautiful lavender color that we associate with some well it's one of the rarest remember Roland Schlussel actually said that he believes um, that lavenders and red jadeites will surpass your imperial greens in terms of the most uh, um, most expensive color of your jadeite this is flying out on pre-order so I would be quick if you've got your heart set on owning the lotus Lotus flower again, not just in not just in China and in the East. The lotus flower is massively symbolic around the world, isn't it? Again, it's about that journey. It's about sort of traveling through as the lotus flower does, uh, the most beautiful flower in the world. But uh, um, it, the journey that it gets to actually full bloom, it's going through, it, it grows within muddy, murky waters. So it's representative of some of the journeys that you and, uh, you and I might have. 230 carats, again, completely natural, certified as well, certified jadeite that has been placed into the hands of the most, one of the most skillful artists. Look how amazing that pendant is. It's absolutely beautiful. Would you like me to pivot it round so you can see the other side? I can do that. Look at, her, look at that. Can I ask gorgeous Dan, can I borrow your phone for a second? Now, here it is. There's, and just above this slide, Ross, was the slice that I was just referring to. Here. So as you can see, there's just, thank you, there's just the smallest amount of, of, of lavender. It's not a strong purple colour. It's a delicate wisteria like, uh, like lavender. And you get that beautiful, beautiful blend. So that's very similar in terms of quality to the carving that I actually have here. Um, lots of you messaging in about this beautiful carving, and I'm not surprised. Lots of you have already uh, made your confirmations. Even here at 3799, 
absolutely amazing. Look at that. Wow. So beautiful, isn't it? Look at that intricacy. And then if you want, you can flip it over and look at the master carving on the other side. We're at 999. I agree, I agree. Sorry, Ross has just said to me, I, Elle, to be honest, I think this is probably, even here at Jewelry Maker, a 499 piece of, jewel, uh, piece of jade. I, I do agree. You can see it's because it's lavender. That's why lavender is one of the rarest colours uh, to naturally form. Um, so, and I, and, I, and I get that this is probably not the most intricate of carving. Yeah, I, I, see, I see that too. Um, but doesn't it showcase the colours? Doesn't it showcase the translucency? Yes. Because yes. you have got more of a simple, um, a simple carving. M it makes it actually much more visible, I think. So even here at 499 and your split payments at £124.75, I think that's an absolutely fabulous deal. An absolutely fabulous deal. Now we had, did you say 40 of this one? 50? 299? Hmm. Remember Wayne said, absolutely no lower and i get i get it ross is saying i actually really don't want to go lower on this one because 299 is an absolutely amazing deal isn't it hi ross no lower than 299 full stop he meant that because he put the full stop on the end no emoji full stop He's, he normally likes an emoji he was very authoritative with that wasn't he Look at that glow, even from there. Even with the, with, with, with the full floodlights of the studio, you can see that beautiful glow. You can see that amazing quality. Use this time wisely, because this one is proving to be very popular again. I'm not surprised by that. You know, you see the lotus flower um, uh, in sort of uh, works of art. You see it in tattoos. Um, and you absolutely see it with this beautiful gemstone. This is one of the few that we have with lavender. And in 21 seconds... We're crashing that price, even though we were instructed very specifically, actually, from our immediate boss not to do that. Um, well done, Suzanne. Lorna multi-buying. Congratulations, Sue in Edinburgh. Hello, Marion, Jenny, Anne, Valerie, Nottinghamshire, Irene, Lanarkshire. Hello, Soraya and Sue, Pamela and Manchester. These, by the way, the pendant is launching. We will be bringing this to you. I'm holding it like so. It's just easier for me to pivot it then. Um, but obviously, you can secure this on a really lovely, um, lovely chain. With this being 230 carats, I would go for something which will quite an investment of your sterling silver as well so it'll completely secure um, and support that too, too low it's far 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 too low for the fact that this actually has the lavender presence in there um, yeah if Roland Schlussel is saying that he predicts that the lavenders possible and the red colors could potentially overtake um, overtake the colors of um, imperial green and the most expensive then I, I, I would go with that as well absolutely beautiful Pauline Margaret well you London Lanarkshire Soraya Sue Irene Nottinghamshire Valerie you've done it you can still do this look at that split payment we should not and again i'm totally going to steal a davism here we should not be able to purchase a master carved which takes decades to achieve oh ross we should not be able to get this gemstone for money that we can get out of a what you're doing you're rocking a hard place right now aren't you you've got good Good Ross, naughty Ross, haven't you? I Yes. Listen, you don't have to justify it to me. I'm with you. Ross has just said, look, we are in a bit of a tricky situation here. We were expecting, Dave. It's live TV. We can't just go, oh, I'll tell you what then. We'll just reschedule it. It's live TV. Plus, there's nobody in the office. <laughs> so we couldn't just put something else in its place. Ideally, and if it probably was any other day of the week, we would have swapped it out for another day when Dave could join us. But there's nobody here. So we are in a little bit of a tricky situation. What do we do in tricky situations? Well, we should do as we're told. But I've got a funny feeling Ross isn't going to. Well, you're already not, Ross. You're already not doing as you're told, so it's, we might as well. Yeah, do it. Can you? Can you do it, firstly? No, he says. 
He says, no, I can't. I've, I've been told, Elle. No, I can't. So you've got to know, Wayne knows what these cost. <laughs> and we would expect this to be more expensive because it's lavender. Do it. Just do it. If... Okay. This has to sell out, though. We're putting ourselves in a sticky spot here, Roscoe, but okay. Look at that lavender. Look at how it, look at, I love the simplicity of this carving, the lotus flower, all of that meaning. You know, the fact that it travels through those difficult journeys, through the muddiest of waters until it reaches, obviously, the sunlight and, uh, uh, and, and fully blooms. And I love the mixture of the colours there because it's almost like, you know, when you look out at nature, nothing is just one colour. No. You know, you see a mixture of colours everywhere you look, so I think it's really beautiful, isn't it? Let's pivot it round. It's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. Good luck, everybody. You're all there. Oh, Ross. He says, I could have done with a couple more, to be honest. Okay, 30. 30 seconds, Ross. Come on, then. And then, okay, he says, I want another five people with it in your baskets, even if you don't necessarily check out, so I can see you there. Um, Emma... Right, you count for one. New telephone caller, you count for two. Fabulous. Helen. Oh, we need one more, one more. Christine, done. Catherine, there's, Catherine's there. Well done, everybody. This shouldn't be going lower. We all know that the lavender should be more expensive because it is one of the rarest colours. There are only 10 of these left. Once they're gone, they are gone. Um, again, just to highlight, it's part of the birthday celebrations. This has been something that's been in discussion over certainly the last year or so. Obviously, we're going to use the best deposits that we can. Um, huh. Obviously, we're going to work with these incredibly talented master carvings. And um, yeah, it's it's one of them. It's live TV. It's it, we can't help illness. Sadly, um, it does put us a little bit of a sticky spot. But never mind. We'll overcome it, shall we? We'll overcome it with the best possible deals. As long as we and this is down to me, though. This is this is totally my responsibility now. You know that this is not a £199 piece of jewellery, do you? You know that this is something that you could absolutely see on first dibs, at Sotheby's, in Christie's, at Bonham's, for the four figures and then some. Because it has that wonderful certified natural type A lavender jadeite presence. Obviously, every single one will be com completely unique, but you'll see those different colours. You've got that lovely, that's what the floating flower is representative of as well. The pools of colour that you're seeing within this jadeite. Down to the final four opportunities. I'm hugely over allocated. So if you've got a phone in your hand and you press your option one, of which I can see how many caught, how many people are, 51 of you have it in your basket for the final four. Maggie, I can see you there. Anonymous maker. Alison in Derbyshire. Another anonymous maker. Emma in West Midlands. Another anonymous maker. Alla in New York. Kerry in Hertfordshire. Judith in Surrey. Uh, maker in Hertfordshire. Catherine in Somerset. And you disappear off the bottom of the screens. That's more than four names, isn't it, that I've just called out? I've got four left in the world. I don't want you to put your, lay your head down tonight and think about how amazing these master carvings were and go, I wish I'd got that one. Because believe me, it happens. And you don't forget oh, yeah. the items that you, uh, um, that, that, that you didn't quite act on fast enough. It is, it is one of those moments um, that you, do, you just, we hang on to, don't we, sadly. To the final three, you can still do it. Anna, well done. Nicola, well done. Leicestershire, well done. Oxfordshire, well done. Helen, well done. Lanarkshire, well done. Suzanne, well done. There are multi-buyers. Pamela, well done. Fiona, well done. Paul, well done. Maker, well done. And again, you disappear off the bottom of the screen. It's the final one. Well done. Amazing, amazing, amazing. These pendants um, are launching, and we're going to do them at the end um, of the master carvings. Because we've ordered, I think we've got a hundred of these, but the idea is basically that you can interchange them. So any of the ones that we're launching today will fit um, on your pendant bale. So um, they're coming up. Shall we bring you? Oh, the elephant! Oh, I love elephants. <laughs> oh, he's he's oh. beautiful. Everybody loves oh. elephants. Oh, I love elephants. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to show you this first individually. Oh, he's beautiful, and I want to put the torch behind him as well. Look at this translucency again. You see oh. a different colour. This has got this is oil green. Um, 
Look at him. Wow. So, oil green is, again, one of the more expensive varieties of. Um, it's up there with sort of your the darker shades of uh, of greens. There's an element of blue, I always think, with uh, within oil green, and that might not be something a terminology that they use in China, but I always see like a almost like an Olmec yes. like, color to it. Um, but there, here he is, that beautiful elephant. He's a decorated elephant as well. Um, on the other side, you have. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, beautiful. Oh, it's the side profile. Yeah. There's his tusks. Can you see? Yeah. There's his trunk. Oh, isn't he beautiful? There's his eye. Can you see that there? Absolutely. Am oh, look at him. He's absolutely stunning, isn't he? He might be one of my favourites, you know. Again, the meaning behind the, uh, the elephant. Again, very auspicious. I know it represents family. Um, because they are, um, they have an amazing uh, sort of family connection. Pardon? Look at him. And there's that oil green. So a much so darker shade of green than we might be used to. Certainly the closest, I would say, to uh, sort of the imperial light colours. I totally get what Wayne is saying now. Low, low. These are amazing. They are amazing. I, I agree. They are incredible, to use his words. Uh, plus, you've got the elephant meaning behind that. Very much uh, um, loyal, aren't they? Um, symbolic of uh, strength as well. Um, that, fo uh, that family unity. Um, loads of people wanting this one. I can see you there. The reaction is very apparent on the website and also on those phone lines. Um, is this, am I right in saying this is the only elephant? The only elephant that we have. I will show you on the pendant as well. But even here at £999, oh, it's stunning. Absolutely stunning. We've spoken about elephants at length, haven't we? They tend to be one of the yeah. species that um, is cl most collected, but also uh, um, one of the most popular species. Yes. Um, well, I think even if you, if you, if you don't follow the, the, the meanings behind things. I mean, elephants, everybody knows, like you were saying about the family that elephants, they, they mourn, yes. they're dead, they, they help each other. I mean, all you have to do is go on YouTube and you can see videos where little elephants fall into a pit and then the whole, the whole lot of mothers come along and they help it out and yeah. things like that. So I think this one's really um, representative of all of that i think and the fact that females all stay together yeah so the grandmother for example is still very hands-on in uh, yes. in sort of the up um the upbringing of the um of the of the baby elephants i can't i've gone blank what do you call a baby elephant it's got to be a terminology for it calf yes of course there you go the calf of, okay. as well um again look how beautiful so you've got sort of a full uh, sort of frontal uh, um carving of the elephant sorry <laughs> Bad terminology, uh, but then if I actually do it this way, um, you can see the side profile. Sorry, <laughs> amazing! All that beautiful detailing, a lovely luster at two hundred and ninety-nine pounds straight away. Lots of collectors getting involved. Um, yeah, the the meaning behind the elephant. I don't think you need to be, uh, um, you know, hugely. Uh, knowledgeable, I guess, yeah. about the carvings yeah. of jadeite to understand that it's all about family. With and elephants. I mean, they're also very gentle, aren't they? Gentle. I mean, did you know that an elephant can walk over a bed of dry leaves without making a sound? Wow. Yeah. And and we actually witnessed this. We went to Whipsnade Zoo, and there was a baby elephant, and it was quite close to us. It was walking past in front of us, and there was a little flower growing out of the ground. And this little elephant walked past the flower and then saw it, went back, and he picked up his foot and felt all around this flower. Uh, little flower, um, you know, and you could, you could see that he could feel it Through and, his and was trying to work out what it was. Oh. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. They are incredible species. Yeah. I know they communicate through their feet as yeah. well. They communicate that way. And um, well, let's talk about it. Let's talk about the spiritual significance of the elephant. Uh, native to Africa and Asia, uh, the animals have special significance there. The Hindu god um, Ganesha 
um, is believed to uh, be a remover of obstacles. He's the God of begin beginnings, whom people worship before starting any major endeavor in their lives. In China, the elephant is a symbol of strength and wisdom. Buddha is often portrayed as an elephant, and his mother is believed to have had dreams of an elephant before his birth. Um, in Ashanti, uh, sorry, the Ashanti people, sorry, revere elephants as their reincarnated leaders. Amazing. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. And I get why there is that uh, significant, spiritual significance to these as well, because they have such um, um, so overwhelming emotions, if you like, that we can Absolutely. all associate to. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, I can see the significance to you guys at home on the call screens. Look at that split payment. We were under very specific direction not to take any of these pieces any lower. This is the oil green, which again, like the lavender, should perhaps command a slightly higher price point. There's something hidden. Is it, is it the monkey on the side? Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh. Hang on. I, I thought it would be a monkey. There he is. You can see his little face. Oh he's, oh, he's hanging on to the tusk. You can see it really clearly on the recording, if you show the recording. You can see it on the other, other side of it, yeah. Coming around. <laughs> I love this. I love that you find, you just, oh, yes. There he is. <laughs> there he is, little monkey. Oh, so again, I'm sure monkeys have got meanings too. Oh, how beautiful! Like, and it looks like he's got water spraying out of his trunk as well yeah. on that side with it. With yeah, the... I know. Up, to, uh, you've 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 got meanings between sort of the upturned trunk and the yeah. downturned trunk as well. Um, you've got a baby elephant um, underneath this one. You can see the trunk sort of wrapped around in a protective manner. Oh, so beautiful. I love this. And you've got the flower at the top. Can you see the flower yep. um, on the top of his head? Mm -hmm. He is fabulous. Yes, I've just spotted the, the, the water there, Monica. Monica, we're getting so engrossed in the beautiful carving of this. Oh. There was a clock on our screens. And we've also dropped that price to £199. But one thing I haven't highlighted is the quantity of the elephant. How many do we have, Ross? 14 of these left, so you do need to make sure you check out your baskets to guarantee your success. Nicolette, Patricia, Leslie, Emma, Jenny, well done, Marion, Jackie, uh, Caroline, Tina, hello to you, Karen, Judith, Angus, George, you need to check them out. George, you've just got yours. Hertfordshire, Lanarkshire, Janice, well done, Susan, Heather, Keith in Durham, amazing. I'm seeing some familiar names as well across from our sister channel getting involved because everybody loves elephants. Everybody loves jadeite, particularly uh, master carved jadeite. But when you put connect, when you put connections, I think, yeah. um, with, with, with animals like this, you know, the horse we've had so far, we've had the lotus flower, which I know is not an animal, but also this lovely elephant, beautiful. And we have that wonderful connection. Yeah, I see the flower on its head. It's very sweet, isn't it? Very sweet. £49.75 on your split payment. Um, but be warned, as you would expect, each and every single one of these are extremely limited. You know, we are dealing, uh, and again, to reiterate what we said at the beginning of this deal of the day, is that we deal hands-on with... Um, some of the leading master carvers in the world, quite frankly. There is a big difference between a carver and a master carver. Um, to be able to capture that level of detail in something that is physically as hard as steel um, is quite amazing. We are launching the pendant as well. Um, each and every single one of these ma double-sided master carvings are um, will fit within, so you can interchange. So, for example, if you love the lotus flower in this one, you can swap them around. Um, if you love the black swan that we had earlier on, I thought that was amazing, that one. Um, you can swap them around as well. Down to the final two, and I can tell you we're super over allocated. Beryl, good luck. Jane, good luck. Nottingshire, good luck. Keith, good luck. Tina, good luck. Judith, good luck. Angus, good luck. I've got one of them left. And people with multiples in, the bas in baskets as well. So 20, 20 of you for the last one. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Okay. Where do we go from here? Done that one, done that one, done that one. Floral one with the bird. Green, I'm gonna say, ah. Oh. Now, do you know what this means? I know the meaning of this one. 
Oh my goodness me, it's got to go in this. So uh, my carving that I spoke spoke about, well, my mum's carving um, that she brought back from China, um, is flowers and birds. And uh, I asked Susie about it, and Susie was saying, "Has it got um, the birds to the side, or are they in amongst?" I said, "They're on the side." And she said, "Okay, well that's symbolic of love, um, and in particular young love." So it just immediately makes me think of like I don't know for people that maybe. Um, are celebrating anniversaries, have been together for many, many years. But it's also not just a, um, a husband and wife or a partnership. It's love within your family too. Um, so I'm going to show you that. Where do we start? Because they're both absolutely beautiful. Um, so on this side, you have. I don't know if it's lotus flower or peony flower. Look at that. Apps. I love this one. Oh. Isn't that stunning? Yeah. Also, if I lay it down this way, look at the depths that you're seeing within. But then if I pivot it round, absolutely Aww. beautiful. So you have, yes, the, fla the bird to the left and the, f uh, sorry, the other way around. Flower to the left and the bird to the right, I believe is young love, or that's what I was informed. Just beautiful. Plus, you have your cabbage leaves under here, which here in the West we don't necessarily uh, associate to, but the cabbage leaf, leaf is, again, uh, for good fortune and luck. All right. Um, just beautiful. It looks like a hummingbird, doesn't it? I really like this one. Have we got quantity? 50 available, but 15 have already gone on pre-order. Again, I'm not surprised. This is one of those pendants that I would be constantly moving because I can't decide which one's my favourite. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I I can't decide which I prefer. Is it the one with the is it the one with the flower or is the or is the, or is it the one with the bird? Yeah, it's it's hard, and I guess that's the joy of having this sort of spinning pendant um, that you can enjoy on front and reverse as well. Even here at nine nine nine. Now I guess you know, jewelry makers, we're not all of a sudden going to throw a curveball at you. You know that we are going to. Um, bring them to you at the best possible price tag. I should imagine because of the detail within this one, all the folds. If you imagine the, if you imagine the peony flower, um, which has got multiple really compact petals. Yeah. One of them, I think, one of the most beautiful flowers. It's yeah. my favourite, certainly. But very short window um, of bloom. Um, to actually sketch something like that, let alone within a jade eye. I tell you what, we're going to do in a minute. In a minute, uh, sixty seconds. We're not going to dilly dally. We've got a lot to bring you. We've still got the pendant to bring you as well. We've yeah, we are late. It doesn't it doesn't matter. You've still got your masterclass. We're gonna do it in one price crash, and we are gonna do it under two hundred pounds. There we go. I love this one, and if I if I had my phone next to me, I would absolutely be adding this to my order. You know, you were saying, Monica, at the beginning of the show that you've been shopping. Yes, I have. This every, is every this day. is. If there's any of them available, <laughs> come the end of the today uh, end of the day. Yeah, I really like this one. That's beautiful. Oh, Adam's liking the stallion. What's been your favourite so far? Oh, I think the elephant. You like the elephant? The elephant, yeah. Ross likes the elephant. What about you, Ethan? Yeah, elephant. You like the elephant? <laughs> Dan, what's been your favourite? Um, I'll say the stallion because I remember it. You like the stallion? You remember, yeah, the black, stallion. I like the black as well. And the black swan. We're forgetting the black swan. Black, I like the black swan too. It's hard to choose, isn't it? Oh, we don't have to choose. You've got interchangeable pendants. Look at that beautiful detailing. The fact that it stretches right the way across the pendant as well. Yeah. Um, this has got a presence of lavender. We've squeezed it under 200. No, we shouldn't have done. No, no. But again, as Ethan showed you, it's in complete darkness in the offices upstairs. No powers that be. So, yes, we're going to do our own thing. Suzanne, Jackie, well done. Lanarkshire, Mary, well done. Anne, Alison, well done. Marion, well done. Buckinghamshire, well done. Lancashire, well done. Anne, Elaine. I'm saying well done. You do need to check out your basket. Um, and there's people on the phone lines as well. Is this one of the only floral ones that we have or one of the few? I know we've had... There's, we've had one already, yeah. Um, I think this is the only other one. It, it's certainly the only one that inc incorporates the bird. So the symbolic of love, um, yeah, in particular young love. I love that. Absolutely love that. It reminds this this one here. I kind of relate to. You know when you gravitate towards some, um, it, it you know it, it resonates in a personal manner. My mum and dad were together from the age of sixteen. Oh wow. Sixteen years God. old. So I can just really feel. I think of them when I see this. Oh. You know, yeah, seven, sixteen years. 
I just think, wouldn't it be wonderful if you had a few of these pendants, like you've got them displayed there on the little stand. Swap them around. On your dressing table, and then you have a beautiful pearl knotted uh, jadeite necklace yes. with a pendant. And then every morning you go and you look at your selection and say, okay, today I'm going to wear the, wear the one that's for luck, yeah. or I'm going to wear the one that's for love or prosperity. You know, whatever your day is planned, you can choose. Masculinity, absolutely, yeah. yeah. I love that, that with the, that with the horse, be, of course. And then course. you just pick out whichever one you want to and put it in your pendant. I love it. Absolutely. Yes, well, you can. That's yeah. what this has given you the opportunity to do. Um, the, yes, the actual pendant is coming up, but we want to bring you the master carvings first. Again, these are absolutely flying out the door. Lots of you loving this. I love this one, too. I, I, I just like the little... I, I'm going to say it's like a hummingbird, just because yeah, it's so beautiful. It looks like Beautiful and petite. And you can see it hovering there, can't you? Um, well done to you, Durham, Valerie, Lancashire. Congratulations. I don't know, maybe... Maybe you, you might relate to it in the same way that I do. Um, you know, the fact that you might have been with your partner or maybe your parents were with, with each other from a very young age. It just reminded me of that, I think, because, like I said, it was Susie that educated me and said that this is symbolic of love, in particular young love, um, to actually have both birds and flowers oh. in one carving. Amazing. Well done. Well done. Well done. Um, OK. Oh, well, out of the 10, how many have we brought so far? We've halfway, we're halfway there. Sorry, six, we've got six more to bring you. Okay, um, that one then there. Let's now do, yes, I was hoping you were gonna say the rabbit. Aren't we in the year of the rabbit as well? I'm fairly sure this is the year of the rabbit. So a friend of mine has just had a little boy it's just had a, given birth to a little Aww. boy, William. So this would be the perfect gift yes, for her. Absolutely. Because he was oh, born. What an amazing gift it would make for, for the baby. Yes. To keep for the rest of their lives. Yes. As, you know, yeah. Um, and, and by the way, that's repeated. So I don't know how long, but um, I know that Adam is a year of the rabbit, for example. Oh, look. Oh, look. Oh, there's two rabbits on this side. I don't, I can't keep, my, my favourites keep changing. Look at that green from a distance straight away. Oh, look. Little prancing rabbits there. Do you know they call that a binky? Uh, when rabbits sort of oh. hop. Bit of yin and yang yeah. in there. You've also got the money coins just oh, here. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, he's doing a binky. When rabbits kick their legs out, that's happy, happiness. It's a symbol, that's the sign that they're, um, that they're happy rabbits. So you've got your money coins within there. Definite yin and yang connection, I can see that too. And then you have, on the other side, your bamboo leaves, what look like bamboo leaves just here. Beautiful gra grass foliage. Um, he's having a little munch, isn't he? <laughs> well, he is. Here you go. He's having a little munch on the leaves. And these two just having a party, aren't they? With their money coins, because that's a money coin just there as well. But also, isn't it amazing that on this side you've got sort of the stylized rabbits? Yes. And on the other side is is a almost a much more realistic looking rabbit. Yes. So two different styles really on the two sides. He looks like to be a grown up. He looks like a grown up rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> I think. Yeah. He's a grown up rabbit, and then you've got the two little. Little yeah, bunnies there as well. Ah, yeah. oh, beautiful. I, again, I am no, I'm no expert on the meanings behind each of these carvings, um, but I know that we're in the year of the rabbit, and I know the rabbit is symbolic. Mm -hmm. Look at that colouring. This is the only other lavender. Um, where it has the presence of lavender within. It'll be described as multicolored, I should imagine, type A, jadeite, but you can see, and everyone will be completely different. You've got that beautiful floating flower. That's the separations between the greens and the lavenders, or sometimes even your oil greens, sometimes even your black, um, where you have those sort of separating, almost floating flower-like colors within, all beautifully hand-carved. Loving the rabbits. 
Now, if you want this one to the price tag that we have been re quite consistent with, to be truthful, um, then we need to make sure that they are all going to be of a sellout, purely because they are floating flower. Floating flower, um, in terms of its colour, is like your lavenders, it's like your red jadeites, it's like your imperial greens, it's much more expensive. We need to see 20 of you um, on the web and on the phone lines, and you might be thinking, what does that do if we don't even check it out straight away? Gives us that many to say to them upstairs they can look at a report of how many people are actually on the web and on the phone lines so if we see you there need another 14 people then we will test those boundaries 12 people now if you want it at that price tag we all know it shouldn't be we know that look the carving aside we know that floating flower with lavender jadeite should not be anywhere near the price tag that we have brought you so far use this time wisely how many do we have though roscoe we've got 50. i was expecting you to say much less because of the floating flower he says i need to see 20 of you seven more oh i'm actually feeling quite quite nervous about this one ross In 24 seconds, it is going even lower. Good luck, everybody. Just again, for the benefit of those people that have tuned in, why is lavender jadeite as rare as it is? Because it's vanadium that produces the lavender, and, and vanadium doesn't naturally occur. Well, sorry, I shouldn't say that. Let me rephrase it. Rarely occurs in Burma. We need another minute. If, there's gonna, if, if we're going to take this to that price tag that you're expecting, then... We need to justify it. This is, I'm just letting you in on the inside information here. How we do it is by showing a report of the call screen. That's how many people were there. Maybe that 299 that it was meant to be wasn't quite the price tag. Yeah, so it, just, it just covers our backs. We don't get told off. You get a great deal. Fabulous. It's Bank Holiday Monday at the end of the day. They're not here. They're not listening to every word that I say. Well, they might be. I doubt it, though. I very much doubt it. Um, in 32 seconds, we are going to take it lower. You can see that beautiful floating flower. Again, the meaning behind the little bunny rabbit. We are in the year of the rabbit too. So if you know somebody, maybe your family or friends um, who have maybe just had a baby, um, then they are born into the year of the rabbit. Um, you, might be, you might be a year of a rabbit. In 10 seconds, we are going to do it. There's enough of you there. Janet, Margaret, Marion, Aisha, Lanarkshire, Sue, California, welcome. Um, hello to Louise, Suzanne, Karen, Michaela, Miranda, sorry, Michael and Miranda, Lanarkshire, Sandra, Valerie, hello to you, Christine, I can't see you, yeah, you disappeared, Elspeth in Dorset, Karen in Hampshire, you're there, Pauline, good luck, everybody. Fort, oh, goodness me, that's low, isn't it? Yeah, £49.75. Uh, £9 if you have just tuned in and you're wondering why um, we're re reacting this way is because very specifically, look, look, Dave was meant to be on air today. Um, he's not very well, sadly, and it's live TV, even more so it's live TV on a bank holiday when there's nowhere, no one uh, other than the production team here. So, um, yeah, we didn't know the prices because Dave literally decides them or has discussed them with Wayne. Hi, Wayne. As Dave isn't in today, what's the lowest possible price Elle, uh, Elle and I can do on the carvings? Hi, Ross. No lower than 299 Okay, no problem. Your communication is uh, it's very abrupt, isn't it? It's a very, this is, yeah, very manly conversation, this. Um, they all look amazing. I think the best we've ever had. Yes, they're incredible. Well, you know what? All these people agree that they are incredible. Um, but we've been, yeah, we've been naughty. We've taken it lower than £299, which is absolutely what Wayne specified. But hey-ho, good luck. Well done, everybody. We only had 50. This one has just got the most beautiful, beautiful presence of, um, of lavender within. Um, you can see that wonderful intensity. You can see the joyous carvings. Again, um, the year of the rabbit you've got within this as well. You've got the auspicious meaning of the money coins. You've got that lovely 
yin and yang. Loads of you. Look at that imperial green there as the light pools. Can you see it? Can you see that beautiful intensity of imperial green? That has to be the brightest green I've ever seen um, in a carving and, and certainly ever held. held. Um, yeah, beautiful, aren't they? You need to be checking out your baskets, though, to guarantee your success. This is uh, the only Bonnie, I can say that for sure. This is the only uh, rabbit carving that we have for you all. And now I'm down to the final 11. So, uh, yeah, I just kind of think about if it's your year. Can you remind me what years were the rabbit? So 1987 is a year of the rabbit. I know that yeah. because Adam's a rabbit, mm -hmm. director Adam. And we definitely know. Um, <laughs> and also, we'll just show you, shall we? Year of the Rabbit. We can give you those dates. There you go. So if you're 1927, 1939, 1951, 1963, 1975, oh, 1987, 1999, 2011, and 2023. So if you were born in any of these years, you are a rabbit. Yeah, basically. my husband's a rabbit then. Your husband's a rabbit. Yeah. There you go. There you go. How lovely yeah. is that? And if You might just like rabbits. You yeah. might not care about the year rabbit, you might just like rabbits. They are pretty cute, though, to be fair. Um, well done, everybody. They're tenacious, aren't they? I always remember the introduction to Watership Down, you know, but you are, you are fast and you are plentiful. You know, they do. They, they, they are, aren't they? If you remember the introduction to Watership Down, that's how they describe them. Um, nimble, fast. Um, your baby is going to be a rabbit, Roscoe. Oh. You need to get hold of this pendant. Amazing. Uh, Christine, well done to you. Durham, Jenny, Leslie, Margot, Wendy, Beryl, congratulations. Cornwall, Carol, Michael and Miranda, Janet, Margaret, Sandra. Um, I can see you there, Florence in Shrewsbury. Hello to you, Christine, Caroline, Kent, Judith, Alison. Uh, hello to you, Pauline, Louise. You do need to check them out. Is that quantity still live? Nine of them left, but loads of the, loads of you with it still in your basket, so you need to check them out. Good luck, everybody. We had 11 individual carvings, and don't forget, we've also got the, the pendant bale um, to actually bring you as well. One of the big carrot weights, you've got 230 carats of your beautiful, um, of your beautiful rabbit. On the one side, I think it's the grown-up bunny, isn't it, where you can see him actually uh, munching on the fresh foliage. And also, this side reminds me of the story of the um um the boy with a pearl you know when he, ch he follows the rabbit doesn't he he follows the rabbit to that uh, sort of area of lush foliage all oh, right um so that kind of reminds me oh. a little bit of that amazing okay now let's bring you one of the most immediately recognizable we do have to pick up the pace yes um guan ying the goddess of mercy um this is floating flowers Oh, she's beautiful. Oh, my goodness me. He, she's, she's got the many hands as well. Uh, Guan Ying. Yeah, this is impressive. Really impressive. Not just the carving, but also the actual, you know, the colours within this. This is what we call floating flower. And this is one of the... You get different examples of floating flower. Um, yeah, this one's amazing. It's going to blow your mind, this wow. one. She's stunning. She's many hands one side. Here she is. Can you see the hands behind the hands? Can you see that? Yep. Adam. Oh, on the side, there's a whole Adam. Whole lot of them. As she turns round, the many hands. I don't know if you can pause her, can you? Sorry. Hang on, because she's got the many hands and then the many yeah. hands behind. Yeah. Can you see this? Yeah. Oh. Right on the side, there's. They, there it's all the way around isn't it goodness me wow. oh it's not working is it okay not to worry look and this side as well absolutely beautiful because you've got the mountain range you've got that overhanging um on the other hand she's doing that classic pose and i know it's um if i remember what susie told me correctly the hand like so and the downturn palm is that you're you're accepting um, right. You're at one with the universe, if you like. Apparently, if you have um, the hand facing forward and the hand upturned, this is your uh, Guan Yin, Goddess of Mercy, and you've got the many hands. Uh, but then what's even more amazing is that you've got the many hands behind, in almost like this sunlight motif. 
Look at the elegance of her foot. Seriously, she's absolutely beautiful, this one. Um, is there only 50 of these? Is there only 50 of the Guan Ying? Okay, you need to be quick on this one. Um, it's Goddess of Mercy. It's floating flower and some of the more intense colours of floating flower. This actually is borderline black jadeite floating flower. Um, yeah, beautiful. Look at this. Um, you've got the mountain range, almost like you've got sort of suspended clouds. You've got that overhanging. Obviously, every, the colour positioning of your floating flower is going to be different. But this is mind-blowing. Look at the amount of intricacy that's in this. Um, oh, Adam's saying this might be his favourite. I'm, uh, yeah, I, I, I can't decide, but genuinely, yes, yeah, she's she's incredible. She's absolutely incredible. And we have 50. Not nearly enough people getting involved on this one. I know I do actually have a delay on our call screen, so I am a little bit behind the times here. But I, I, this, no, this this needed to have an immediate reaction. I hope it's coming across on your screens. The Goddess of Mercy again, um, sort of as you describe. You know, she is merciful. She is forgiving. And I guess we, we can also be, um, we, need, we need to be forgiving as well in many ways of life, not just with other people, but also absolutely with ourselves. So again, great meaning there. Um, amazing being at one with universe. Uh, the universe, like I said, I am no expert on this, but she's fascinating to learn about. This one, I would have imagined, would have sold out the fastest, to be truthful, because we associate ourselves, even without the Buddhist connections, we associate and can immediately relate that this is a very positive symbol, yes. uh, a positive fim uh, figure. Yes, absolutely. Stunning. Good luck. 17 seconds, you know what we're going to do. Um, and each and every single one of these are interchangeable with your beautiful pendant that is coming up. Would you like me to show her in the pendant? Let's do it because uh, it's coming up not too long. Not too long to wait. So pop it through and they all fit. You know we're not stopping there. Fold it over. Close it like you would do almost. There she is. Oh. <gasps> that one's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? It's, it's stunning. Let's turn around. Look at how beautiful she is. Yeah. Do you know what? If these don't sell out, I think I might get the Goddess of Mercy. Yeah, Guan Ying. She's one of my favourites. Yeah, I think I might be getting one of these if she doesn't sell out. Well then, Donna, Dorothy, you've got yours. Marion, Valerie, Devon, congratulations. And also, again, if you are thinking about... I, I, I don't know if we've got the details of... Have we got the details of Guan Ying, Ross? Um, the meanings behind her. I know that she is very forgiving. And, and, and Yeah, just make sure you check out your baskets. I know we've certainly covered it in the past. Um, yeah, the goddess of mercy, Guan Ying. Definitely very symbolic in uh, throughout Chinese and probably all around the world as well. £49.75 on your split payment. Caroline, well done. Karen, Mary, Maggie, hello to you. Jackie, Hertfordshire, Valerie, Judith, Janice, Kimberly, Lincolnshire, you're there as well. Congratulations. Um, you have also your floating flower, which is where you have these almost pools, little flower-like colours um, that occur um, within jadeite. Very rare and normally command a, a significantly higher price point than what's on your screens right now now certainly higher than um than 199 lots of you have this in your basket the actual um pivoting pendant is coming up as well you're going to be able to get hold of it of which each and every single one of these amazing master carvings will fit so you can interchange them as you were saying earlier on um yeah. monica amazing well done everybody 199 pounds keep on dialing through everybody um okay let oh have we got a peacock oh I didn't see the peacock. Hang on. Bear with me. Oh, there she is. Or he. It's a he, isn't it? Otherwise, it's a peahen. Sorry. Peacock or peahen. Have you ever seen? Have you ever seen a peacock fly? No, I haven't. They're not very graceful. Oh, really? No, not <laughs> at all. They kind of fall with style, like Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, magnificent birds though, aren't they? Certainly one of the most beautiful birds I think surely that exists. This is not just the peacock though, because if you look at the oh, carving, beautiful. you will see you have the peacock and then, wait a minute, you have the phoenix on the other side. Oh. You have that phoenix there as well, rising from the ashes. Oh, so beautiful. Wow. 
again, the phoenix, the peacock, I know in, uh, in Chinese culture, um, have that immediate... They, 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 don't they believe that the phoenix... Uh, I might get this wrong, sorry, so don't quote me, but don't they believe that the peacock is related to the phoenix? I, I'm... Mm. I'm, I, I, I remember something being said. I might have that wrong, so don't quote me on it. But again, look at that. There's beautiful layers of magnificent feathers. Um, got to be classed as one of the most beautiful birds that exist. They're stunning, aren't they? There's... A... Oh, yeah, there is a fish. Where's the phoenix, then? Well, graphics say phoenix. Oh, oh, they, that's it, that's it. The peacock is believed to be the phoenix in life, in real form. Okay. In lifelike form, that's oh, it. Yep. I was confused then for a second. Peacock and phoenix, oh, there we go. At £199, again, absolutely beautiful. This has got um, an absolutely beautiful, almost like an aqua colour. I imagine on the certificate this would actually say aqua. Um, £199. Just researching, there we go. The peacock, uh, particularly the royal peacock, is believed to be the heavenly phoenix on earth. There we go. Oh. Um, it symbolizes dignity, beauty, and notoriety. Uh, the phoenix, or uh, feng wang, in Chinese culture, uh, the phoenix is an ancient and strong symbol um, of Confucian values and humanity, emphasizing morality, high virtue, strength, and resilience. The phoenix also stands for joy and peace, opportunity, material, and non-material good luck. It is the second most significant supernatural creature, along with the dragon, unicorn, and tortoise. Um, even though the feng, feng wang originally embodies the yin and yang principles, it is often positioned on the side of the yin or female principle. Okay, amazing. So I knew there was that connection. And that's what our graphics were uh, sort of references. I could talk about the fish in this one as well, because the fish has got lots of connections. I do need to pick up the uh, pace. Um, Ross's favourite now, the eagle. Okay. Oh. Hang on. He, ah, oh my good, oh yes. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna show you this side first and then I'm gonna wow. show you the reverse. Goodness me. Eagle, one of the most powerful of birds. Wow. That's Look at him, can we? Beautiful. He is beautiful, isn't he? It's, the, it's, it's in flight. Look at. Look at that. Yeah, he's beautiful. But wait, but wait, but wait. Because you think of an eagle, you think of power, don't you? Yes. You think about the dominance that they are. Then wait a minute. Look at this side. It's the poor little mouse. Uh. Uh. But it, this again, much like uh, um, was it the swan? Uh, was it the elephant? We were talking about strength. Yes, yes. He is beautiful. Look at the detailing on those wings. Can you see that? Can we get up close to that? Look at that detailing on his wings. He's magnificent. I mean, the eagle again. It's got a lot of uh, symbolism outside of Chinese culture. Absolutely. As well, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. We're going to do it in one price crash. Just purely because we are, time is against us now. We're not going to dilly-dally. You know that we're making a big saving for you all. You know that we are instructed specifically by our immediate boss not to take this any lower than £299. They are incredible, his words. Um, but there we go. It is what it is. We would have loved to have had Dave here in the studio. Sadly, he's unwell. So, um, And like I said, if it was any other day of the week, we probably would have held these back, brought them to you on another, um, another day when Dave was well. Um, but it's bank holiday, so there's literally nobody here. <laughs> Amazing. Well done. Um, OK, I'm coming to the end. I've got how many more pieces? Two more pieces. This is actually the penultimate and I'm looking for laughing Buddha hang on thing is I, they're on front and reverse so hang on a second one second why can't I see the Buddha oh. hang on a minute he was uh, where is he there he is I got him sorry Dan 
the Buddha of happiness. He's beautiful. Again, I think they'll all resonate us to us uh, um, in different ways. So again, on the one side, you've got the jolly Buddha, Buddha of hap happiness. And I understand, again, I'm no expert, but you have um, a Buddha of luck. You have a Buddha of happiness. You have a Buddha of fortune. Yeah, right. Um, I know the little jolly chappy, he's happiness. Um, and apparently, if you give his belly a little rub, uh, then you'll feel very happy. There you go. Um, and then this one, you have the, um, the Buddha with uh, his... Again, look at the positioning of the hands, the one facing forward, the one facing upwards. Um, that's sort of that, 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 that symbolic of enlightenment and being completely at one with um, the universe. In seven seconds, we are bringing these straight to air. And remember, we have also got the pendant to bring you as well. Um, yeah, should we be doing all these amazing, uh, these prices? No, no, honestly, 299 is an incredible deal already, which is what our boss told us to do. But hey ho, um, yeah. It was a slightly uh, unconventional show purely because we were expecting Dave to be with us. Look at this. At £199, the frame is coming up in one more auction's time and it allows us... Sorry, it's difficult for me to hold it like this. Um, the classic Buddha, which is actually probably the first of the carvings that we brought, wasn't it? The Buddha. It has to be one of the first that we ever brought. Um, but it gives you that opportunity to completely oscillate Again, you can see the thickness of the type A jadeite within. Oh, it's bean green. This is bean green. The only bean green that we have. Do you know what? So many people laugh at the colours, descriptions, bean green, for example, floating flour, mutton fat, um, yeah, chicken skin. Yeah. Um, they're very literal in their descriptions of jade. Right. So um, that's why I, th I, th I, you know, I throw in there every so often, egg yolk, egg yolk yellow. You know, yeah. <laughs> because it is very, it's very egg yolk yellow. Um, amazing. Not this one, but obviously the strands. £199. Make sure you do check out Leslie, Marion. Hello to you, Maggie, Anne, Suzanne, Kerry, Janice, Maker in Hertfordshire, Karen, Fiona, new customers. How many do we have of this one? They're all very limited edition. Um, 50. There was 50 again. Again, the Buddha. I don't think you need to maybe describe yourself as, as Buddhist. Many people regard it as a religion. Many people regard it as a prophecy. It's a way of life. Um, but it's a reminder. For me, I can only speak personally. For me, it's a reminder to try and live with the utmost integrity, with moral integrity, to treat people with kindness and, and to forgive. Um, now, one more auction. You're almost tempted not to do this one in this hour. Why? Why were you tempted not to do it? Oh, because of the prices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It shouldn't be going to what we are. Um, that's the swan. I haven't looked at this one yet. It's the biggest, got to be the biggest carrot weight then. 300 carrots. Um... Just because Wayne said no lower than 299, that's rock bottom, obviously. So, for example, the 300 carat one, that's a pound per carat if you were to do that price. You know, when you put that into perspective, um, this, we know that black jadeite naturally forms much smaller, much, much smaller. I agree with you, Ross. This, this shouldn't have been, this, this absolutely should not have been 299 even. Okay, let's do it. I'll, I'll show you the pen in a second. Um, okay. This is your koi, your koi carp. And you have... Uh, we spoke about the koi, didn't we, Monica, during yes. your masterclass? Yes, because we had the, the, the koi pendant about all the symbolism. Yeah. I, I know we have some information about the koi, Ross. Is, is longevity for, or is it one of the things? Yes, longevity, remember? but there's another... What did we call your kit? What was the kit called? I can't remember. Emblematic fish. Yeah, considered to be the most emblematic fish. Um, yeah, and you often see them. That's uh, Here we go. We can show these. Fish. Double fish. We saw it in the master carvings, didn't we, recently um, with Dave? Um, particularly the double fish. 
Um, so the carp and the lotus flower, which you absolutely see within this pendant as well. You've got the lotus flower and the carp. Um, but here's an example. I'm not comparing the colours, obviously. I'm just talking about the fact that this is the uh, the carp fish itself. Um, look at that price point, goodness me. Um, and heaven knows how big that is. Probably quite small in actual fact. But um, again, the double carp vase, um, meticulously carved again. You can see, is it, isn't the carp quite uh, meant to be related to, because it talks about swimming up, 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 uh, um, upstream um, and when they get to the top of that stream um, they actually turn into the dragon so I can read that story a story to you the Chinese symbology um, is a uh, is of the Chinese Dragon Gate legend. It's a story of thousands of koi fish swimming upstream together against a, a strong current. They eventually reached a huge waterfall where most koi turned around and gave up. However, a few persevered for hundreds of years and eventually managed to jump up the waterfall where the gods awarded them by turning them into the most auspicious creature in Chinese legend, the dragon koi. Oh. So this is about being tenacious, persevering, isn't yeah. it? It's that that reminding which again I think so many of us will encounter at some point within our lives um, also again uh, two fish I think is uh, is, is luck very uh, right. very fortunate mm -hmm. so yeah I agree with you Ross this absolutely should not have even been 299 pounds um, it is the finale of your double uh, double calf pendants it fits beautifully within your um, within your uh, pendant, which we're launching in a few moments' time. We are very aware that we're a bit behind. That's because we had quite a few technical issues at the beginning of the show. All day long, you know, a pound per carat for jet black type A jadeite. Jet black type A jadeite. You have your kissing koi, and then you have the meaning behind. That's a pound per carat. That, uh, no, 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 not now. A pound per carat for black jadeite is almost unheard of, isn't it? Let's be honest. Shall we do it? Yeah, let's do it, if you can. The carp symbolises perseverance. It also signifies uh, villagers as the dragon of the seas, uh, the emblem of wealth and abundance, harmony um, and bliss, also the symbol of regeneration and freedom, the fish's most beloved and preferred symbol in Chinese culture, especially in art. To successfully pass academic examinations in association with the belief that the uh, Yangtze, is that right, um, may successfully transform into a dragon. Fish are symbols of harmonious marriage and blessings of great abundance in life including many children. Freshwater fish such as carp, catfish, uh, perch, mandarin and goldfish are mainly carved in jade. The twin fish, also included in your carving, um, of t or two carps together embody what? Con conjugal happiness and harmony. There you go. And you've got that in this one amazing piece. This is a crazy pound per carat. It's the finale piece in the most beautiful, rich, I don't want to say jet black because we know that type A jade is actually never jet black. It's actually a very dark, inky colour. Um, but yeah, you can see this. In a minute, we're going to do it. We shouldn't. We've got the pendant coming up as well. That This will fit in. There are only 100 chances of the pendant. Look at that. It should look physically wet. There's your beautiful koi carp. There's the wonderful little bubbles. There's your lotus flower. You'll be able to tell people today, because you were watching today, you got hold of this for £199. Is it going to be that moving forward? No, it's not going to be. It's not. Well, it shouldn't be anyway. We shouldn't be doing what we're doing right now. In 30 seconds, it is going even lower. Very, very limited. You've got to remember as well, 50 people in the world will own this piece. Wow. 50 people. Wow. That's, I mean, how limited edition is that opportunity? Yeah. yeah. How many people can say that they own that level of scarcity and rarity? In eight seconds, it's going lower. I love the story of the koi carp. I love the story of the perseverance. Uh, um, uh, the, the fact, yes, like I said, that after that, 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 that perseverance, uh, perseverance and diligence, rather, they transformed into the dragon koi, the most 
auspicious of all. £199. I'm going to say this, put this one out there just so, um, you know, I, you know, put to bed any expectations. I shouldn't imagine if you see this carving again today, uh, after today, that it's going to be at that price point because there will probably be a conversation to be had between us and, yeah, probably, hey-ho. Might be all right on the other ones, not so much on the black jadeites or even the floating flowers. We're probably in a bit, a bit of hot water, but hey-ho, it's bank holiday. Um, if they sell out then, not so much. You know, that can be our, um, that's our backup. Valerie, Stirlingshire, Buckinghamshire. Hello to you, Valerie, Pauline, Valerie, Emma, Linda, Anne, Marion, Jeanette, she Sheila, Maggie, Leone, hello to you, Hertfordshire, Janice, Andrea, Karen, Hertfordshire, new customers, Mindy in Vermont, nice to see you. Can I just skip back once again and just talk about, there we go, just to, re just to reiterate, you know, what the meaning of the fish and in particular the koi fish is. There's a reason why, you know, they, in real life they cost a fortune, don't they? Do. They? they do, and they live very, very long. A long time, yeah. yeah. Um, in Chinese symbology um, is of the uh, Chinese dragon gate legend. Uh, it's the story of thousands of koi fish swimming upstream together against a strong current. They eventually reached the huge waterfall where most koi turned around and gave up. However, a few persevered for hundreds of years and eventually managed to jump up the waterfall where the gods awarded them by turning them into the most auspicious creature in Chinese legend, the dragon koi. I guess it's about that don't give up, isn't it? It's that absolutely. level of perseverance. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Amazing. Well done. So many multi -buyers. This is our finale master carving. We will be bringing you the pendant mount so that you can interchange each and every single one of these incredible pieces yes we have gone lower we showed you the whatsapp message that occurred literally at Hopper state this morning we paid not a blind bit of different uh, interest in it um let's be honest roscoe you mightn't have bothered asking to be truthful you had good intentions you set off with good intentions. And, and honestly, we don't, we, when we with Dave, we don't set those prices. Ross and I have got no idea, or Adam, we don't know what the prices of these pieces are going to be. And I'm sure Dave will bring it to you the most amazing, amazing deal. So we're kind of winging it. So make the most of it, basically. Um, we don't know what they were even bought for. Yes, it would be uh, the likes of Wayne and the likes of Dave that would have done. Down to the final eight opportunities. Congratulations. Good luck, Liam. Good luck, Paul. Good luck, Jeanette. Um, Paul, you've just got yours. Kerry, good luck to you. We only had 50 if not, or less of each and every single one of these carvings. And again, they all will go within your amazing pendant that is launching literally on the back of this opportunity. Um, it's stunning. We've never done anything like it before. Um, there's down to the final three. We're hugely over allocated. So Maggie, good luck. Uh, Leone, good luck. Hertfordshire, good luck. Janice, good luck. Karen, good luck. Anne, good luck. Janet, good luck. Sheila, good luck. We don't have the quantity to fill uh, um, the amount of you that have it in your baskets on the phone lines. We are down to the final two. And look at that at £49.75. pence. It is time. And I will apologise for us being a little bit late for your masterclass, but um, it's purely because we had some technical issues this morning, so everything got knocked back just a little bit. Don't worry, you've got a big demo coming up after the break with Monica's amazing jewellery, so don't you worry. Um, loads of you have been asking about this amazing pendant. Did you? Uh, Ross said, I snuck it on pre-order just a few moments ago, and already a third of the stock has gone. Um, here it is. Can I also show you, before I put a pendant in, um, so this will fit each and every single one of your double-sided master carvings that you have just seen. Um, but I want to show you sort of the engineering. I know this is kind of the practical side, Side of things but the engineering of how it actually works um, this is Ratnakiri zircon that is set um, all the way around so can you see they're like little melee Ratnakiri zircons all the way around and then you have Ratnakiri zircons on the bale but if I turn it this way can you also see how it clips on and off so if you want, want to sort of interchange it, maybe add it to a pearl necklace or oh, another absolutely. beaded necklace, you can, because yeah. it will clip in between. Um, and then let me show you how it works at the reverse. So you have like a figure of eight clasp there that you just simply lift up. Bear with me. Lift up like so. Then you have kind of like a brooch pin that lifts up like so. Uh, which one am I going to go for? I think I'm going to... Where's Guan Ying? Where's she? She's beautiful. Let's put Guan Ying on there again, shall we? So again, just put it straight through. Hang on. Can I just pick, pick it up a second? 
So you pop her straight through, there we go, like so, until the peg kind of pokes out the other side. Really simple. I can't believe, I don't, you don't need me to teach you how to do this. There's a little groove that you put your peg in and then clip down your figure of eight. There she is, Guan Ying, framed beautifully in your amazing sterling silver. She will rotate within there as well, so you can actually uh, sort of wear a front and reverse. It's finishing your pieces. I've got a hundred of these available, jewelry makers. There's not gonna be enough to go around. I'm, so many of you have been messaging into the, studi uh, into the studio about this. Um, I, 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 I generally think it's such a genius idea, and it's something that has been in development, I know, uh, for, for the birthday. Um, but this is something that I think we could do with each and every single one of our master carvings. Absolutely. I mean, if you think about it, if you think about a painting, like Mona Lisa is yeah. beautiful, but it's so it much needs more the frame. beautiful in the frame. It needs the frame. Yeah. And you don't have to use this. You know, all of those carvings, if you want to use in the same manner that we have done previously, you know, maybe um, knotting them. Of course, yes. You can absolutely do that. But yeah, I totally agree, actually, framing, uh, exactly. framing her exactly. in this case, or the rabbit, or the black swans, whichever it might be, it does, it, it just showcases it all the more. Um, it also, I think, would look really lovely, sort of shorter, at the top of the neckline, yes. or even as a full length piece. We had a hundred. Half have gone. We're at 199 pounds. You have Ratnakiri Zircon, not cubic zirconia, in really. Wow. In 15 grams of sterling silver. Honestly. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. But we're not stopping there. Oh. In 60 seconds, we're taking it even lower in 60 seconds. I think it also makes your pendants more wearable because you can have a short necklace and you can have a long necklace and yeah. you can switch it from the one to the other quite easily because of the clip at the top as well. Yeah. Mm. Now, if you wanted to sell this, you will need to get it hallmarked because of the gram weight. But as this is an individual component, I don't think, I don't, I don't think you'd need to. Um, at 199 pounds, that's an amazing deal for that. For just the idea, that's the thing. For me, I, I could get into the practical side of it. We could talk about the grand weight. We could talk about the beautiful craftsmanship, etc. cetera. It's, it's, the idea is genius. It's making, basically making potentially many of your master carvings yes. interchangeable. Because exactly. I don't know, some of your master carvings might fit that you yeah. already have within your stash. Yeah. You know, it's, it, it's, it's giving you an opportunity to wear each and every single Absolutely. one of them, even prior to maybe you knotting them. Um, maybe you don't knot. I, I'm not great at knotting. It's something I'm trying to develop. I'd love to be able, which means I don't often wear many of my master carvings. This, I could. How beautiful. All that precious 925 sterling silver, Today at 99 pounds and 99 pence only, it gives you this ability to literally, and I'll do it again, shall we? You can swap out your master carvings. Um, it kind of lifts, lifts just there, you can see it. Lifts like a brooch, uh, like a brooch pin. Uh, which one shall I put in now? Let's, let's have a look, put the bunnies in there, shall we? The beautiful bunnies. So again, just slots through. You actually have a stop, stopping mechanism just at the bottom of that peg just there, um, place it down into this little groove so that it sits centrally within. If you notice it's not sitting centrally, it's not in the groove. So you need to pop it in the groove. Um, and there you go, it gives that perfect framework. 99 pounds and 99 pence only. Um, and we are going to sort the split payment, by the way. I've just noticed that on the graphics there. Louise, Patricia, Susan, Antoinette, Heather, Sheila, George, Donna, Alison, Darlene and Paul, Beverly, Nicolette, Cornwall, Weldon, Hugh, Suzanne, multi-buying, amazing. 
This is genuine zircon. Um, we're not talking about topaz or cubic zirconia. It is, well, Ratnakiri, by the way, is like Columbia to an emerald, yeah. Mogok to a ruby. It's regarded as the best in the world. Um, so you have beautiful melee size, not just on the halo of this uh, sort of uh, spinning pendant, um, but also wrapping itself around on that beautiful um, on and offable bale, if you like, because that opens and closes as well. So it makes it interchangeable with lots of your pre-existing necklaces, maybe. You might have a knotted pearl jadeite necklace, whichever it might be. Um, and the bale allows you kind of to kind of uh, put it on and off. Um, lots of multi buyers on this. Well done, Suzanne. Hello to you, Lanarkshire, Mary, Kimberley, Nottinghamshire, California. Do speak to our call centre and they'll be able to sort out the um, um, the uh, um, the split payments as well. Fabulous. Well done, everybody. Louise, you've just got two of these. Um, stay where you are on those phone lines, everybody, and don't go anywhere because your masterclass is coming up. We've got some beautiful kits, some stunning jewellery, and with our lovely Monica that's happening after this. Happy 13th birthday, jewellery maker. Happy birthday. Happy 13th birthday, jewellery maker. I can't wait uh, to share the celebrations and some cake with you guys. Tune in for the epic deals that we've got in store for you. Uh, and happy birthday once again. Hi, my name's Susie Mellon, and I just want to wish jewellery maker a very happy 13th birthday. Mwah. So your deal of the day is the most spectacular 925 sterling silver 12 piece set so we've got 12 gemstones for every month of the year which is the perfect way to celebrate birthday with us okay. so the 12 pieces include gemstones such as amethyst garnet diamond aquamarine and for our birthday in may we've got emerald which is really special so these are perfect for gifts um, as we've got the 12 gemstones for each month you can send these to your loved ones friends and make it really special for them Jewellery Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewellery Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Hello, everyone, it's Mark here. What an incredible start to our 13th birthday celebrations, and we've still got so many surprises coming up. I'm here to tell you about my next show, which is Tuesday, the 9th of May, and I'm going to be joining the wonderful presenter, Elle, and the team. And I'm here specifically to tell you about three items going to be featuring. Firstly, in the nine o'clock hour, I've got the most incredible sterling silver spacer bead bundles to show you. In the 12 o'clock hour, if you like glass bicones, if you like chakra colors, if you like the rainbow colors, you will not want to miss the masterclass at 12 o'clock. And then the other item I want to tell you about is if you are an avid seed beader, you have a massive stash and nothing to store them in, we have got for you the most incredible seed bead storage solution. And we're going to be keeping with the rainbow theme. And also remember, we've got our advent calendar make-along feature as well. 
So I cannot wait for you to join us. Have a lovely weekend and I will see you bright and early on Tuesday the 9th. Hello Jewelry Maker, John Scott here. Just wanted to wish you a very, very happy birthday. 13 years, my word. 13 years, you've not had me on enough, have you? I'll see you very soon. Have a fantastic 13 days. Happy birthday, Jewelry Maker. From the Hobby Maker team. Happy birthday, Jewelry Maker. 13 years of crafting your own gemstone jewelry. And I know this birthday celebration is even more exciting gemstones to come. Happy birthday. Oh, welcome back, lovely jewellery makers. I'm back with our lovely Monica. <laughs> Monica. Those carvings were amazing. Oh. And, they, and what a genius idea with that pendant. Absolutely, but it was so hard to choose which one. I know, I know, I, know. I, don't, I don't envy him that. Well, not to be outdone, Monica, look at how beaut beautiful. Oh, hiccups, you've got uh, your jewellery is. That, again, reminds me, that's reminiscent of... That piece that's of jewellery that we showed earlier on in the show, yeah. didn't we? As the three-generational yeah. picture where I you promise, saw... I promise I didn't see that picture before I made this necklace. <laughs> I only well, saw that picture today. But it's, it's jewellery fit for the decolletage of a princess oh. or queen. Oh, yeah. Um, amazing. Absolutely amazing. So we're going to bring you these components, these kits, which, I'm, which I understand. Have you sort of added, added to a little bit? I have. I've added... The pearls were all from my stash. Uh -huh. Obviously, from previous jewellery maker shopping. <laughs> <laughs> we all do it, yeah. And I've added a few seed beads uh, and some findings. Again, one. most of us have got a few of these things oh, within yes, our stash, but if not, we'll be uploading some as well. Um, right, I'm going to test my knowledge here. Is that a Russian leaf? No. Oh. It is a warped square. <laughs> I, well, I definitely would have never have said that. So, okay. It's there a component you that you use to make, you know, the 3D stars, the puffy yes. stars. Yeah, it's, it's a segment of that. I thought I was being all smart and clever then, didn't I? Adam was <laughs> rolling his eyes at it me. It was close, it was close. Come on, Al, you should know you're warped. What did you say? Warped square. Warped squares it, from it, your, it from your Russian square, leaf. Square, but it's not flat, that's why it's right. warped. Okay, okay. Now, but the main feature, the main component, if you like, of these kits, they're elements. I don't want to call them kits because I wouldn't really describe them as kits. They're elements, um, but you've got you get a hundred of each. Are actually that lovely little little detail in the centre. Um, so we've got three different opportunities with three different gemstones that actually all fit into. Love these these interchangeable kind of like lockets. They are yeah. So you, you can also put a picture in there. I just haven't uh, cut a, a picture, but you can put a ah, picture on the back. So if I turn it that way. You pop your gemstone in. You, you put the gemstone, um, I can show you on the overhead if you want to. Yeah, that would be easier. So. And you get three gemstones, right? Yeah, three gemstones. Now there is, a, if you look really closely, there's a little groove that's cut into the back of it here. Yeah. And another little groove that's cut into the front. Okay. Okay. So that's where you're supposed to grip it to open it. But because of my... Um, my nails are, are, are quite thick and strong, but you can get your nail in between the opening as well. So if you, if you can't grip onto the little um, grooves, you can just stick your nail in between where the opening is and it will open. Okay. Okay, so when you open it, you can take the gemstone out. Or, well, it, will, it will come without the gemstone in, so you get the gemstones uh, separately. Where are my other gemstones? There's a few here. So into the back, you can put um, a picture. So you can cut a picture. You can glue it in, or you can, if you manage to cut it just the right size, oh. you can you can draw around your gemstone. I'm sure that would be well, and then maybe trim it down a bit just to fit in there. But you can put a tiny little drop of blue, glue so you don't lose your yeah. picture. And then in the front of it, you put your your gemstone. Now you get your different um, gemstones with it. Three with different it. ones. You get three different ones with each. And then what you do is you take the little gemstone and put it into the front. Now, if you have a look, you've got the hinge in the middle here, okay? So when you're putting in your gemstone, you won't be able to get it in if you put this side of your gemstone in first, mm -hmm. right? Because the hinge will be in the way. Yes. So when you put your gemstone in, what you want to do is you want to put in the hinge side of it first, that way, and then the other side, once you align it properly, will fall into place like that. Now, it, when you close it, 
it will hold it there. So you don't have to glue it in if you don't want to. And obviously you've got the interchangeable ones, so then yeah. you wouldn't want to glue it in because then you can change it out every time. Yeah. If you decide on one of them and you just want to keep it with that one, you can put a tiny little bit of glue, but I would say use the absolute tiniest bit of glue so that it doesn't ooze out on the front. Because obviously then when you close Nobody that... Nobody's oozing. <laughs> then you've got your gemstone showing on the front. So Look you don't how lovely any, that is. Any oozing glue Do, out No, there. no so, oozing glue. But I wouldn't glue it in, to be honest <laughs> with you, because it's, it's really tight. It's, it's so meant to be interchangeable, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. So it's not going to open on you and you're not going to lose that gemstone. So and I wouldn't... They yeah. pivot, don't they? They do, yeah. So they, they kind of rotate round. Can you see this? Look, yeah. look. They pivot round. So, look. They rotate. That's How it. amazing is that? Now, I'm gonna, I'll tell you what I'll do, lovely jewelry makers. These, there's three different opportunities. I'm going to show you what you get. Um, and then you can choose because they're all going to exactly the same price point. Um, so in the first one I have here, Ross, I've just picked up the one with the lapis lazuli, labyrite and amethyst. Yeah, beautiful. Zambian amethyst. Graphics are live for this one. I'm going to show you in the next, I'll just position them on the desk basically separately. Um, you have one which has, is that onyx? Black onyx, turquoise, and it looks like another labradorite just there. No, don't tell me that's black jadeite. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. That's Burmese jade. Oh. That's onyx, and that's turquoise. Oh. Wow. And then obviously you get the lovely locket. I'm going to describe it as a locket, interchangeable locket. And then on the last, you have, again, some beautiful turquoise. You have... Looks like blue lace agate. Blue lace agate, looks like. And bumblebee oh. jasper. <clears throat> wow. How many do we have of each of these? 100 of each. So um, they are all going to the same price point, even though I think we can very firmly establish that the one with the jadeite should definitely be more, um, 100%. You get the sterling silver locket component. I'm describing it as a locket. It kind of opens and closes, doesn't it? Almost like a... a um, well, yeah, it is a locket. Yeah, yeah, a locket that holds your... Yeah, it holds a, a, a lovely gemstone. But you can swap around and interchange your gemstones if you, if you wish or not, as Monica was suggesting earlier on. I mean, that's why I went with this sort of design for the necklace because I went with pearls because pearls are quite neutral and they'll go with any other colour, really. Mm. So if you change the, the gemstone in the little pendant, then it changes the whole look of the necklace. Whole so look. I've got the turquoise in there, but you could put the labradorite in, you could put black onyx, onyx. The jadeite, and you have a whole different look. Yeah, uh, all the black onyx is going to make it all really monochrome, isn't it? Then yep. pink is going obviously going to add that touch of femininity. Absolutely beautiful. We're at £49.99. pence. You get the sterling silver uh, locket, which not only opens and obviously secures your gemstones, but also pivots and oscillates. £29.99 pence only. So that means you're basically getting the look of three. Yeah. Um, yeah, this one. Um, you're getting the, you, the three pendants, effectively, Absolutely, aren't you, for yeah. one amazing yeah. price point. £10 each per yeah. stone. And you could just feed that directly, and couldn't you? And you only have to make a piece of jewellery with it once. Yeah. <laughs> and you can change yeah. the look. Genius. Um, each of these, uh, these opportunities are going to the same price point, so you can shop ahead. Is that right, Roscoe? You can shop ahead on the other two opportunities. They're available on pre-order. The, labor the Labradorite one, if I move it. Oh, down, wow. And both sides of it were like that. It's That's beautiful, isn't it? I like the idea of this 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 uh, um, this component because again it makes me think of a, not everybody who likes the big pendants yes. which we've just seen, um, whereas you know this is that little bit more petite I guess and I think like say Roscoe uh, your Chloe she prefers this I can imagine her wearing some more petite designs yeah um, certainly my best fr uh, best friend as well um, we can bring you the big statement I think we've just done on the big statement but we can also bring you the more petite maybe something that you can have on a bracelet as well I tell you what. How about all three opportunities? How about if we said under 20, 
Oh. Under 20, under 20. We should not be able to get hold of, well, particularly the one with the type A jade at under 20 pounds. And the, cr the engineering that goes into, yeah. whichever one I pick up, um, the engineering, I only picked this one up because it's actually closed, that goes into that beautiful little locket. Amazing, look. In fact, it pivots as well. If I turn it round again, that way, there's the 925 stamp that you can see on the reverse. You can see all that beautiful craftsmanship as well. Just interchange, swap out your gemstones um, as and when. I've said it out loud, that's what's going to happen. We've got a hundred of each opportunities. They're going under £20 each. Again, you can shop ahead, you can pick and choose on the other two as well. And then, uh, yeah, like I said, Monica can take over with her amazing <laughs> demonstrations. Um, well done, everybody. Interchangeable locket pendant. By the way, in terms of its measurements, it, it's 11 and a half millimetres in its length from bale to bottom. Um, sorry, no, that's probably the locket, isn't it? I think the so, bale's yeah. much more than that. So yeah, the locket itself the is 11 to um, 0.5, and then 7.5 in terms of its thickness. So that's giving you the measurement of the locket, not including the actual pendant bale. Here it is. Good luck, everybody. £19.99 only with your interchangeable, genuine yeah. gemstones. Do you know what that measurement, the 7.5 by 11.5, I would say that's probably the size of the gemstone that goes in there. We can give it a measure. Should we do that? Because I'm sure it's bigger than that. Let's give it a measure. So, yeah, you're right, Monica, the actual pendant itself, not including the bale, and this is approximate, is probably about 14 millimetres yeah. in terms of its length. So you're right, it's probably the so gemstone. That measurement is the size. Because yeah. it's, it's got underneath on the description, it's got Labradorite oval, seven and a half. Ah, uh, yes, half. I can see that there. Well spotted. So the pendant would be Will be bigger. bigger Will be yeah. bigger. Amazing. Again, make sure you check out your baskets, everybody. Under 20 pounds, that's for each of the kits. So just to recap, you can get one all shown on the website. Lapis, Labradorite and also your um, Brazilian amethyst. And then uh, another opportunity includes your turquoise, onyx, and jadeite. The next opportunity includes turquoise, bumblebee jasper, and blue lace. So absolutely stunning. But also you were saying earlier that some people like smaller jewelry, but with this, you can, you can go either way because the, the black pearl necklace that I've made is quite a, a smaller piece. Yeah. But then you can also, Depending on what you add to it, you can make it into a, a bigger piece, like I've done with the with the four strand necklace. Absolutely. So um, you know you can go either way with it, and I think it also makes a really nice gift because of the picture that you can put inside. Yeah, it love well. that. And it could be a hidden picture if you wanted absolutely, it to. Absolutely. It could be absolutely. quite a secret picture, which I quite like. Um, amazing. Again, well done, everybody. Lots of you checking out. We had a hundred um, opportunities. Any questions? Message in. Um, what uh, um, What are you going to demo? I'm going to show you how I did the middle of the pearl necklace here. Um, because it's a lot easier than it looks. <laughs> okay. Right. You, and again, I don't know if we've got that photo handy. This is so reminiscent of that of that of that. It um, is, yes. That necklace that Ross showed earlier on. It is fabulous. We'll take it away, lovely. Right. So, all I've used um, is a little bit of 0.8 millimeter wire. Okay. So you just need a small piece. You probably need uh, probably less than 15 centimeters. I've just cut maybe 20 centimeters here just to be sure I have enough. Make sure it's nice and straight. Let me just get everything out the way. So make sure it's nice and straight. And then all we're going to do is we're going to take our round nose pliers and we're going to turn a loop into the center of it. Okay. So all you're going to do is you're going to take your wire around all the way around. Now, let me just have a quick look. Yes, sorry. I just had to quickly have a look because I wasn't sure if I had the loop Can going you upwards place it down or downwards. On the board? Uh, it's fine, I got it now. So, okay. Because obviously, if, if I had the two wires going in the other direction, then the loop at the bottom would hang off the bottom, which would work just as well. But I just wanted to make the demo the same as the actual finished necklace. So I've just made a little loop in the bottom there. Okay. And then you kind of want to shape it, but you'll be able to shape it again later. So I just shaped it a little bit like that to make it into sort of an oval shape. And you just want it to be big enough for your pendant to fit inside. Okay, so you kind of want it to be sort of that shape to, fa to frame your pendant. I curved it a little bit more than that, I think. Okay. Then, before you do anything else with that, what I did was I took some of my beading 
thread or beading wire. I never know whether to call this beading thread or beading wire because technically it's wire inside, but we don't use it as a wire, we use it as a thread. So it's the one that comes in your, in your thread pack. Okay, and then what you're gonna do is you're going to cut the four strands that you're gonna need. So cut four generous pieces, about half a meter each. I'm only going to do, um, sorry, not four, you need eight, because you need it for both sides, okay? I'm only going to do four of them for the one side, so you'll be able to see what I mean. In fact, I might only do three, let's do four. Okay, and then all I did was, I took a crimp bead, I threaded it onto the end of my wire, turned my wire back through that crimp bead, and then using my crimping pliers, you can use your flat nose pliers if you don't have crimping pliers. I just think it makes it a lot neater and a lot smaller with my crimping pliers. I put the crimps right close to the end so that I have probably about three millimeters sticking out from the end of the crimp. So you, you want a little, quite a little small loop there at the end and then just crimp and make your crimp a little bit smaller. So just like that. So you want to do that, if you can see that little loop on the end of all, well actually on six pieces of your of your wire. So I'm not going to do all six because as I said, in the interest of saving a bit of time, I'm only going to do the one side, but it's the same on the other side. So I'm just going to do three of these for the one side. Now you might be thinking, why am I doing three for one side when I've got four on one side? You'll see in a minute because one of them is gonna be a little bit different. So you need three of these for each side of your pendant, one more, okay, so I just wanted to do something that was quite easy to do because I'm not an expert wire worker so obviously you could do a really elaborate frame for your pendant in the middle but I just wanted to do something simple and functional that would just hold everything in place. Okay so I've got three of my wires done there. And then I'm going to use some of my Ato seed beads. Again, if you don't want to use seed beads, you can use sterling silver beads or uh, a gemstone, anything you like, as long as, as the 0.8 wire will go through the hole in it. Okay, so that's all you need. That's why I use the seed beads because I had them at hand and because they have a really nice big hole. Okay, and then what I did was I just threaded on four of my seed beads onto each side, okay. One, I'll probably just do the one side again because the other side is the same, but let's just put both of those on there. So you've got your four seed beads on each side. Then you're going to take your wires that you've just made and you're going to thread on a wire onto each side of your pendant. Okay? Now, as I say, I'm just going to do the one side now. And then you're going to thread on another four of your seed beads. One, two, three, four. And then you're going to thread on another thread. Now, the reason I have four seed beads in between them, obviously, is to space them out enough for your pearls to fit. So you can vary the number of seed beads you've got here. The only thing you've got to watch out for is you want to be sure that your strands are far enough apart to accommodate whatever size beads you're going to be using. Okay, And also, once you've done all your sections, so I'm going to pick up another four here. One, two, three four okay so I've got three I want it to be a four strand necklace I've only got three strands on here and then I've got my last set of four beads so what you want to check is when you bring this together with the other side also done that what you have at the end is big enough to accommodate your little pendant in the center okay and your fourth strand is going to be attached to the very top that's why I've only got three strands on each side okay, okay? So once you've got your beads uh, threaded on, I'm actually going to take the ones off the side because they're going to go flying in any case if I, if I don't. Um, so now what you want to do is you want to turn a little loop at the top here. So all I did was I took the wire in my pliers again, leave a little bit of a gap there just to give a bit of movement. You don't want everything to be super, super tight uh, because then things get out of shape. Uh, so just leave a little bit of space there. Just turn your wire back a little bit and then do a loop going around your pliers like that, okay? Once you've come all the way around, I didn't do a very good job with that loop there, did I? But you can fix it afterwards if, because it's 
y. So it, it, you know, it's really easy and malleable. So once you've turned a little loop there, then you can cut off the excess. You don't need it anymore. Okay. So that's the one side. You want to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm just because I haven't got my seed beads on there, I'm just going to estimate where that loop would have fallen. But you're going to do the same on the other side um, and thread everything on there before you do your little loop. Okay. It's a little bit higher than the other side, but that's okay. I can just roll it down a bit and it will go further down. Okay, I'm going to cut off the excess from here as well. Obviously, it will be easier to see where you need to put it if you've got all your beads already on there. Okay, so basically that's what you have now. And then all you're going to do is you're going to bring those together at the top. So now you can still adjust your shape to make sure that the shape fits around your pendant. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a jump ring. Okay, so I'm going to open where are my pliers. So I'm going to take you. You want a really nice big jump ring here because there's a lot of things you need to put in it. Okay, so you're going to take your jump ring. You're going to open your jump ring. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to pick up your pendant. Or you can pick up the pendant last if it makes that easier. In fact, I think I might do that. Then what you want to do is you want to go through both of those loops with your jump ring. So just put them together so you can get through both of them with your jump ring. Okay, now this is where you kind of need six hands because now you want to put on your pendant as well. And then it will probably all fall apart a few times, but you'll get it eventually. There you go. And then you close your jump ring. So that's your pendant essentially attached, okay? And then, of course, you can still shape it a little bit. Just make sure you have the shape that you like. But even once it's all finished, you can still change that shape if you want to change it a little bit. So that's the center of your pendant, okay? And then what I did with the fourth strand is, again, I picked up my crimp bead. Okay? And then I went through the two loops at the top. I went completely through both of the loops that I made at the top of the wire, okay? which is quite a lot of wire to go through because you've got about four loops of wire there. But this will help to hold it all together so that it doesn't um, open up too much. And then I brought my crimp down and then I crimped it. And this top one only, I put a crimp bead on, which I'm not going to do now because I think we've all seen how to do a crimp bead. And also don't do it too tightly because you do want it to be able to move around a bit, especially if you're going to put a crimp bead on top of it afterwards because that will also take up a little bit of space, okay? So the top ones, and then do the same again for the other side. So now I've got my central pendant and I've got my four strands here, okay? And then from here on, it's just a matter of, well, first I put a, I put a drop bead at the bottom, which... Uh, it's quite straightforward. It's just a wrapped loop on a head pin. Bring it around and then attach it to your pendant at the bottom, just like that. And then finish your wrapped loop like that. So this will be your little dangle at the bottom. Okay, cut off the excess. And then after that, it's essentially, so when you turn it over and you've got your four strands there, it's essentially just a case of threading on your pearls or whatever gemstone you're using onto the four strands on the one side and obviously the four strands on the other side. So if I bring it over here, you can see. So that's basically what I did in the middle there. And I've got my four strands on there just like that, okay? And then to get all the lengths right, because this is the hardest part. Um, I struggle with this. I'm intrigued yeah, to know what you're going to say. It's kind of like uh, I can make you a made to measure tailored suit, but I always get my curtain lengths wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so what I did was I threaded on all my pearls. I spaced them out with a, a seed bead, size 11 seed beads here. Okay. I spaced them all out. I, I put them flat on the table and I got them to the length that I thought they should probably be. And I put a temporary crimp on the end of each of them, because that's the only way you're going to know for sure. 
Okay. Uh, so I actually crimped it right onto my clasp with temporary crimps. Now, a temporary crimp is just a normal crimp that you just flatten with your normal flat nose pliers. And if you don't squeeze it too hard, it'll still hold. But then once, you, once you're done with it, you can undo it by crimping. If you have your crimp flat like that, if you then crimp the, the sides like that, it will open up again. So I crimped them all to make sure I had the right length. If one of the lengths was wrong, then I undid the crimp, I changed the number of beads, and I recrimped it until I was completely happy with all the number of beads. And then I took off all the temporary crimps and I put normal crimps, uh, well, proper crimps, and properly crimped mm. all of them afterwards. So I think that's the only way you can be absolutely sure of the, of the lengths. Yeah. And you want to try it on, you want to put it on a bust, you want to have a look, because it'll look different on you than it will look on a bust. Of course. So that's the, the only surefire way to do it, is to actually crimp it uh, with a temporary crimp. Amazing. Trial and error, I guess, the yeah. best way. But Monica, quite unintentionally, your piece, yeah. are, your, your beautiful <laughs> masterclass is highly reminiscent it is of another piece uh, of jewellery yeah. that, uh, that might be familiar to us yeah. all um, within, uh, look, three generations. So you have uh, Queen Elizabeth II, you have the Princess of Wales, and of course you have Princess Diana all wearing that amazing necklace. Just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, amazing. Uh, thank you so much. Stunning jewellery. I love the, uh, how you've incorporated this pendant. We have, I'll quickly bring you the, uh, the, the remaining pendants to do, um, to bring you as well. Um, yeah, so you get all three gemstones within this as well. Yeah. I need to point out. So this is interchangeable. And I remember once upon a time, um, Swatch Watch, which have somewhat had a bit of a resurgence in popularity yes. at the moment, haven't I they, remember. with their planet watches. Yeah. But they used to have an interchangeable bezel. Yes. For their watch. I remember yes. my sister had one and I was so jealous <laughs> because you could swap out, literally swap out the colours as uh, and coordinate yeah. it to your, um, to your outfit. That was probably, I don't know, late 1980s possibly. I still, I still uh, have a watch set, one of those, where you can change the frame as yeah. well and you can change that's the waist wrap as well. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Um, I'm sure probably worth a bit of money these days. <laughs> um, instead of it being a bit of plastic or acrylic, now though you're swapping out your beautiful gemstone. So this one includes um, your turquoise, Bumblebee Jasper, which is a nice addition, yes. and also lovely Blue Lace Agate. Again, Blue Lace Agate, if you pop onto Monica Veneda, it's one of her favourites. Um, you're not paying £20 yeah. for one of her pendants. And I think the Bumblebee Jasper makes it look quite antique. Yeah, it does. Yes. It does. Really pretty. Um, so again, interchangeable locket. It shows open and closes, as Monica showed you earlier on, um, like any other locket, really. But what, it, what we can't see on the image is the fact that it does actually sort of pivot ever so slightly. So yeah. it kind of will, um, it will actually oscillate um, sort of, uh, well, not just, not just, I guess, whilst you're wearing it. If you're wearing it as like a charm, it's going to yeah. move on the wrist line too. Which it's also really great for things like the Labradorite. And also, can I just say with the Labradorite, what I did was when you look at the gemstone, lab, the, the, the gemstone that comes with your pendant, if you look at it from the one direction, you can see the colors. You look at it from the other direction, you can't see it. So the way you want to attach it to your pendant is you're going to be looking at it from the top down. Yeah. So you want to put it inside your, your pendant in a way that you can see the colours looking from the top down yeah. rather than from the bottom up. Clever, really clever, and I wouldn't have thought of that either because mm. obviously most well, of the light tends to Well, be I came up you. with it because I put it in the other way to start uh -huh. with, and I was like, oh, where's the light? Yeah, where's well, the light gone? It was there a minute ago. It does make sense. And on to the last of your um, of your little mini kit. So again, you get the beautiful pendant, you get that sterling silver um, inter, uh, interchangeable locket pendant. This one comes with... Turquoise. Burmese jadeite, black onyx, and turquoise. Yeah, I thought so. That's what I was trying to. Sorry, I was trying to message, uh, um, communicate with Ross, but he told you, well, you won't get me when you ask. I was like, is that turquoise as well? Um, so yeah, you've got two pieces of turquoise. We look how lovely that is. Black onyx, and that is type A jadeite. Now my expectations. I don't know about you. you turquoise and jade in particular are very expensive gems. Yes. Very expensive, um, and you're getting both of them, plus more. I would have expected this one to actually be a, a slightly higher price point than the others, not the case. Um, so I had 100 of each of these. How are we doing in terms of quantity? Over half the stock has already gone. Apologies, my, my call screens are still playing up. We need to get IT to look at that because it's... A, 
Yeah, it's infuriating not being able to see you. So, um, yeah, we'll go. We'll speak to the powers course, that be. The ring that you. Oh yes, earlier. Seriously, can we show this? I took one of the one of the gemstones, and I set it in a ring. Oh my <laughs> goodness, Monica! How could I? Obviously, you don't have to use all three of them in your pendants. No. I don't want to that one. I took the lapis one and I turned it into a ring. Monica, that's absolutely incredible. Well, I had to do a little bit of seat beating, didn't I? <laughs> I mean, yeah, but you know. But it looks amazing when it's on, actually. It looks well, that's uh, I, I could, I'm happy to oblige with that one. <laughs> oh my goodness me, that's incredible! Again, that needs to be a masterclass, I think, Monica. <laughs> amazing, under twenty pounds only. Again, congratulations to everybody. Make sure you are checking out your baskets. Um, yeah, amazing. Uh, good luck. Now, I think we just have time um, to give you a little bit of a heads up. The um, the frame to your the interchangeable um, frame. We've put it on split payment. Sorry, our graphics didn't uh, didn't reflect that. Forty of you still have it in your baskets. Sorry, forty nine of you now. Um, there's your split payments on three way. Thirty three pounds and thirty three pence, not percent interest. Um, so yeah, I, I, and I I think maybe this pendant um, is actually probably going to work with some of your existing master carvings as well. So obviously it depends on the size. Um, you can still get hold of the early bird as well, which was 10 beautiful silver plated base metal chains. The rose and the yellow sold out. We did have a bigger quantity of the silver though, so, um, but it is also the most popular colour. Um, so yes, you get a mixture of your paper clip, curb, cable, rollo and box chain. Um, that's working at a pound each, which is just madness, isn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> it is absolute madness. <laughs> uh, Ross is like, oh, when you say it out loud like that, Elle. And then, well, you thought it was five, that's why. And even then, that would have been amazing. Yeah. That would have been £2 per chain, but no, there's 10 of them. Um, yeah, you can still get hold of those because we deliberately tip the, tiptoed this over into the 9 o'clock hour. Um, amazing. It's been absolutely fantastic. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I'm back with you tomorrow with lovely Mark. So we've got a wonderful show. Bringing you the birthstone, birthstone strand tomorrow because we've run out of time purely because we had lots of um, technical issues at the beginning of the show. Keep checking the carvings and that amazing mount as well. Monica, thank Thank you so much, oh, as thank always. You for having me. Um, just the most fantastic demonstration, beautiful, beautiful jewellery as thank always. You. So, oh, um, yeah, when are you back, do you know? On the 22nd, two weeks from today. Two, oh, that'll be with me then. Yay. Yay, looking <laughs> forward to that. Have a lovely afternoon, enjoy the rest of your bank holiday, and I'll see you. Make sure bright and early tomorrow morning with the lovely Mark. Bye. Happy 13th birthday, jewellery maker. Happy birthday.